So you stumbled on the napalm channel Blown views, panel, killed and trampled Smoke a camel, don't get anal It's classic games all the time Watch me rhyme, stream full time In my prime, killing undead like I'm Rick Grimes Streams starting soon, so let's attune Streams in the afternoon Beneath the moon, let's commune Getting old, need a spoon When I eat my prunes I learned this group in Black Pearl End up in the dunes So hit the like and the sub and the bell I don't smell, pretty swell In the dungeons where I dwell You'll be a fan, I foretell Shoot a spell when I yell And be my clientele Thank you to the members on YouTube and the subs on Twitch. Thank you all for joining the Nathan Napalm Nation. You help keep the lights on so I can keep streaming and pumping out content. I want to also thank the highest tier members for their epic support. Bounty Code, Jared Woodhouse, Dimelos, Farthest Reach, Sparrow, Random Rob, Galarain Moonsong, What's the Takeaway, Bad Wolf Gaming, Robert Deneka, Pip Pop, My Boot in Your Ass, the Crinkle One, Scruffy Bard, Aaron Owen, and Steven's Magic Castle. Thank you for your highest tier membership. Support the Nathan Napalm with Super Chats or by clicking join to become a member of Napalm on YouTube or by subbing or with bits on Twitch. Every dollar helps feed a puppet for a day and keep Nathan on the air. Thank you all so much for your support. Stream is starting soon. <laughs> So you stumbled on the napalm channel Blown views, panel, killed and trampled Smoke a camel, don't get anal It's classic games all the time Watch me rhyme, stream full time In my prime, killing undead like I'm Rick Grimes Streams starting soon, so let's attune Streams in the afternoon, beneath the moon Let's commune, getting old, need a spoon When I eat my prunes I learned this group in Black Pearl End up in the dunes So hit the like and the sub and the bell I don't smell, pretty swell In the dungeons where I dwell You'll be a fan, I foretell Shoot a spell when I yell And be my clientele Thank you to the members on YouTube and the subs on Twitch. Thank you all for joining the Nathan Napalm Nation. You help keep the lights on so I can keep streaming and pumping out content. I want to also thank the highest tier members for their epic support. Bounty Code, Jared Woodhouse, Dimelos, Farthest Reach, Sparrow, Random Rob, Galarain Moonsong. What's the takeaway? What's up, everybody? It's Embers Adrift. We here. We in here. What? Ember's Adrift? That's Never right. heard of it. Never heard of it. The game you do not hold shift to run. Dang it. I'm going to be doing it all night. All night. You all guys night. have forsaken me for Ambion. I'm very sad. <laughs> You'll be in soon, right? I will. I'll be the last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to play with you. Sh for sure, the NDA will be down by then. Sh surely. Surely, Visionary Realms. And we can just stream never and play. Say never. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I know Joppa's pushing for it. You guys need to listen to Joppa. Every time... Listen, Joppa had one bad idea. Okay? One. Only one. Okay? Don't 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 treat him bad. His ideas are great, but yeah. how many things does Joppa want that he's pushing for that actually come to fruition? He needs to have all of them. Good point. Yeah, if all of them came true, like, it would be amazing. <laughs> now, the only time the shit nor job is when he just played a brand new game that he likes. Maybe he needs a honeymoon period to cool down from a new game that came out. You know what I mean? Like, he'll be like, oh my gosh, yeah. Breath of the Wild is awesome. We need to do yeah. that. It should be like, <laughs> like, should be like 247 hour long cool down period. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Besides that, all of his ideas he actually, you know comes up with Dark and, and, and thinks what a great game <laughs> that was yeah. his one slip up was Steve he from tarkov dark and darker <laughs> he was... did he did Yellow. one time he did one time think that'd be a good testing tool to do some uh a little bit of a game uh switch there and go for extraction that was the Honestly, only time i would have been in there i would have probably been playing <laughs> yeah i tried i tried to support it we all tried. The only one who really like went full in was Desrin. Yeah, Desrin was the one that helped me because I was like, "Bro, this is weird." He was like, "Let me that's help just, you." That's just so he could bitch about it. 
You're probably right. You literally right. played it just so you could bitch about it. <laughs> I mean, when Desrin is the Wikipedia of it, and he's like, he doesn't like being the Wikipedia of it, you know, you did something wrong. We're going to Grimstone, right? Correct. So, Damos's favorite zone, okay. Worst zone ever. Somebody having trouble with the voice channel? I, went I just to don't need screen. this kind of danger. I think Grill's trying to get in here in the Discord, but I don't know if he's in the right one. Oh, okay. On your YouTube, Nathan, can you post a link to your Discord? Yeah. Yep, let me get it. Speaking of YouTube, have you seen that new layout? P.U. YouTube? The new layout for yeah. YouTube? I haven't seen it. Is it bad? So, you know how you have that giant comment section before, and you could, like, scroll down, look at the comments, and to the right, they were just tiny little thumbnails? Well, you take that and reverse it, and those only have giant fucking thumbnails on the left, and a tiny ass little comment section on the right. Oh, weird. Why? Why would they do that? I wonder. I don't know. Okay, I just posted a link in my chat. It looks like uh, the live layout's the same, but if you go to like a regular video, it's pretty bad. You can see what I'm talking about. Unless, unless it's just on my end. Unless they're like, hey, listen, this idiot on, in Idaho, his, his YouTube layout's going to be different. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah, he accidentally followed some other person's Discord, apparently. That's my secret Discord, the Mr. Nate Discord. <laughs> That's right, the, the real secret. The real, super real Nathan. Not Napalm, but, you know. Incoming Grail. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Hey, Grail, are you actually going to Oh, you got him in here. Nice. He might just want to be able to hear us. Oh, you don't... he's in. He's in here. Welcome. Yay, you're not five seconds behind. You're actually in the present with us. He's right here. <laughs> hey. Oh, my God, he spoke. Hey. Can you hear me? Hey, yeah, we can hear you. you. How's it going, man? That's awesome. Hey. Welcome. Yeah, I can hear you guys. For the record, you do not sound mature because none of us here are, so you fit right oh, okay. <laughs> He he may have been worried about that. That he would sound too mature. Uh, did somebody? There's a lot of mature language. Mature? That is. Uh... No, 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 no. <laughs> immature language. Oh, right. Fair. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> Gee, Willikers. Golly. <laughs> this is a very mature channel. Uh, both mine and Gula Gula. And are you streaming, Mr. C? Uh, I'm taking a break from streaming oh. on Wednesdays. Moving okay. to Tuesdays or Thursdays for now. For now. So that means that everybody streaming right now has got a mature channel. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we don't Adult mean that we're Because it's also on OnlyFans? Or mature. I don't know. <laughs> What's up, Scruffy? It's that fuck word, you know, that we kind of drop once. Right? Yeah. What? Yeah, whoops. We talk about what? happiness and. Uh, I mean, we're talking about cool playbook to topics. The the thing that I'm I'm trying to get Drake to understand is it only matters in the first thirty seconds, and you've got a starting soon. So you're good. Yeah. Mm. So you hack the game. We can talk yeah. about horsey sauce and roast beef all we want. Yeah, they just didn't want it to be like, oh, try out know. Disney Plus, and then this video starts, and it's like, <laughs> fuck, you know. That's all they did. They didn't want that. That's yeah. all. What am I fuck, doing? Fuck me, fuck, fuck, fuck. It's the like Dimeless's internet sucks cocks. <laughs> that reminds me of a video I saw. This was back in the heyday of like people being mad on YouTube. That not that it never changed. But this guy started out the first three seconds of the video being like, Fuck Susan Wojcicki, what a dog face ass bitch. <laughs> Yeah, that's wow. some old school YouTube right there. And I can say that now because she's not a part of YouTube anymore. Right, right. 
You're like, wait a minute, or is she? <laughs> <laughs> no, she stepped down as CEO. Yeah. She wasn't liked. No, was she one of the ones that ruined it? I mean, depending on the new layout, maybe we should get her back. Okay, so I was gonna head there like an idiot without, you know, porting there because I've totally lost my mind. Oh yeah, we do need a port. I forgot. Right. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. Top. I was fire waiting for the more, one below it. A more like direct uh, the one answer. Below it. Shrieker yes. fire. Yeah, I ported here and then realized Sometimes I'm like I forget super that low exists. on EE. I forget I about it too. I am as well. We'll probably get some in uh, killing the shriekers on the way if the rupture's up. We'll see. That's not going to be enough. I mean, if we want, we could sit outside and kill those three ships. That's actually what we used to Max do. our stuff out. Yeah, it's, yeah. it was that great was XP used... back in the day. It was. I mean, it's probably still a good experience. What's up, Peace Dog? I'm 7% hey, away. 7%, and I will ding 37. I am 12 to 35. Nice. 7% away for 37. I am 31% from 35. I wonder if I'm still immune to fire damage. Oh my god, Grats on 41, bro. Holy hell. Hey, grill's oh, heck yeah. It. Big numbers. <coughs> He's in the final stretch. Coming with the babies. He is. Nine levels go. Oh, Nathan. Am I am I still in the Discord? Can you still hear me? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, cool. Oh. Repair kits. It's on. We can't prepare tonight, baby. We're going all night. Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like showing up with a pocket full of blue chew. You know, I'm a, I'm a girl that knows how to take care of the boys. <laughs> Especially Gulo, sorry. Let me Especially Gulo. Especially Gulo. You know, we're about to go into the bar and she's like, listen, here you go. <laughs> Here's some blue chew and some condoms. Go wild. <laughs> there you go, guys. I'm your wingman. Wing Have a good time. Go. Yep, that would be me. <laughs> Gula's very quiet. No. You should be very afraid. I am. You don't want to see him powered up. He cast despair and people spread. <laughs> <laughs> I know I do. Shit. Let's make a run for it before it gets too dark. And I get too scared. We'll hold your hand. It'll be Thank okay. You. Do we have to go back to that area with the uh, rock people? No. No. Or again. Oh. No. Because that, that's <laughs> the so spot scared. that's so rough. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be good XP in a couple levels. But, yeah, we were there a little bit earlier than we probably should have been. You ruined it for me. You love it. Never going back. Yes. Screw them rock people. We're going to take you back there one day when Pumpkin can't make it. And you're going to solo heal it. Oh, God. We're you could do dead. it. I have faith. We're all dead. Hey, if I can do it anyway, that's all I can say. I, it's for real. I never played a game really seriously until the game, so... You, you can do yeah. Promise. Look how quickly just kill us. You can heal this us. group. You can heal any group. That's right. That's absolutely it's true. Training. That's right. We're all crazy here. It's fun. Yeah. I'm like the training wheels for healer. <laughs> no, you are the extreme. And hard mode at the same. <laughs> yeah, you're not training wheels. You are training wheels off. Like, yeah, yeah. Full contact healers. Yes, I can't so keep like up with Vanessa. It's like, oh yeah, you're dead again. Cool. <laughs> you can't keep Snoo up with Vanessa. Hey, well, that was wow. that no, it was me. It was me. It happened. It happened three times one night because I was not I may be ADHD guys. I know that's shocking. 
uh, undiagnosed. It didn't what? Uh, back in the day, but uh, I know, I know, crazy, right? One of the loose ones uh, out here. <laughs> <laughs> I was well, you know, it's funny because like girls, women generally aren't diagnosed as much as as hmm. boys and men, and women kind of keep it together more in public. Ah, um, yeah, 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 that makes sense. You know, or little girls do, for whatever reason. But boys are just like, fuck it, let's throw a rock through a window, because it seems like a good idea, you know? Yeah. And so it's like, oh. Don't ask me why that discrepancy is there, but it is. So it's, uh, I think that's how I started under the radar for so damn long. As an, as an adult, it's another story. Mike, I am playing the night, yes. This is a level 36... Soon to be level 37 knight. The greatest tank in the game, in my Yeah, you're close to Dingo, right? Yep. 7%. Oh my god, we're both at 7%. Ooh. Ooh. We're gonna Twinsies. Twinsies. It's going to be ding, ding, <laughs> and then and then Dino's going to ding right after that. Bunch of ding, dings. Ring a ding, ding. Ring, ding, ding. Ain't that a shot in the head? Isn't that what the fox does? Ding, ding, ding. Is ding, it? Ding, ding, ding. I think so. <laughs> that's what the fox does say. Yeah, she's right. I mean, that's 2010. Don't you do. judge me. Don't judge me. I judge. Don't do it. I had a daughter that was a little girl then. Okay. Still that's like that's still new music to me. Still yeah, new. See, same, same. Thank you. Anything well, we're after finding people, but I don't see Nathan. After 1998, it's new. Nathan, are you dead? Mm -hmm. Agreed, 100%. He's fighting his own war somewhere. I don't know where he I'm is. I'm with him. I'm with uh, uh, Alaria. Oh my gosh. Do you have any health potions? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take it right now. You where are you guys at? It. Come come down the hill. Yeah, We're right come down the hill. I th we totally rocked that Nathan. Yeah, yeah. We killed two, by the way. In case you yeah, all didn't know. Yeah. Were, oh. And they were totally three chefs, trust me. <laughs> they were th they were a skull chefs, actually. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Two skulls. Yeah. And they didn't even loot them because they don't even care. Yeah. Men yeah, we're just that loot. badass. Yeah, we just oh. walked away. We just walked right away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Epic loot is a crutch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like subclass. I'll take all yours then, Mr. C. Man, you I, that's what they're saying, all right? I'm not saying that. Well, actually, you guys would have different armor with the way that it is right now. I'm, I'll still take it. <laughs> well, his is going to be with the Zerkers. That's true. Uh, then yours is with all the other DPS and healers. Exactly. Yeah. Very well balanced. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because once Grim Grizzled Peaks 2 and 3 comes out, that shit probably won't even matter anymore. Looks normal to you. I don't know what you mean by that, Mike, but let me explain why the night is cool. They get Inner Fire, which is, uh, the, is a self-heal, right? So it makes it very paladin like You can power that up with magic, which I can't afford to waste my magic right now, uh, just for demonstration. But I can and get a powerful heal because it's kind of a heal over time. Get one big bump plus heal somebody else with it. Um, and then... I can actually power it up with two, level two uh, Ember Essence magic, and um, I can do a massive, almost like a lay on hands, almost a full heal for me and somebody else. Um, all my abilities are geared towards getting uh, single, single target threat aggro. I do struggle with multi-targets. Um, that's for another tank. Knights are really good at single target. I also get this buff for everybody that gives everybody, uh, make them less likely... Um, Gives them basically some uh, bonus to physical, mental, chemical, movement, ember, debuff, resist, all that. Um, also can shield up. Uh, this ability here makes me um, increase my block rate by plus 80, which is a ton in Embers of Drift. Um, what else? What else? Uh, and that's pretty much it. Mostly everything's geared around... Like, I've got this ability you'll see me use a lot in... Enraging Strike because it forces aggro on me uh, for just a couple of seconds, which gives me enough time to actually bring myself up in the threat meter um, during that time that he's forced to attack me. And I can magic all of these up, and 
but I don't use a lot of them. I mainly use this one for magic, uh, for a big heal. I use this one because the one I just said that forces one target to attack me, I can magic it up and it will actually do an AoE cleave and cause everything to attack me for a little while. Uh, that can be good. Uh, that can also be, uh, you know, like, I'm willing to die and let everybody else run away type ability. Um, True power, then. Yeah. So, like, certain situations, like, it doesn't matter... I'm willing, you know, as a tank, like, you know, I'll die as long as somebody survives and come back and get me back up, right? So, um, I'll try, sometimes if it's up and I can do it in time, I will uh, pop that out and just grab all the aggro and just die. But you gotta be careful with that because you don't want to die in the middle of mobs where they actually hang out at. So, you want to, like, be away from where they their spawn point is or else it's kind of dumb to do that. They're not going to be able to res you anyway. Because in this game, you got to be pretty close to some major resin. Currently. So it's okay if the Pally dies? Yes. If a Paladin's in your group, he should be the first to die. That's his job. Um, old school MMOs would usually have those um, abilities where the Paladin sacrifices himself. You know, which is a true Pally. You know what I mean? Everybody else lives, he dies. Preferably, he lives, too. Yeah, yeah. That'd be great. But, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's that pally life. It's hard. It's a hard knock life. Let the shrieking begin. Now, just to give you guys a reference, just because I play a paladin in a video game, um, one of my moments that um, my wife's family will never let me forget is, first of all, I wasn't told I was supposed to be watching the kids. I was just watching my kids because they were playing in a river, okay? And my kids were young. So I was watching my kids. Somebody else's kid was acting crazy. Laying on her belly, and it wasn't like a deep river, right? Like, it was like up to, like, maybe the kid's knees, right? And she was laying down on her belly, screaming out, I'm drowning, when all she has to do is stand up. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like a fast-moving river, you know? And I was just like, oh, my gosh, that girl's so annoying. So I just didn't do anything, you know what I mean? Like, she, all she got to do is stand up. You know, she's being dramatic. She's a dramatic kid. She was annoying, very annoying the entire time. You know what I mean? So I just didn't do anything. And then, like, her mom walks up. And it's like, oh, my gosh, you're not going to do anything? Like, I'm not jumping in this cold-ass river when your kid just has to stand up. You know? She's not really drowning. She's fine. You save them, Nathan. <laughs> save them. The so they... I just let my daughter play in mud puddles. You did? That man would have saved them. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. A giant, it was yeah. a giant-ass mud puddle. Yeah. It's like, I'm like, all right, go ahead, go get your phone to you Dude, she was like, she, back once. she was like eight years old. All she had to do was stand yeah. up. Like, she was actually yeah. being dramatic, you know? I wasn't jumping in that cold river for that. That was ridiculous. That sounds like dialogue behavior to me. <laughs> I know. No, no, my wife, everybody was pissed. Everybody was mad at me the rest of the time. Like, oh my gosh. You're just going to let that child oh, drown? Dare you. My dude, she wasn't drowning. Unbelievable, Nathan. I know. Next time Winter comes on the show, we're going to ask her about it. Yeah, you would think Winter would be pretty understanding. Like, what if you jumped in and couldn't figure the controls out to get back up? <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is scroll into first person, look up. It's no big deal. That's amazing. I mean, that's a very good point, though. I mean, real life is just... It's just so much harder. I mean, you don't know where the page up and page up button are in real life. Right. God, I know I look for it. I wish there was a third person in real life. I wish you could scroll out. I would play life in third person if I could. Yeah, I but people would use it to diving? look up people's skirts and stuff, you know. Oh, yeah. uh, well, hey, look. And they're done that. 
We probably would. Wait, I what? bet. Could look around corners without looking around the corner. I, I bet mean, it, you could it really would change like society. Cool. We wouldn't be, you know, we would we would all behave differently if we could do that. You know what I'm saying? Three income. That's a good one. Yo, what are what are you guys collecting here again? I forgot. A key? Keys and the, the EXP. Key for the prisoner? Yeah, right, and right. XP and loot. The fattest of loot. Father, I require the fattest of loots. Dude, I predict. The finest, most luxurious root, loots of all time. I predict in the future there will be NPCs. They'll either be robotic AIs or. They won't even be real. We'll just we'll think they're real, right? Everybody will have augmented vision and stuff, and they'll just be like people. It seems like people serving you, etc. But it's really just a crappy looking robot. But you see a full human. You know what I mean? Can we just live in Sword Art Online and just go and just leave the real world behind and live in virtual Sword Art Online? Forever. Yeah, me and my wife just watched Ready Player One again last night. Oh, I love that. So good. Such a good movie. The streak's trying to make it to the fire so we can heal. What happened to playing WoW Season of Discovery? Um, well, nobody was watching, and, um... You know, it's one of those things well. where if nobody if nobody cares, I kind of can't keep doing it. You know what I mean? Like I, I I have to move on if nobody if nobody watches. Nobody was uh, interested in watching me play World of Warcraft, so kind of phased and out. That's and that's why I didn't play it. Yep. I had fun I though. Knew, I knew it would be a flash in the pan kind of yeah. thing. You know, it'd be fun for you know a month or two, and then everyone kind of move on. Yeah. Unfortunate truth of content creation. Other than what's not been discovered already. Well, they added new stuff, so not a ton, but you know a little bit. In twenty-four hours. Yeah, it was. And then what? Basically. Yeah, pretty much. But not for me, you know. Like we were, we were, we were not, not a whole season of it. That's for sure. We weren't meta playing, so it felt lying. like a, it felt like a lot for us. We finally made Once it to again, the raid. Blizzard was lying to me. Said it was going to last a whole season. <laughs> the last day. By the way, he is not. I just realized he Domless is not uh, underhand throwing a jab at Pantheon. By the way, that's not what he's doing. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> not Dimos. That was never. Just in case you thought that might be what he's doing. Man, I tell you what. I was, so I told you guys earlier. I was finally watching season three for card and the the captain of one of the ships uh has a real great one-liner like he kind of pokes fun at, at not even pokes fun like tells his side of the story of when you know lacutus was alive and destroying humanity and he was on a ship that had to fight that borg uh cube and so after he like ripped into jean luc he turned to his crew and he's like you'll have to excuse me at some point, asshole became the replacement for charm, and that is me. I used to be a very charming individual, and now I'm just a fucking name. asshole. Oh, that's funny. Look at this scamper. Scamper claw. So intense with the name. Yeah, seriously. Ooh. Oh. Mythical. Mm -hmm. Ooh, really? Uh, Spiked van? It's not very good. <laughs> it's mythical, Gulu. Yeah, if you want to get all purple, mythical. then you know. Well. Well. 
Well. <laughs> and this game is not quite what you think it is. You know. Oh, I feel like crinkle. I know there's like a billion weapons and items, but they need to like go, go over it again. I Do feel again, like guys. they just they just figured out the colors, just need to figure out the stats now. Yeah, I would assume they threw all the items into some kind of algorithm, like a spreadsheet type thing, and just, you know, like, did hey, if it's got... They did it by hand? Did they? Dude, that'd be brutal. That would take so long. Oh my gosh, I would, I would be pissed if I had that job. I'd be like, oh my gosh. One time I had to, I had to itemize every single credit card transaction for, uh, let's see, 15 locations for the entire oh, year. Like 15 stores. Do you know how many times they have to use their company card to buy crap? Like, a lot. Like, almost daily. Have to itemize every one for a whole year for, uh, it might have been 13 shops at that time. Oh my gosh, it sucked! And they were like, and what was even worse, it was a Friday! And they were like, uh, get this done by tomorrow morning, guys, then you can have the weekend off. Like, are you serious? <laughs> so I stayed up all night, a whole Friday, all, literally all night, finished it like 9 a.m. the next day. Oh my gosh, I was steaming. The amount of curse words screaming out into the atmosphere. I don't doubt it. I don't blame it. That is messed up. Oh, that's You're sucks. like, so you're sitting there like two pounds of gummy bears? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I found a bunch of stuff. And, and you know, when you're when you're like the boss, you always find stuff that pisses you off, too. You know what I mean? Where you're like, why did he buy that? What in the hell? <laughs> you know? Ooh, I won that mythical ring. I can't wait to sell it. Still two of Ender. I was gonna... <laughs> or maybe two silver, yeah. Listen, that's maybe two four. more silver on my way to 50 gold for another row of stupid bag bank space. <laughs> I just my last 100 gold. 100 gold. Oof. Is that yeah, the max? Is that nope. the max? No? No. no. It, it is the max personal space. Jeez, dude. With a personal stash, it is not. Um, and that's what it was. It was on all. I'm like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> but I did it. I mean, you gotta have it. I, I did. It's ridiculous, but, you know. There's not enough. They give it to you with the, the subscription, but it's still not enough. I need at least 100 more per character. Well, that's I have. I have mildly good news. Okay. The mail system is Please. coming at mm -hmm. the end. I think this patch. Dude, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's not, not, listen. I listened to that fishing? damn interview with Drendon. Uh -huh. the, the, whatever show that Eloa does. T yeah, the and community show. Not, yeah, he does not want one. He does not want any sort of auction house. He, he said not yes and not no. And I'm just like, oh, that's no. I've, I've heard that so many times. That's in my life. That's a big old. Well, well you're we're not, not getting an auction house, yeah, but, but we are getting limit. cash on delivery and mailing oh, items. Oh. I, I would argue that for the Embers team, not yes, not no, doesn't necessarily mean no because they'd say no. You know, like PvP, they're like no, never. Smart. You know. I don't understand how they expect me to find the right buyer for a game that has 150 people on at any given time. So here's what I've heard. And I've heard this. Only eight developers, right? Not all of them code. You know what I mean? I don't know how many of them can. It, totally uh, maybe one. Uh, maybe two. Uh, not many, right? Um, and that the amount of development time it would take to make a working auction house system would take up so much development time that they would not be able to work on dungeons and new mobs and all the stuff they got it's planned. And it wouldn't bring in players just from having it. You know what I'm saying? So it and would I feel like and let that's... me do EQ1 and stand in the bazaar and sell my wares. And yeah. Be online. I agree with that. I agree with I that. I don't care. Give us that. I would be cool with that. That feels appropriate for this game, to be honest. That feels appropriate. 
And I would and do I it. Like currently, I'd, I would burn my graphics card to smithereens selling my crap at night. Hmm. I feel like that's their current goal is to just get more players. Like Ella was, she she posted something else on Reddit and it apparently had a good reception. Like got like oh wow one or two three people to play and it like went kind of well. And I was like, yeah, impressive for Reddit. Yeah, yeah. that's hard. That's hard to do. That's really cool. Yeah, the latter would be better anyways. Yeah, um, just a, a, a bizarre type system. Yeah. People like the bizarre. Not everybody. You can't please everybody. But overall, people I talked to mostly thought the bizarre was cool. I love the bizarre. I it's really fun do. to go shop. It feels like you're going shopping, right? It does. I, I loved it. Yeah. The only problem is with it was the fact that I had to look down at the ground and I could see nothing. Because I was oh, like right, right, right. Oh, my God. That was... <laughs> but honestly, I miss it. You know, I mean, so it was like, okay... Thank God for the little gold mine, you know, <laughs> going to the merchant, because if not, I couldn't have seen a damn thing. But, yeah, the bizarre was amazing. That was such a good feeling, like, you got a pocket full of uh, plat, I'm going, I'm going to go shopping, I'm going to go see what kind of, you, like, sometimes you didn't even know what you wanted. You just knew you had some money, and it was burning a hole in your bags, and you had to go spend it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I can get escapism and retail therapy all in one place. Right. <laughs> retail go. therapy. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, boss like agrees. Hundred hundred percent would love bizarre. I think most people would. I know I would be. I would be ecstatic to get a bizarre. I would. Too. There's I just. Would I just but, don't understand how they can even think like that. This thing that happens on Saturday or Sunday. I don't even remember what day it's on. That's it's how Sunday. little. Sunday. Is, okay. Mm -hmm. It just that for one hour. That's and two people are selling stuff. Like it's just that's you know, not gonna get it well, done ever. You, is, it's so hard to. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was probably about to mess everything up. Oh, I doubt it. Um, mm. it with the, <laughs> <laughs> but with the new colored, uh, it makes it a little bit easier with the new links. But that being said, reading the links is really difficult. For me, mm. especially when I'm looking for a recipe. Yeah. I would love sure. to be able to just type in the recipe I need and, you know, go to that budget. Like, just I, in a bizarre situation. That's right. I think the mail system is like a band aid. Um, yeah. And it sure. will help. Like, one, you know, me and Dorkachu know, like, I we say it all the time. We're like, oh, we're this Sunday, we're gonna go to the trade fair, and then we end up getting a group like an hour or two before the trade fair, and then next thing you know, we're like deep in a dungeon, and, and I'm the trade fair you. starts, and we're like, damn, we were supposed to go sell stuff. Yeah. And it's nice if you can just take down a person's name and say, okay, yeah, you want to buy my item? Cool, I'll mail it to you as soon as I'm out of this dungeon, and you're gonna pay this much for it. Um, and they don't have to actually come and meet you. They don't have to even be online. They can just message you and say, hey, I'm interested in this. Or even in the Discord, there's a trade channel where you can go in there and say, hey, I'm looking to buy this or I'm looking to sell this. And if somebody messages you and say they want to buy it, they can literally say, just mail it to me in game for this much money. Plus, and now I'm not a, I'm not a developer, but it, it from my novice point of view, it seems like coding wise, you're setting up a pipeline for things to exist awaiting for somebody else to do something to get that item, right? So it seems like a pipeline to make a bazaar later on. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's hopefully. like you're creating oh, yeah. the basic system. Yeah. And so, I think hopefully. The proper way to go through first, honestly. It makes, it makes sense. Yeah. But one of my favorite things about a bazaar system is this. Say I make repair kits, which I don't. I don't do any crafting, but say I do. I could go in front of a popular dungeon, set up camp there, selling things I know they're going to need, like repair kits, and that's where I hang out at. And so players come in, they're like, hey, there's a guy post right out here selling repair kits. Let's run out and grab it. Bam. Sells. And it would... Here's location, another... Location, location, location. Here's another problem <laughs> members has. <laughs> people log into Embers and say, gee, I don't want to play a game that doesn't have lots of people playing, so let me see how many people are online. They do a slash who all. If you had a bazaar, it's going to show more people online. Also, there you go. that would be true. 
Because there's a ton of people like, oh, there's only 110 people online, and this game is dead. And they'll quit playing. That's it. Good night. You know. see all the AFK Bazaar benders and be like, oh, there's yeah. a ton of people on. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, do have accounts. And I mean, that's really true. Illusion I matters, man. The illusion matters. That's said, I'm glad this game doesn't have 1,800 people like uh, Quorum does. Yeah, yeah. Well, it would be different in this game because of all the. Uh, it would start making instances of different dungeons and yeah, stuff, yeah, so yeah. it wouldn't be as bad. I'm just glad this game doesn't have a map point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta agree with that. <laughs> yes. Okay, what would you guys rather happen? What, which would you rather happen? The new EverQuest comes out, it's badass. It's, it's badass. But it's only on Mac. Or it's only on phones. Which would you rather? Mac. Oh my God. Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't want to buy a Mac. I, I wouldn't play either. <laughs> I would not play either. Yeah, I would just. I'd be like, never gonna I would protest. Apple product. I would too. I, I mean, protest. If it's, if it's Mac sure OS us, 7, maybe. I might fuck with that. I mean, I'm sure all of us here learned how to play, like, on a computer using an Apple. Originally, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Hashtag Oregon Trail forever. Hell yeah. Hashtag Apple 2E mother trucker. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. With them green screens, green and black. That was your yeah. colors. Green and black. With them exactly. floppy disks. Yeah, like, yeah, dude. Hell the yeah. real floppy disks. The ones that actually yes, were floppy. The, flop. the big ones. What are they called? <laughs> um, 8.5 There's or like something. There's like 3.5 It's or something. like 3.5 5, 5 5 5 5 millimeter. Or something. 5 and a something. <laughs> something like that, yeah. 5 and a something. <laughs> I think that's right. You're talking about right. a zip disk? Oh, dude, the zip disk. I have good memories with the zip disk. I was so blown away, and then CDs came out and just obliterated the entire market. But I had a little yeah, zip yeah, drive. Yeah. I don't. Well, how much did they hold? Do you remember? Wasn't it like 550 megabytes or something? It was pretty minimal. <laughs> but at the time, though. That's huge. At the time, I was like, geez, zip drives of the future. It can hold all of three <laughs> Word documents. What the hell? This is awesome. It was 128 megabytes? Okay. I, I thought it was, it was pretty good, actually. awesome. I was so impressed with the zip drive. Yeah, it was weird. Everyone had a zip disk for like a year or two, and then yeah. every, no one did. Then no one did. I've never had one. I did a lot of digital well, art cool at that time, so it was that was just my life, you know? What year was that? About, what? Uh, about 2000, 19, about 2000, 2001. I, I'm oh, gonna say. I'd say 2003, like, four. Oh, was it that far? Because being a mom, that's why. <laughs> so that was it. I had her when I was 21, turned 22 shortly after she was born. So, yeah, I wasn't playing much. I mean, I, I, I found MMOs in the Uh, so the real Levi, oh my gosh, Levi, how you been, brother? How you been? No, long time no see. The real Levi over on Twitch, what's going on in here? You all behaving to some extent? Uh, so no. far. Uh, so, uh, let's see, Dimos said the F word about six times already. Um, which ain't bad I mean, for that's now. Pretty good for that's pretty good for where we're at right now. Yeah, we're like, what, an hour deep? Almost an hour deep, so it's not bad. And he's unrestrained on this stream. I'm like after dark. If you spread them out, that'd be like one every ten minutes. That's not bad. That's <laughs> not bad. <laughs> okay, seven. So now, now, now the math's getting too hard, so I can't help you anymore. <laughs> These decimal places, I can't handle them. <laughs> not doing the decimals. <laughs> no fractions, please. <laughs> no fractions. No. But actually, uh, speaking of those Apple II floppy drives, we should, my brother, and we and we bring up this story all the time. When he was a kid, we had this like flat, like foam alligator thing, and my brother he said, "I'm gonna play this game," and he shoved it into the drive, and he ruined it. It cost like a thousand dollars to replace. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> That's so. But funny. he wanted to play alligator. I don't blame him. That would be a really cool game if it could exist. <laughs> oh man, how old was he when he did that? He was like three or four. He was pretty oh. young. Do you guys remember being a real nerd around people that weren't real nerds and they'd say dumb stuff and it would piss you off when you were a kid? Yeah, I still am that way. 
Yeah, I, I still am too. I guess I, guess I am too. Today. There's just more. I guess we just hang out with the real nerds now, so it doesn't happen as often. But you yeah, are right. Really, yeah. You're right. It still does happen. Nerds. I just remember people that's saying true. the dumbest crap in school, and I would get pissed off. Like, yep. like something dumb. Like, oh man, have you ever put a Nintendo game in your Sega Genesis, dude? It upgrades the graphics. And you're like, that is stupid. Oh, so sweet. That is not true. Nobody believed this guy. He's a liar. And it's probably like the most popular freaking guy just being a troll. Yeah. You know, that was that was for the first troll. <laughs> yeah, that was the original trolls. It was it happened at, at the in the cafeteria. Oh gee. That's what they exactly. learned to be a troll. Control Alt Delete at the same time. It'll <laughs> hyperdrive your graphics card. Yeah. And they probably actually believe it because some nerd was trolling them. I'm sure of it. You know, I mean. <laughs> Oh, Peace Dog, I'm so glad you said that. The first joke I ever saw on the internet was, and it, this is before the word meme existed, but that's what we would call it today, was an image of a guy. I bet you, I bet you we've all seen this, actually. It was so popular back in the okay. late 90s. A picture of a guy girl? at the computer with his disk drive out, using it as a cop, like he had his coffee sitting on it. And he thought it was his coffee holder. Do you guys remember that? Oh yeah. I might I'm not, I'm not be getting the joke a little twisted, but it was something like that. That was that was the gist of it. I, I that was the first joke I remember seeing on the internet. The first thing I remember seeing, and it was amazing because I went to it all the time. Bert is evil Wait, what was it? I don't, Bert is evil. I think I remember. Oh yeah, we, and he was all angry looking and yes, and, and yes. doing some stuff. I don't really. I, I went yeah, to that too. Like I remember that. Having a knife over Ernie. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it was so good. <laughs> I want to say the first game was Amster Dance. Oh man, that was long. Time. Because of Bert is evil, and um, I made my own comic series called Mess on Me Street, and it was a parody of Sesame Street. Um, now you gotta keep my eyes fairly young, but so it ain't it ain't all that genius of comedy. Uh, but you know, it was like burp and hernia, big turd. Um, I mean, I love that. That's great. Dude, that sounds like garbage yeah. kids, to be honest. Yeah, smokes a lot of crack instead of snuffleupagus. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Oh, I don't. There was a bunch of them. Oh, That's Oscar the too. Oscar the crotch. I remember that. Oscar the crotch. He lived in a condom. That's fantastic. Who's that condom designed for? That's the real question. It was a Magnum. Yeah. I mean, it is Oscar. I'm assuming he's going to. But my parents found one of those comics and I got in big trouble. Really? Yeah, they were pissed. It was pretty, it was pretty, uh, it's pretty graphic. Well, I it would have been great if you just had one of the characters that was like the same, like Cookie Monster. Oh, he was the Coochie Monster. Oh, that's. <laughs> I love him already. Yep. Nom 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 nom. But you want to know something like crazy? Changing his online tag. <laughs> oh yeah. Who <laughs> looks changing it right Challenge now? Challenge accepted. <laughs> Is that gonna be your paladin's name now? Are you gonna like, the name now? The Coochie Monster. And then I'm gonna have to name my character Coochie. <laughs> my daughter just is like, ew! <laughs> Coochie Coo. No, Mom. Coochie Coo. Yeah, as long as no, Mom. <laughs> I'm like, how the hell do you think you exist? Come on, you are 21 years old. How do you exist with a, a little uh, chicken wire? A stork carried me here. I'm glad. I'm glad you're not my my parents, Parker Chill. Hey, hey, she and I are super close. Listen, there's ambiguity between me and my parents. I don't know what they do. I don't want to know what they do, <laughs> and I'm fine with that. The, there's that classic Jerry Springer they moment. Do you guys remember Jerry Springer was some where he would like get somebody in the crowd to insult the guest? You remember that? Like he would just give them the mic and they'd say something insulting yes. to the guest. Well, it was yeah. it was like a, a a southern family, and I don't they were despicable for some reason I don't remember. But he hands the mic like, somebody in the audience is like, I bet your parents slept together, and everyone's like, ooh, and then Jerry Springer's like, uh, actually, everybody here. I'm pretty sure their parents <laughs> slept together. I know what you were going for, but you, you missed the joke there. Um, that that 
That's the whole point of the <laughs> Oh, man. But you know what's crazy? They made, back in, back in like the early 2000s, they made a disk drive that had a cigarette lighter, like the ones in cars, and an ashtray. In a, in a PC, is that what you said? In a PC. In oh, a PC. wow. You That's could a... put it in a PC. <laughs> have a cigarette lighter and an ashtray in your PC. So maybe that coffee guy was not far off. That, that's up there with that time KFC trolled us that they were making a console that you could put your fried greasy chicken inside of to keep it warm. Remember that? Yeah, and people got upset that it wasn't real. <laughs> yeah. The fool's one. Yeah, yeah. I saw a video where they showed, like, the Christmas meal at KFC in Japan, and it is kind of <laughs> effed up. They don't have that here. I know. Yeah, I love that here. I love that. It is, it is amazing. They have handwritten Christmas notes and stuff inside their buckets of chicken. Some politician, like, or some popular, I don't know if he's a politician, some popular guy in Japan had invested in KFC or something in Japan to get, like, franchises there or something like that. Yum. And so, like, he said, like, very publicly, like, you know, it's an American tradition to eat uh, chi uh, KFC fried chicken on Christmas. And that's yeah. not and they true, believe but it. they like believed it. They still do. Like, that's very yeah, common if you do. ask it's, them. It's huge. Yeah. It's huge. And they, they literally have, like, Christmas meals. <laughs> it's KFC. It's so that, ridiculous. It's, it's wild. I've they, heard people in Japan who are American be like, actually, we don't celebrate KFC on Christmas. And they're like, nah, you're lying. <laughs> yeah, like, shut up. We know that you do. Oh, How else he's so damn fat. Anybody here and was is anybody here was either a victim and or the troll that took someone snipe hunting. I did take someone snipe hunting one time. Both. Oh, you you you, Both you victim and mm, a victim troller. victim turned troll. Isn't that the whole game? Like you get victimized once and then you turn into the troll. So it's supposed to be. I, I see. I I I learned about it actually from Doug. It, they called it something else in Doug. I can't remember what they called it. Um, but it was the Doug same funny. idea. Yeah, Doug Funny on Nickelodeon. I'd never heard of it before. And I thought it was funny. And then somebody told me about snipe hunting. That was a real thing. And so me and a friend brought a guy and we went snipe hunting. Nematode. Nematode. That was what it was. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I had to Google it, but yeah. What's up, Mujin? My boy's church Man, Doug was such a that. banger. Dang, your church group well, used what? to haze people? Doug. Jeez. <laughs> 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 interesting. I'm not judging. It's a good bonding exercise, I guess. I mean, it's as long as you don't end up with a class action lawsuit against you, then you're good. Actually, Mujim, we are in Forgotten Depths 2, part two, phase two, the under deep... I like to call it Lower no Forgotten Depths. We're in Lower Forgotten Depths. But this is American Forgotten Depths, not Japanese Forgotten Depths. <laughs> Japanese Forgotten Depths is like number four. <laughs> They've already had one, two, three. For us, it's two. For them, it's four. It's a little confusing. And Nathan, you should open up a Popeyes franchise in Japan and tell them that all the Americans eat Popeyes for Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving? <laughs> oh, shit. And ghost pepper. Chicken, chicken wings. Specifically. They would love it. You know, KFC's weird because I'm not going to sit here and say it's not Messed good. It is good. But it's a weird kind of good. Can we all agree on that? It's a weird kind of good. It's not good, good chicken, but it is. But it does taste really good. Sometimes that weird good is good, good. Yeah, yeah. And if you're in the mood for KFC, no other chicken will do. Yeah. Especially that. 
I know a lot of people like the extra, extra crispy. crispy. Yeah, oh, are you an oh, extra yes. crispy guy? Oh, yeah. Extra I like it. Way. No, I'm not going to say it's good, but I'm an original recipe guy. Original recipe, baby. Mm. I mean, why not? It has the extra crispy is the original recipe with just extra crisp. It's yeah. Delicious. It's good. I think it has to do with Better. what you were eating when you were a child, right? Like, my family yeah, ordered the original like recipe more. See, my family did too, but I preferred extra crispy when I was younger, and now as an adult, I prefer. Oh, you swapped. Interesting. Totally did. So it is possible. Yes. Yep. So, well. I'm just going to throw this out there. Did anyone end up going to Long John Silver's this week? No. You have to drive so far for one. I'm going to have to wait till I'm on a road trip. Just they shut them all down. But I would. I, next time I do, I'm getting that chicken. I'm going to actually evaluate it. What's up, Dwindle? It sounds like, I mean, maybe in the future, road trips coming up. With that, uh, I don't know if it's, I don't know if they're still planning on that Embers of Drift uh, meet up. I'm not sure I'm I think. Minnesota up. one. I haven't heard anything else about. Yeah, I hope so. Setup takes a while. Yeah, you know. It said August and still March. There's a lot of math and thinking. Math. Oh. No fractions. No fractions. No decimal points. No nothing. We are the premier stream to go to get not nap. <laughs> so I'll say I want to say that switching from original recipe to to extra crispy or vice versa that feels pretty normal. Switching your favorite Ninja Turtle blasphemy. Oh my blasphemy, God. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Agreed. Agreed. Blasphemy. Listen, people change, and Ninja <laughs> Turtles change too. No. 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 I, I refuse. I still like Donatello. It's not like he's turned into the the worst turtle like Leonardo, but you know, that's, that's like something somebody who loves Cyclops would do. <laughs> that's, that is that's true. Dwemble. Dwemble loves Cyclops. Is Dwemble the Cyclops fan? Big time. I got blamed for being a Cyclops fan just because in the one video game he's the best character to play because he can do a projectile. He's the oh, only yeah, one. I did do that. Yeah, but it was like, oh, Cyclops fan, oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm a, I, I'm a Beast fan. Terrible. It is. That was bad. That was the first yeah, game I like played you, as a kid you, and knew it was if bad. You're, if your favorite Ninja oh. Turtle wasn't what you said it is, but was determined by what character you played the most in the Ninja Turtle game. <laughs> that said, I would take Sword of Sodan over the NES X-Men game. I would too. I would too. Agreed. I would too, actually. The X-Men game play is that NES awful. NES Wolverine game? I did. Oh, where I you know lost what? health just for having your claws out? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What oh. the fuck, Nintendo, were you thinking? I do remember that. Didn't what really a disappointment. Since he's supposed to be able to regenerate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like that was like a, a patch over another game that... Probably was. was. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, I'm you can't have him... that thinking, oh, this is going to be the greatest game... Yeah, yeah, I and, and the, like, cover art was so good. <laughs> I was just, like, so let down. And I just found out a new piece of info that's going to make everybody feel a little bit better today. Old school Nintendo fans, at least. Grats. Ring a ding ding. Oh, grats. Yep, 1% away. So, everybody probably knows by now that Mario Brothers 2 in America wasn't really the original Mario Brothers 2. We didn't get that till later. The Lost Levels, right. that was the original one. They just took some other game and they slapped the Mario characters on it. But, I just found this information out today. The original game, Doki Panic or whatever it was called. Doki 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 Doki. Club, yeah. yeah. That game, actually, the original Mario creator who made Mario all the way up till more recently, Miyamoto, he had his DNA more into the Doki game than the actual Mario Brothers 2 that released in Japan. So actually, our Mario Brothers 2. That's ding! Nice, Nathan. 37. Yes. There it is. Double dings all the way. So you could argue that our Mario Brothers 2 was more Mario than the original Mario Brothers 2. Because he didn't have very much to do with the development of that one. Still my favorite Mario. It's a good one. It's unique. Lost levels or uh, hour two. 
Yeah. American 2. American 2. Lost Levels was just basically a Kaizo hack before Kaizo hacks. Yeah. I've, I've listened to a lot of, like, podcasts and things about the NES, and it's so funny that, like, that that's what they showed uh, Amer Nintendo of America, and the Nintendo of America people were like, nope, that's way too hard. That's way too difficult. We can't sell this. Yeah, the, and they the were right. They did. It was kind of a pain in the ass hard, and I played it now, and, like, there's parts where it's just like, okay, now you're just being annoying, you know? Like, well, also the mushrooms, there's like, well, in like the uh, SNES re release of the Lost Levels, it's like clearly distinct wh which are the good mushrooms and which are the bad mushrooms. Right. But in the NES ones, you can't tell. It's very slight difference. Yeah. Agreed. Sometimes you have to really think about the mushrooms, you know? <laughs> what are we thinking about the mushrooms? I wonder if that messed us up in the head a little bit. That we, because we were kids, so we just accepted all that. We didn't even question that we were playing a game where you were eating mushrooms and spitting fireballs and, um, you know? I mean, if you read the manual, it's more fucked up because it's like the blocks are the members of the Mushroom Kingdom fossilized <laughs> really? or changed or whatever. Really? Yeah. Really? Here, I'll bring it up. What's funny about that is I, that means I originally knew that and I forgot because I've read the hell out of those instruction manuals. Page 4, the Super Mario Brothers manual says, One day the kingdom of the peaceful mushroom people was invaded by a Koopa. The tribe of tur turtles, famous for their black magic. Oh, I do remember quiet, that. peace-loving mushroom people were turned into mere stones, bricks, and even field horsehair plants. The mushroom kingdom, kingdom fell into the ruins. Wow. So, so we were, when I yeah. find a coin in one of them, that means I just killed a rich mushroom guy? I guess so. Yeah. Or a stripper. <laughs> Sweet release. Could have been a stripper. It probably was a stripper. That's probably more likely. You guys want to know a fun fact? Okay. Yeah. In Canada, they throw coins at strippers. Oh. Loonies. They do not. They do too? They still no. do? It's still part of the 100%, culture? Yeah, like, throw them. Like, I'm not not kidding. Like, throw, like, throw oh, them. Oh, jeez. That would hurt. What, what part of Canada? Who yeah. Mr. Wait a minute. Our Canadian resident here seems to disagree, so I don't know. This could be like an eating, eating KFC at Christmas type thing. Because... <laughs> Well, just like I informed Lulo the other night that strippers here, at least in Portland, Maine, receive two dollar bills. Because well, that's what the ATM man did that. They need two dollar bills. So every time these, I worked at Dunkin' Donuts in the other place, I'm like, oh man, I know what those have been. God help me. You know, it's like, ugh. So Google is right. The smallest bill in Canada is a five. So you use a lot of loonies. Oh, uh, you know. okay. And yes, Grix. Where's Vendini when you need him? Yeah. That it, 
Greg said is correct. Can confirm it. He's been so he he listen. Coins or bottles of maple syrup. Vindini, strip club enthusiast. Without a doubt. And, and Canadian. Enthusiast. Canadian Did you man. Say yuck the maple syrup, Dimos? I hate maple syrup. Whoa. Okay, you're fucking fired. Whoa. Weirdo. How do you that feel? Fired? Fired. Wait a minute. Here's the real test. You're weird, man. We'll find out if he's anti Canadian. This is the real test. How do you feel about uh, Wayne Gretzky? I could care less about it. Oh my gosh! What's wrong with you? Oh my goodness. Hockey is amazing. Yeah. I'll go watch a hockey in game in live person, but I, mean. I will not watch it on television. Hey, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. See what's funny now that they've odd. taken fighting away. Like that's that was the whole reason to go is to watch them box it up, but now it's good. gone. Yeah. It's not true. as much. That's true. Too hard to see a puck on TV. That's true. But don't they like laser light it now? I don't know. I haven't seen they it in do. that long. They do. I'll be honest. I'm not a sports guy. So um, when I get invited or whatever, you know, sometimes, you know, you're just in that situation where you go into a sports game. You know what I mean? Um, and when I'm in that situation, I'll be honest with you. All I'm thinking about is I'm gonna get some beer and a hot dog. That's literally all I'm thinking. I, yep. I don't care about sports at all. Like they, I don't understand the appeal. I don't. I don't like it. I just don't. I never did. I never. If I'm playing, I can have fun. But I, I just never got the watching other people play uh, a sport. Yeah, Nathan cannot resist a wiener or a dog. Or a wiener dog. <laughs> I can't. I wieners and dogs. In can't resist it. Oh my god, guys. Uh, and yes, before you ask, I do break off the piece of the hot dog and eat it one chunk at a time. I'm not sticking a wiener in my mouth and suckling it down. Especially not in public. I feel like eating a hot dog is not as bad as eating a hot dog. It's not. It's not as bad. You can, for one thing, those hot dogs come in a thing and I usually get chili on it. And it's messy and I'll use a fork. You know what I'm saying? I, eat it, I jumble that it all a, up. a uh, very naughty sentence. You just... Yeah, I was going to let it go. Wait, how is it? Wait, what now? How is it? I missed you it. You literally just like chained a bunch of... You're like, that. That the hot dogs come and they're a mess and they get home. <laughs> <laughs> you put it in a thing. Whoops. Yeah, you put it in a... I was just like, what? what? <laughs> Somebody clipped that. <laughs> Whoops. He's like, whoops. I <laughs> love it. That was my pure accident. I that was your first child. I mean, I'm a dirty bird, but sometimes I just say something. It's like, the worst possible things you could say. How many of us would actually be here if it weren't for accidents? Okay. Well, hi. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be here. First time my parents never did it, hi. Yeah. <laughs> that was their first time. Legit. Legit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. First and, and only. That's usually how it goes. <laughs> first and only. It wasn't only, but it was definitely the first. That's where she got her evil laugh from. I did not get an evil laugh. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to ruin your first time forever. <laughs> I mean, at least it was in a Mustang. I mean, there's that, so that was cool. They told you where it happened? Yeah, my mother told me. Why not? And they didn't name you Shelby? It wasn't a show. Peace Dog knows where he was and created we as well. I don't live in this house. So, no. 60, he was, so, Peace Dog was conceived in the backseat of a 66 GTO. Nice. So, that was an accident. Yeah, for sure. Nobody plans that, you know? Yeah, no. no. That was just a... I'm surprised. Are you, like, were your parents, like, the biggest dudes on the planet or something? The, Mr. C? Because I think, shocked. I think... Well, I'm I'm shy because probably they, it just happened in a not very. It wasn't in the backseat of anywhere. Probably it was just like on it wasn't the, bed. the first time, right? So yeah, I guess. Yeah, is your brother older or younger? Younger. Could have been. You and then they went back. Might have been the first time. Could have been. I don't think so. I don't know, and I don't want to know, but I don't think so. That's right. He was hatched. <laughs> Well, let me tell you, well, Mr. C, your mother I and I conceived you. Oh, never mind. 
Look, if you're a hatch, that's even more special because they had the opportunity to eat you. Dimelos gave her the Mr. D, put it in her C, and made a Mr. C. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that just means that, like, <laughs> that means, like, Dimelos, you know, she was she was a crib snatcher, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe he went back in time. Or your mom was yeah. the crib snatcher. Yeah, that's what I mean. My mom, you know. Why are you missing your mom? <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to, like, elaborate on this thing <laughs> that you guys have created. Uh, this is my favorite part of the week, guys. Mine as well. Uh. My least favorite part of the week is when we end and it's 2 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, is it is it any wonder, though, that we have our stream on Hamid Day? I'm just saying. Yeah. Right in the middle of the week. That's a good point. Right in the middle of the week on hump day. Just where he, That's why you eat your hot dog sideways. What? <laughs> Never tried oh, that. That would be very difficult. I want to see you. I kind of want to try it, though. I do want to kind of try that. <laughs> eat it sideways. Yep, that, that sounds like a good one. Have you ever eaten corn the long way? Uh, I have done that. Yeah. What you do is you drag your teeth. You get your bottom tooth, your teeth, and you drag it from bottom up. And you let the corn just kind of fall. Like one. <laughs> well, some, one pe tooth. some people may only have one. Corn tooth on. <laughs> you take the single row of corn out of the cup. And then he takes the one tooth from his upper, you know, tooth. And then I mean, if you only have one, if you only have one, it would you could get one row at a time. It would actually be kind of cool, <laughs> you know, depending on the size of the tooth. Killing the corn. Right? Yeah, yeah. The... But amazing. as you drag it up, you let the corn just kind of spill. You angle it so that the corn's just spilling into your mouth. It's it's actually I just efficient. Like old man Nathan with one tooth making like a corn maze <laughs> on a corn cob. Old time living with Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> making a corn maze. Be like solve that one, buddy. Well, I mean, Granny likes corn. Or granny, Granny likes corn, right? Yeah, she does. Uh, a Granny eating, yeah. And uh, corns. Too, and yeah. she's got corns, yeah. Wait till you guys. Wait till you guys find out the twist. Coming, coming Ooh. about about old timey living in granny. There's a twist coming this Saturday. You know what? Speaking of last, did, did no, not that this Saturday. Episode get March taken 30th. down. Um, no, but it did get an adult warning. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> so if you have an account with YouTube, and you know they already know you're 18, you're you probably won't see it. But if somebody just stumbled upon it and didn't, you know, what I'm saying they didn't have a YouTube account, they just found it unsigned in it's supposed to like be like you have to be signed in and prove that you're 18 or whatever so nathan i'm not trying to put you on the spot but i'm going to put you on the spot okay. are we getting the uh the the taste test yes yes I've, I've already bought the supplies once again though i have to wait i have to wait until it's the day of so that i don't spoil yes, anything yes because once i know the truth you know it's a limited time before i have to tell everybody You'll have to call all of us first thing in the morning and tell yes. them. Speaking of uh, Prince Pony, I was I was going to do a, a call-in recently about the piggyback bandit. This guy who would steal piggyback rides on on dudes. Mm. But near, I, I read the full story and it was like, oh yeah, also he was like doing stuff to minors. I was like, well, that's not fun. Okay, yeah. That was a real story, though. Like, I really did that. Yeah. You can Google it. Like, he would pose as like mentally ill people to get piggyback rides. Oh he my would. God. He would pose as like press people to get piggyback rides. He would get piggyback rides from, just, he, from mostly muscular men. But he would try to get free piggyback rides as an adult man. Uh, so, Levi, let me explain. Let me dive in a little deeper about the lore behind the corn tooth. So, a good corn tooth means that you have a bottom tooth that is, sticks up a little further than the other teeth, right? So, because it protrudes further up, you're able to dig in into the cob and drag it along the line of the corn so that you can get one column at a time vertically 
vertically. Or you could do it typewriter style, right? Like, do it horizontally yeah, that's like my, and just spin that's it. My way of it. As a... Yeah. Typewriter style is my favorite. You go start on this side, but but then now I switch sides. So like, say I start on the right side of the cob, and I go to the left. I turn it, start at the left, go to the right. You see efficiency. I don't I don't reset like a typewriter. You know. You don't have that like ching thing that ching. that type of <laughs> ching in the corn. We should invent that, where it's a holder for corn and it cha chings back over so you can and rolls it for you. That would be amazing. Now yeah. that is a good invention that you will probably go bankrupt, but still a good idea. No one will buy it, but the one person who does buy it will love you. And they'll sh it'll be their party trick. You know, they'll show it to everybody. And then they're gonna want to buy it. Maybe. Or will they just be like, let's go over to his house and, and try out that, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. He's got a weird bill on his weird typewriter corn thing. What's up, Eloa? We got Eloa in chat. Yo, yo. Hold on, everyone, button oh, up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we gotta behave. No more F-bombs. Uh, what, what? No more F-bombs? <laughs> Listen, telling, no. telling Daimlos no F-bombs creates more F-bombs. I know. Same you know? for that's me, to fact. be honest. That's, That's like telling pack. Nathan no corn. <laughs> Are we talking about something else? Is that look? Is it? What bothers no, me, what bothers corn. what bothers me about oh. corn, guys, is that I will be careful to chew my corn completely up. He doesn't want it looking the same. How does? Going. Yeah, how does it come back out? It still look whole again when it comes out. How's that possible? I don't know. It's so okay, weird, hard, hard question. If you freeze corn. Is it a popsicle? Like corn on the cob? Frozen corn on the cob? Frozen corn like on the cob. That like a way to bust up your teeth. Yeah, now that, you'll, you'll end up with one corn tooth if you try that. Hold on. <laughs> New invention. That's all you need. Dentures need. with corn kernel teeth. Corn kernel oh teeth. The future. Like like those popcorn kernels, those really hard kernels, you put those in you know, some dentures and you're good. What about candy corn? How do people? I know that's a very. Ugh. 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 Really? Okay. Worst there candy. There was one silo of candy corn made in 1960, and we are still selling. We're still eating from it. that silo. Ugh. Wasn't yeah, that a, like wasn't that a joke from? Buying it. There's only I'm, one candy worse. There is a worse candy it. out there. One worse candy than candy corn. Is it that peanut butter crap that like kills your teeth? I kind of like those. I can't remember what it is. I kind of like Do those. Do you? Oh my god. I mean, they're not my favorite, but you know. Those little peanut butter wafers? Yeah, they were, they were really hard, though. Do you remember? It was like a <laughs> rock like solid them. peanut butter <laughs> candy. <laughs> I actually like those. I kind of like those. Um, no, the worst. I like black licorice. I know that one's divisive. I like that one. The worst, Ooh. hands down, circus peanuts, man. What is that? That's yeah. not food? Yep. See, I like I can agree with that. I mean, I no, it's like not them candy. With I'd say it's wax lips, but that's and just terrible me. flavor. Both. It's like a one-two combo. Oh uh, yeah. Absolute All shit. Right. They should just sell them together. You know. I love candy corn. So Eloa, Eloa says she drops that bomb more than you do, uh, Damos. The, the, look, this ain't a competition. This ain't a competition. What? <laughs> I mean, I think I drop it more than you do, Damos. To be honest. Uh, Listen, I mean, we're I'm all foul-mouthed sailors, all right? We can all agree that we're bad people at the end of the day. Here, here. I try to be to tame that. online, but in real life, it's not so great. Okay, all right. Not counting, obviously, candy. Like, you know, they sell those get well bears. Not counting candy, okay? Best tasting medicine. Diamond tap. Okay, diamond tap. That's an interesting option. Mine is Pepto Bismol. Pepto I love it. Oh, yes, Pepto Bismol tastes so, so good. You guys are so yucky. Nathan, are you ready for this? Okay. Have it's you had the it. chewy Pepto Bismol yet? No. Oh, I it's like yet. little jelly beans of Pepto Bismol. No delicious. way. Yeah, it's wonderful. Same. So gross. Same good benefits for the for the gut. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Everything you get out of the regular only. Oh, I'm gonna get beans. those. I'm gonna get those. Have you ever had the candies that taste just like it? 
I would love it. I would love it. They actually have You it. should hand them out on oh. Halloween. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys are nasty. I love Pepto Bismol. You know, the best medicine I ever had was actually a prescription, and I don't know what it was. It was some kind of antibiotic I was kid, and they made it taste like bananas. And it was fucking awesome. It was good. So oh, good. Was okay. So like good. runs bananas or regular banana? <laughs> Greg, Greg. Like, the extinct, the extinct banana. Greg said, "Tell because me this is a boomer stream without telling me this is a boomer stream." <laughs> this is not a boomer stream. We we are the children. You're like, of yeah, give me that Pepto Bismol. <laughs> I'm gonna drink it. I drink it right out the oh, bottle, bro. Yeah, you do it totally boomers. Uh, Luden's drops are really good. Agreed. That's that's would be my number two for sure. My wife swears it's not even medicine. I mean, it isn't. They don't. They don't really do as much as a regular. Cop yeah, drop. right. But they help. They Are help. We talking about the Ludens? Yeah, man, they're so good. Oh God, those are so yummy. Yeah, yeah. That's like I'm the at, best. Look for whorehounds. They're actually called whorehounds. Whore whorehounds. No, okay. I swear to God. I'm not whore googling hounds. that. No, it's whorehounds. They are so good. They're old-fashioned candies. Yeah. It's a root something on them. But it has powdered friggin' sugar on the outside of it. Oh, I know what you're talking about. My grandma used oh. to have those. Four yeah, hounds, the old school candy you're missing out on. <laughs> They're so Don't let the good. name of this bittersweet <laughs> rootsy flavor freak you out. These sweets are delicious. <laughs> they are amazing. My oh. grandmother used to have them, and I became addicted to them as a kid. And the only place I can find them is like this casino three hours away from me in Connecticut. I mean, it's ridiculous, yeah. so I always stuck up when I happen to go down, which isn't very often. Gotta try it, boys. Gotta try it. Just saying. Bunch of whorehounds in the casino. <laughs> not, well, not me. I think we just invented a new uh, slang. You fucking whorehound, get out of here. <laughs> I think that's it. You're welcome. Ah, uh, hell. But Pepto Bismol, what is wrong with you guys? That's so. See, Delicious. I don't like peppermint. I don't like pepper. But I like your peppermint pen. But I don't like that nasty. Ugh. Just the thought of it. Have you had Dimetap? It's so much better. Dave. It's been a long time. So I don't really remember specifically. It's, it's better than. It's like grape Kool Aid, but better than grape Kool Aid. Grape no way. It's, it's so much better than. It's not better than grape Kool Aid. It's better than grape Grape Kool Aid's one of I my mean, favorites. It's better. It's you must have drank a lot. Kool Aid comes from? Yes, I'm a tap. Drop this all out. I think my mom loved giving me that stuff back in the day. Can't blame her. Go buy some well, children's time tap, guys. Cause that's all that they have now. Dude. Evidently, adults aren't supposed to like the taste, but I do. Kool Aid is just purple powders. powders. Can we throw those in there? Oh, those oh, are good. Yeah. yeah, those are good. Oh yeah, my daughter. That's all she'll take. Is because oh, I am Corey, growing. good point. Cold Pepto Bismol is what I'm talking about. I, I, I thought you had it to refrigerate matter. it, but maybe you don't. Um, I don't. I never have. I've always refrigerated it. We've always got Pepto Bismol in the sleeve of our refrigerator. And I'm the only one that uses it. And let me tell you something. My stomach, I dare my stomach to even feel slightly upset for any reason. I will go down there and chug some Pepto Bismol. I'm looking for a reason. I'm looking for a reason. <laughs> It's over the counter. Yep. I don't do it a little spoon. I just turn You're that bad boy up. He's looking for a reason. <laughs> Popeye's flavored Pepto. Watch it. It's the Pepto Bismol that's <laughs> giving you the stone. They should oh, include God. those chewables with Popeye's. They should just include it. It should just be. They should get a partnership. Hello, are you watching the stream? Because I am trying to, you know, <laughs> stun this shit. <laughs> and somebody died most. <laughs> it was me. Was not me. I did it live. I have to admit it. People saw me it do it. Too. I'm sorry. I did do that. Nathan did it twice. I did do it twice. That's true. Okay. <laughs> How dare I'm you? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. No. I can't These, my guys that I love dearly, cannot see the goddamn. <laughs> Z's above their head. Can we please make it bigger? We need it bigger. I need it make it. You can make it as big as the fucking room and we'll still hide it. I need to have to I click know. on a- I need, need to have to click on a slider. warning. I need a warning to pop and say, this is Mazda, you sure you want to hit it? And then I'll- <laughs> that's what I need. 
No, and... I think you need that, like, <laughs> in EQ, how they have the Tattletail system, and it's like, this person broke the mess. Yes! <laughs> yes! yes. <laughs> like, it just pops up, like, real big on everybody's screen in the group. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Just fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious for a feature. Oh, speak, speak, speaking of pop up messages, did you hear they're, at, they're also adding an inspect system? Like EQ, and if you Ooh. expect people, it gives you a message telling oh. you that they're inspecting I love you. it! That's how I met one of my, my good friends to this day. I mean, I asked him, like, are you really a guy? <laughs> he was checking out my Hoochie Mama, like, dominatrix outfit of my enchanter. And oh. he was like, yes. <laughs> okay, getting caught inspecting, right? But have you ever gotten caught, like, lining up your character? So that you can swing your camera around. You've been caught with that before. You know oh what I'm saying? God, I've done that so many times. I've been caught with that before. I've had somebody actually be like, "Are you trying to look up my skirt?" I was like, "No." No, definitely not. I was all. getting a screenshot <laughs> up yeah, your skirt. I've never actually. been caught making like a human centipede on a wall. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think that drag caught the last second of it. <laughs> yeah, he turned around <laughs> and looked at it. Bunch of fucking sickos. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so funny. I had a friend do that. Uh oh, who did we do? Did we lose somebody? Hopefully not me. No, you're here. Yeah, we're all Hi. here. We're all here. <laughs> Is somebody just, just this game that you missed with me? Yeah, my Discord was just like, and hey, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> I was wondering, because I was like, mm -hmm. uh, I am ready for Eternal Tombs Close Beta. So the dev, the main dev, reached out to me and said, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to reach out to him tomorrow morning. He said that he was going to let me stream and show the game off right before the, 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 the beta test. That's what he said. So I'm going to reach out to him tomorrow and be like, hey, man, we still on? We still on? I've been telling my, my audience, tens of people are waiting on it. Hell yeah. But if I do that, we'll probably we'll probably get a good audience. It'll probably be a good eighty, maybe eighty, maybe a hundred if you count all the streams. At least eight, but maybe a hundred. Maybe a hundred. <laughs> maybe. Depends on those kick numbers. Did you say yeah, a lot, yeah, uh, kick numbers, no. man. Kick needs to work on their link because I don't even like to include my kick link because. It doesn't, you know, like if you if you share the link on Twitch on Discord, it'll at least show your logo. You know what I mean? But when you share cake, it doesn't do anything. It's just a link they have to click. There's no, no fancy. I think you have to go topless in order for them to give you like a link picture. Maybe. No, you need an OnlyFans account. That's what it is. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Same thing. Well, I think you can't just straight up be nude on kick. No. You gotta like, at least put like... band-aids over the nipples. Yeah, yeah. Or exactly. like you pasties some, like, and paint over page. it. What about yeah. the areolas? Can you show the areolas but not the nipples? It's a good question. I haven't looked That's... that deep into the policy. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> Do they allow you to eat popsicles online? <laughs> Nathan's like, no. They should I mean, you can on any stream. What about porn? Yeah, corn is allowed. Oh, one hour and the stream is already derailed. It's fantastic. What are you talking about? This is what you tune oh, yeah, in every, right. every week. That's right. I mean, hey, it's, to be fair, it started even before we went live. Yeah, we were getting mad about Very episode fantastic. 8, Star Wars. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, here we go again. I mean, we I already got it out. I already got it out. I'm happy. What was worse though, eight or nine? Eh, eight. Yeah. Nine was just kind of a mess. It wasn't like super bad, but it also wasn't super good. It had some parts that pissed me off. It was pretty forgettable. Yeah. yeah. I kind of gave it up, so I haven't. Yeah, those last three were all pretty forgettable. I like this. I like seven. I thought it was. I thought that was a good way to 
you know, wasn't it just kick it off hope again or yeah Empire pretty much back which is which is fine i was hoping they continue that you know what i mean just keep going with it and and then empire the, strikes back it, the third yeah i would have been okay with that that would have been better than what they did uh the part okay wait a minute let me back up because there was one thing about seven that was god awful what they did to han solo wow that's how you're gonna end that legacy? Seriously? Yeah, yeah, that was shit. They should have named it back to the Empire Strikes Back. I get the feeling that Harrison Ford, he got that role and he's like, listen, can you just fucking kill me? I'm done with this shit. Because he doesn't think Han Solo is an interesting character. He, he's like, oh, what did you think about Han Solo? He just shrugs like, I don't know. It's basically just me. There's a little salt here. <laughs> well, that works. I mean, when you play such an iconic, iconic character like Indiana Jones, Han Solo is just, you know, boring. Dude. Han Solo. No, Han Solo was Han Solo greater than Compared Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Yeah, though? greater. Yeah, Han we... Solo is greater. No yeah. way. Yeah, my opinion. Well, Indiana Jones, I'm with Dallas on this one. So, well, Indiana Jones is pretty damn cool. I'm not going to lie. But Han Solo. I, mean, I love Indiana I just liked him. He was like the... He not brought balance. The, he's not even the star. He brought balance to the entire series, dude. Because, number one, he was the unbeliever in the Force, right? He was the guy being like, Oh, come on, you bunch of crazies. He you tied know? it all together. Yeah, and once you found out that Princess Leia and Luke probably shouldn't get together since they're related. Um, Very closely, considering they're twins, yes. Yeah, Han Solo. Then you're suddenly rooting for Han Solo to get the girl. At first, you're kind of like, come on, Han Solo, don't take Princess Leia. It's for the main character. She's for the main character. And then you find that out, and you're like, okay, Han Solo. Yeah, go ahead and, go ahead and get that. Yeah. I don't know. Porn habits tell me otherwise. <laughs> well, I mean, based, porn. based on statistics, that's probably happened where, like, brother and sister get separated and like they meet up later in life and they think they're not related and it turns out they are related. Especially they've got yeah. a telepathic bond that they're like destined yeah. about. Oh, I guess she's, you're right. She's yeah. his step twin sister. Dude, the best for no, that was no. Joe Dart. Do you remember that? <laughs> Pull him out of the washer or dryer? Remember in Joe Dart, he couldn't perform because he found that it wasn't his sister and then she had to tell him that she was his sister so he could, so he could perform again? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Joe Dart is so good. Such a good Anyone's movie. gonna have sex with my sister, it's gonna be me. <laughs> you know, I heard of something. It's it's so profoundly disgusting. Is that I mean, not that that isn't, but a mother gave up her son for adoption, and years later, they ended up they ended up together. Oh no. Yeah. Yep. And they ended up, even though they knew about, it, they had found out, they still got married. Oh my gosh! No, they got found out because they were doing they were doing it in like a car of like some I might might even a church parking lot. They stayed together, like it's like Ugh. I can't even what? Yeah, Ow. come on! After you find out, that would yeah, just I mean, be weird. I mean, you get a you know, it's like a you get a pass one time. Right? Yeah, well, like, oh, because you no, didn't know. Shit. But, damn. I mean, it's just crazy. Life is crazy. Wait. Oh, oh, okay, Corey, you confused me. Um, That is not Sparrow you're hearing. Um, I know it's hard to believe Why that there's another female who plays in memos. I get it, but... Um, yeah, it's Jennifer Tilly. This is Jennifer Tilly. every week, Sparrow? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Oh, somebody else does. Somebody else does. Always ask. And I'm Sparrow. I was, I, I was like, wait, why can't I see what Sparrow's saying? Because I thought she was in chat and he was answering her. Jay Slan, thank you for this for the prime sub. I got a little, got a little quick cringe for you. I love it, Nathan. That's the first time I've seen it. I love it. Yeah, I'm making some more. Did you see me pull up in the Popeyes like that? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. I, I, I did it, guys. I did it, by the way. I ate ghost pepper chicken. I did it. How many? Yes. Did you eat? I ate 40. My regular amount.
You go, boy. I'm proud of you. Now that I was that was I just did. yesterday, so I'm not out of the weeds yet. You know what I mean? I'm not out of the weeds. But yeah, I'm, gonna, good, I'm gonna miss the three shift. I did. I slept, I slept good. I felt good. I got a little extra pep in my step, you know. Got that ghost pepper power deep inside you. Oh, there you go. Joe said the same thing. He just polished off some ghost pepper wings and he wasn't going to say anything because he didn't want to hurt my feelings. Mm. So good, bro. It was like going back home, you know? I bit into it. It was fresh. It was hot. So when you drove up, did you feel like how you did in that clip? I was a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. There's like a little bead of sweat coming down. Like, uh, let me go ahead and get them ghost pepper chicken wings. Like, I was kind of felt like a, like a little ashamed, like I shouldn't be doing this, you know? I checked my phone to make sure I wasn't accidentally live streaming and Dimeless was watching. You know what I mean? A little freaked out. <laughs> you should have. I'm surprised you didn't like FaceTime him. <laughs> I like how you're more worried that, that like, <laughs> oh, I might be streaming in case Dimeless might see me getting a ghost check instead of like, oh man, I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> I might be live streaming. <laughs> I was fully prepared that if it caused a kidney stone, to never tell anybody I ate it. You know what I mean? To, like, take that to the grave. I had, like, a gallon apple cider vinegar ready. <laughs> I'm still doing my apple cider vinegar every day. Greg said after watching that little cringe, he had a visceral reaction. Like a horrible bowel movement is brewing, he said. After the cringe was too powerful. <laughs> Bro, that was light, I gotta say. Yeah, I gotta agree. Now, here's some real cringe. Gula Gula just wants to be taken to the city. Now this. Oh, yes. Now this. Dimelos. Perfect timing. Oh, grass Dimelos. Woo! Woo-woo. I'm a dog with the bone. Now I'm saying rough, rough. Let me give it to you, baby. It will never be enough. Let me put my lips up to your ear. Let me tell you something, dear. All right, we're back from the city. Then I'm gonna. Steve. <laughs> Steve's music is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> yep. It doesn't get old. I mean, it is just phenomenal. I've got really good news. I got epic big news. I am being relocated by a company to exactly, well, roughly, roughly, because we got we don't know, we haven't found our house yet, but roughly between 45 minutes to an hour away from Steve. Cringe Pony TV's oh, about awesome. to get upgraded. Oh man, a Can lot get elevated. Yep. That is awesome. Oh, Ella yes, wants a no puppet dance. Here. Here we go, puppet dance for Ella. All right, we're back from the puppet dance. Back from the freak show. I was going to say, it's a good thing Steve didn't quit his restaurant and move, out and move up and in with you because <laughs> the way's going right. We've been moving right back. And yeah, now we're going to need a live from Mid-City Grill. Oh, yeah, we, yes. already, we already discussed that for sure. Oh, that's awesome. Since he owns the restaurant, we can, like, go there at night when they're closed. You know what I'm saying? Like, record an oh, yeah, episode there. Hours. We can bring our PCs and literally stream in there. You know what I mean? We can do whatever we want. He's the owner. Have your own private chef just making you food while you're cringing. <laughs> no, this is a yeah, this is a day job for me. Um, so it won't really affect because I this. So I've been looking for something because um, you know. Not to say that I'm not doing good on YouTube. It's good. It's just not enough. You know what I mean? Uh, so um, I've been looking for something, but my I've had trouble finding somewhere because with what I do and what I'm good at and in high 
corporate leadership type roles where I've got a lot of experience doing. There she is. They don't want you to ever have free time. You know what I mean? You're supposed to be ready to pick up the phone call at any point, 24 hours a day, blah, blah, blah. So I had to try to find a place that would accept that at 6 p.m. my phone is off. Because I can't stream if I got to answer work calls. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be the worst streams ever. Um, so a place um, uh, did contact me yesterday um, and... Um, I know, I know, I know all the guys at the top level, so I know exactly what I'm walking into. Great guys, and um, they are drawing up my contract now. So they, they said I will be, they will be moving our butts ASAP. Congrats, buddy. Yeah, pretty excited. Awesome, man. Yeah, congrats. And weekends off, and blah, 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 6 p.m. I'm done. So the streams are great. It'll be fine. It won't even YouTube. All my fans on YouTube say you won't even notice the difference. Except for I'll have more money to put back into the streams, into Cringe Pony. More mullet wigs, more costumes, you know what I mean? Better office. Well, I don't know about that. This office is pretty pretty awesome. Equal office, at well, least equal to. Do you think you'll have more of a southern accent because you're moving back? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Because I'll hear it. Nathan. What's that? Never mind. Oh, no, I did not pick the white one first. <laughs> Give us your best Tennessee accent, Nathan. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Tennessee. We like to eat fried chicken, and we like our mamas real good, if you know what I'm saying. I do know what you're saying. Oh, I like them, too. <laughs> oh, my God. That's my Tennessee accent. And then Mount Mamas. Uh, we're probably moving to North Carolina, maybe South Carolina. North Cackalacka. Yeah, into, into the Cackalackas. Which I've lived in North Carolina before. And probably probably somewhere in the Asheville region, just because it's the area I'm more familiar with. Could be more towards Charlotte, though. We kind of can move anywhere we want because I'll be running um, the locations for both states. I think taxes and price of living is a little better in North Carolina. So that's probably where we'll go. Plus, that'd be closer to, t to Steve and family. Are Winter and the kids excited? Yes. What about uh, your son's perfect girlfriend or whatever that he has? Yeah, I know. Uh, that actually, believe it or not, was a big conversation we had. But, you know, they're 16, so she'll be 18 in two years. She can do what she wants, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. He really did find a really, really good girlfriend, but they're kids, so, like, you know, the chances of it working out are minimum as is. And you're going to have to stock up on cheese. Yeah, I know. We're, gonna, we're spoiled now for milk, milk, uh, dairy products. Uh, also... I have to move further away from Milford Mountain, you know? That's true, yeah. How far away will you be from Perth City? Oh, Perth City's in your heart, you know what I'm saying? You Are you going to be clo closer to the Cougars, though? <laughs> <laughs> no, for, no, they're in the Twin Peaks, so, you know, they're right beside the MILF, so I'll be further from them, too. Maybe geographically yeah. not as far, you know, technically. Yeah, I'm going to miss the beer. I'm probably going to miss that more than the dairy, to be honest. I'll have to go back to drinking some something normal, you know what I mean? Like, normal. what am I? I don't know what I'll drink. Maybe Rolling Rock? I used to like that. Maybe I'll just go back to drinking Rolling Rock. I don't know what I'll do. I have no idea. I haven't thought about so, it. Well, we going to work on getting... Um, I'm so sorry to interrupt. No, you're good. Because that brain again. Um, working on getting those key 
these for you guys? Oh yeah, yeah we need to get those, yeah. We're trying to here. Those sleepwalkers, like the one we just killed, drop them. It's just a chance. Oh. Look at that, I'll be living close to Witcher too. You're gonna be living in, on the, in the, uh, what, the lame east again? That's good. I'm yep, yep. Not the lame east. The real, the good east. Well, Hey, I live in the goodies. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> well, according I'll to Dave, <laughs> the East is the most northern East. Right. Really. Right. Yeah, you're yeah. not even in the East today if you're in the South, right? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm not in the. I'm not in the Lame East. I'm moving to the Carolinas. That's in the Good East. That's where Dave's moving. Dave's moving there too to North Carolina. Oh, okay. oh shit! Up. So I'll be. He's oh, moving there. God. Uh, so. The world has no idea what's coming. Either. No, they don't. Uh, they have no idea. They're all in trouble. The company knows, though, because the reason they called me uh, yesterday was because during a, a presentation, the CEO, who I know him, and um, I'm not, I think he's a regional director, the other guy I know, um, they, they're doing a presentation for training um, and. They like, we got, like, the company has this database. You can just, like, type in something. It'll pull up all, everything they have for that particular topic, right? Um, so they typed in, like, inventory. Because somebody's like, you know, what, what do you guys want to learn about? You know, we'll, we'll look up anything. They're like, let's look, let's look into inventory. So they search the database for inventory. And it, it's based on how many times people have watched these videos, right? And, and training seminars, etc. The top two hits when they searched on the company database was my puppet videos about selling different products, right? Which are completely absurd. Um, you know, like barely made it through HR kind of thing. And they, they were like, oh, this is hilarious. I forgot about this. So they watched it. And then they were like, we gotta call, we gotta call Nathan and see what he's up to. And then they called me, and um, they were like, you know, how's it going? I was like, well, it's really cold. I'm not a big fan of how cold it is, you know, 10 months out of the year. And they are like, uh, would you move? I was like, hey, if the money's right, and you don't, and you let me still stream and do my YouTube, heck yeah. And there you go. I got the job. All kinds awesome, of puppets. Man. Those puppets got so me a job. So basically, you're a cringe, you're... A mediary of the cringe for a business. You could say that. You could say that. that. You're like the cringe division of HR. Not <laughs> the cringe division. Like, yes, yes. You know, to make sure that you know things don't get too corporate, right? Yeah, people have to know how to cringe appropriately. Right. But I mean, if you think about it, if you put weird shit in a video. To make people remember it, like, hey, listen, wash your fucking hands. And a puppet <laughs> washing his hands, you're going to be like that weird puppet washing You're going to remember it. Think about it every time you wash your yeah. hands. Yeah, you're going to remember that. Yeah, maybe you'll get to make that video like I was talking about a while back where you get to have like a sexual harassment puppet video. <laughs> so you could have a puppet saying, show me on the puppet where they touch you. <laughs> yeah, I'll be moving states, LOL, yeah. Uh, my family, I'll probably move first and just live at a hotel for a while. So, you know, buy my family some time, come back up for the weekends, help my wife get the house together and get time for, you know... Everything to get set up and find a, a decent house and all that. Um, so I'll probably just live in a hotel for a while. Um, as long as I got decent internet, I'm still going to try to stream right out of the hotel. Um, and then, once you get everything settled, move the family down. Awesome. You really do. Congratulations, man. Yeah, thank you. We'll see how long it lasts. We'll see how long it takes for I screwed up, but... I'll have fun while it lasts. That sounds like they know what they're getting into. Man. They know exactly that, what they're that getting. really cool. They know exactly what they're getting. <laughs> oh, there is a meeting tonight. Yes. That's, what time does that start, Eloy? For the... Uh, 
community, uh, not community I think show, it's coming but the, up uh, pretty soon. What is it? The Q? It's basically a Q and A. It's basically a Q and A. I forget what they call it. It's right now. Yeah, in like nine minutes. We always miss it because we're always too busy <laughs> yelling at each other. Yeah, busy yelling at each other. Sorry, I'm dealing with other shit. Oh. No, not allowed. Denied. Must be present. Good is or, it good is or it bad? The... I thought he was all concerned because Nathan's back on the Popeyes. No. <laughs> Nathan can go back to the Popeyes when he wants, just not three to seven times a week. Yeah. I moved Three a new to... job and the new money. I don't know. Yeah, yeah well, man, that's true. Raymond Popeyes. Yep, that's true. Raymond Popeyes might be even better. It might be. It's oh, further south, so. Oh. oh my god, so that needs to be good. Where was it again that you said the breakfast was just amazing? Biscuits? Hardy's. Oh, Hardy's, yeah. Hardy's? I'll be back in Hardy's town where they got biscuit and gravy. Um, I'll be close enough to go to Mid City Grill whenever I want. Almost whenever I want. I'm jealous because I love the Carolinas. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah, the Carolinas are nice because you get the mountains. You know what I mean? You get the you get the southern hospitality. You get the good food. You get you get all the stuff. But there's not as many rednecks in the Carolinas. You know what I mean? Like the real, like. Yeah, Myrtle Beach. I the rough, know. the rough ones is what I'm talking about. If you've lived in like Kentucky, West Virginia, Tennessee, not certain parts of Virginia, you know what I'm talking about. There's like that rough you kind. Get those like moonshiners. Right. Things. Well, I like moonshiners. I like moonshiners. No, they're awesome. <laughs> but but yeah. You're talking about the rednecks that only wear suspenders, no shirt, no and, shoes, and they want to fight everybody. Those are the kinds yeah. I don't like. Like everybody, like you're just pumping gas at a gas station. Like, what's up, city slicker? I'm gonna kick your ass. You're like, oh my gosh, bro, I'm just chill out, you know? Oh man, that's crazy. Those are the I kinds don't have I have TV don't like. back where I live. <laughs> I gotta keep myself entertained somehow. <laughs> I bet you go home and just play Nintendo all day. I bet you don't even have to roll down your car windows. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you got one of them fancy computer boxes. You mean a computer? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> one of them demon boxes. Yeah, they would say it was a demon box. Yeah, they would call it a, a devil box or something like that, yeah. And they, you know, you use it and they take your soul and then you look into a mirror and that also takes your soul. That's so funny because my grandmother used to call the monitor the one eyed monster. I'm not touching that <laughs> monster. I don't want to break it. She was so scared of breaking it. I'm like, it's just the monitor, Grammy. Like, just turn the monitor off. Just yeah, she said the same there. thing to your Grampy. Oh, Grando oh. Reaper. Grando Reaper. Here I am. Grando Reaper brings up uh, a good point. Um, if TikTok is banned, YouTube is going to be saturated with creators. Um, now, correct me if I'm wrong. I didn't look too deeply into it. I read, like, one article. Aren't they saying, like, it needs to be ran by an American company? And they already have a company willing to do that or something? Is that, isn't that what's happening? Or are they literally talking about making the app illegal and taking it off so you can't access it? I haven't looked into it at, at all. I just pretty much know as much as you do right now. But I think a lot of TikTok creators are already on YouTube anyways. Yeah, yeah. I bet YouTube's happy. Like, yeah, baby, YouTube shorts, here we go. Uh, in lots of places in, in Tennessee, the prices have skyrocketed, yes. Not everywhere, though. It hasn't, hasn't fully caught up, but it's getting there. Like, a lot of the places have already, though. I'm a little scared this will lead to more censorship. Yeah, that would be my only concern. Um, Ooh, yeah. I, I don't want to start this censorship war because that's not cool. And plus, 
Nobody needs a government to tell them what they're allowed to do, right? Like, I don't... That's not good vibes, you know? It's really sad that, like... We're at, a po we're at a point now where the government is doing it because of children, right? So, it's really sad that, like, it started in our generation too. like we didn't allow or... our kids to have TikTok. We just banned it. Like, they're not allowed to have it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we didn't want them to... We saw the negativity that can come from it, and we just didn't allow them to do it. Like, that's what should be a parent's responsibility. But unfortunately... Yeah, a lot of parents don't pay enough attention to even know they don't what even know. Are doing. Yeah, they don't even know. They also, they're probably not very, like, big social media people, and they don't realize that social media just straight up ruins kids. Oh, yeah, dude. They want the power to regulate social media. Yeah, I think I've, I I could see that being a concern for sure. Well, remember in the nineties what they did with music? Do you remember that? And that's where we get our with the ratings. Lyrics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get the explicit lyrics, you know, on CDs and things like that. You know, um, and that was the, that was Super Bowl, and that was their that was their baby back then. So, you know. Uh, thank God it didn't Fuck you, through. Tipper. That's what I'm saying. Fuck you, Hillary. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, don't you... Don't... In this, I'm not trying to make it political, but it's like, don't try to ban art. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's a slippery slope. Video yeah. games, too. I because mean, of Mortal Kombat. I've seen, I've seen a lot of art in my time. Arts is, art is a slippery fucking slope. It is, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you... Banana? I'm going to tell you something. I can't say the whole art piece, mm -hmm. but go to Google, look up seedbed performance. You'll go to Wikipedia page, read said Wikipedia page, and know that is considered art. Yeah, people use the name of art to do nefarious things, for sure. I mean, that's absolutely true. People but use anything. It was just crazy, you know. I mean... Okay, you know, and, and art is subjective. Look at, like, people actually think Yoko Ono can sing. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember <laughs> I remember one time um, I had to do an art piece on the, on the human body, right? Pretty classic. But, you know, of course I spent most of my time working on the absolute beauty of the female breast. Okay? That was where all the detail went. You know what I mean? Sorry, sorry to say it's not with Biola. But I did get... Biola. But they... I remember my... My, um... Professor told me that that was pornographic. Which, you know, it probably was. How is it... No way. Wow. But, you know... How is it pornographic that's... Like it well... He was just saying that, like... You know, like... You know, it's... it's a, it, what I'm trying to get at is it's an opinion, right? So, from his point of view... That was pornographic. From my point of view, I was trying to show the beauty of breasts in a non... I wasn't doing it to be nasty. You know what I'm saying? I think here's the good way to look at it. If you can do it in a class, then it's probably considered art. Like, they have, like, nude painting or whatever drawing yeah, they classes. Have nude models where you go, you know, yeah. draw or paint nude models. So. Yeah. Now, here's the caveat to that. I didn't take, uh, when I did my art degree, I didn't take nude, the nude drawing class or whatever, because the lady that they had for that <laughs> was extremely overweight, and they said she was a pain in the ass to draw because you could tell where her bone structures were. <laughs> wow. Well. And the whole point of that is to learn, like, Anatomy, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. For... it's to draw pieces that you're not normally drawing. Yeah. That's just so rude, though. I mean, look at, look at, um, who drew the, the, the fluffy chicks back in the day? I can't, I can't think of the name. 
Oh, it'll come to me. I'll have to do it. Sure. We're talking like 1700. So I, I don't. I can't think of I know who you're thinking of, but I can't think of the name either. The Ruben esque. There we go. The Ruben. Ruben esque women. Yeah. They were beautiful. Yeah. See their bone structure. It was fine. I agree. So, yeah. That's just crazy. I know the art school here. They just they just hire people to do it randomly. Like they have male, female, and yeah, yeah, yeah. hire them off the street. <laughs> That's all it is. So it's it's kind of interesting. I was seeing a guy at one time, and he's like, "Oh, well, if your daughter goes to school here, she might have to paint me." I'm like, "Oh God, I hope she doesn't." <laughs> well, these days it's a little different. Like the the atmosphere has changed, right? So like uh, now, if it's a female specifically i mean sure it happens the other way as well sometimes but very commonly now the female model after she's done right and they're like wrapping up the class she'll be passing out her only fans cards you know <laughs> you say that as a joke but it's probably but it's true so it's true. probably true it's probably true it is her only fans is on her business card it's terrible <laughs> it's probably true What the hell times do we live in, guys? <laughs> the, I, the I have what actually the been what given a, a a business card for an OnlyFans out in the world. Like, somebody just walk up and be like, check out my OnlyFans. And I'm like, whoa! No. Are you serious? Yeah, that has happened to me. Oh, Where? my lord. At work. <laughs> Where? At work. Nathan and they're just like, he likes feet. At a... Um, uh, a, 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 a maintenance repair automotive shop. I've been handed a OnlyFans card, like, come check me out on OnlyFans. I get, and, and, like, with a discount code on it. You know what I'm saying? Where I was like, wow. Wow. No, no, I just have to make sure. Male or female? Female. And, okay. uh, uh, I'm not gonna name any names, but Steve and I used to be friends, like, le like legitimately friends with a, a female in high school. That we haven't talked to in, you know, 20 odd years, who found Steve's contact information and bothers him on a regular about he needs to come subscribe to her OnlyFans. Wow. I feel like a lot of a lot of people think on, OnlyFans will be very like lucrative. Yeah. Right. But I think it's like YouTube. It's like right. most of the people, they don't make a lot of money and mostly it's just for the passion of the project. And then you have the people who do, the few who do actually make a lot. That's, that's true, yeah. It, it, well, for one thing, it's probably a lot like YouTube in the fact that you got to put forth a long grind, literally, for them. Literally. <laughs> um, in order to finally get an audience. Oh, sweet, we got the High Priestess. And also, you have to be way more engaging with your audience on oh. fans. Apparently. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because that, you know, if you're not, like, that's what they're there for. They want to feel like that particular beautiful woman is giving them attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody comes here like, oh, I hope Nathan gives me attention. They're just here for the good jokes, okay. the good time, the good vibes, you know? Totally I don't know. Untrue. I think you have a lot of fanboys. Oh, the oh, scepter you rare guys drop. Got the rare drop. Wait, what drop? <gasps> the ritual scepter. Do, 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 do. Dang, dude, plus 19 healing. Wow. That's wow. epic, bro. Let's take it, Mr. C. I'm passing, obviously. I mean, okay. Uh, no, you should absolutely. Oh, how get on nice. That how nice. Wow. That's I'm going to say, does it have a cool graphic? I'm not that level yet. Oh, crap. How close are you? 34? I'm 15% away from dinging. Oh, we're we're not sure dinging. about it, but Mayonesa may have been the first one to get that in the game. So, because I remember, I don't know if it was true or not, but everybody freaked out when I got it because nobody had seen it before. Including However, Google, you take my gloves again and you won't get another nicety like that ever again, Mr. Z. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart, Damlos. He's still in denial that he's a healer, aren't you? Aren't you, Damlos? You're in denial. Uh, it's just not my most desired stat. Then, but, okay. <laughs> well, it, there you go. What's, Tell me what's a weirdo. Your, what's your most desired stat at this point? 
Uh, haste. Not a bad so answer. Same as uh, Anessa. No, no. Hit, hit is more important than haste. Than healing. Speaking of hit, don't forget your combat log. We've been killing a lot of shrieks. I bet mine is ready for some upgrades. Your hunting log is what I meant to say. That's true. Thank you. We've got a new title. We're going to go with Hunter. I don't want to be a stalker. So. Same thing. We got to, Nathan, we got to talk to them. Because they yeah. need to change Predator. Yeah. I don't want yeah. to be a Predator <laughs> nobody, or anything. Nobody wants to be a Predator or a stalker. Okay. Guarantee you, not many people pick those options. Like, maybe, maybe, like, it's not, Predator doesn't mean what it means here for, like, in Elwa's land. Right, right, right. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. The East. Yeah. What? In Elwa's land? The East? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let not the lame, not the lameys. Texas. What yeah. the hell? I do not live in the lameys. I mean, barely. You barely do. We'll go with that. It's yeah. like look, see, I am not one gonna. Foot, one, of her, one of her one of her feet are in lame east, and the other foot's in Canada. So <laughs> it is look, not. I'm not even close to Canada. I want to be clear. I am not making fun of Maine. I would never make fun of Maine. You want to know why I would never make fun of Maine? Every single Stephen King story takes place in Maine. I am not making fun of Maine. Okay, I would never. Damn yeah, right. I would never. Pennywise <laughs> coming for you, Nathan. <laughs> have, yeah, Pennywise is coming for you, David. Do you know how many disturbing things have yeah, happened Stephen in Maine? King wrote all those novels high on cocaine, so, uh. <laughs> In Maine. He wrote a lot of them on cocaine. Back oh, in the yeah, yeah, 70s, 70s and 80s, I would assume. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Listen, sometimes you just need to get some work done, and that's when cocaine comes into play. Dude, I'm pretty <laughs> sure... Yeah. I'm Haven't you seen the interview where uh, George R. R. Martin and him are talking? <laughs> George R. R. Martin's like, how the fuck do you write all these books? Because <laughs> I don't use a fucking typewriter, Germ. <laughs> he answers it super fast. He goes, uh, he goes well, I uh, make myself write something like six pages a day. Yeah. And George R. R. Martin was like, well, you don't have a day where you just like sit down and nothing comes to your mind and you write a sentence and you it sucks and you hate it and you feel like a complete failure and you probably never should have been a writer and stephen king's looking at him like no like i just write six pages every never day. seen that he's like no i just have the willpower to yeah, do. he's just like no nope, i just and, and it's funny because stephen king too he told people like whenever he goes to like you know graduation for college it's like uh don't you, you never should have gone to school to be a writer. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That's the worst thing you can do. Just right. Yeah. Just right. Just right. Yeah. Read. Stephen King's big advice is read. If you're not reading and you're trying to write, that's dumb. You need to read a lot and write. That's what you do. I wanted to be a writer as well as an opera singer when I grew up. I didn't quite do either one of those. Well, no. It, it's not out. I'm not dead. I can still do both. Right now. Oh, I'm past my prime. That's not necessarily true. What about the guy that did Lady Miz? That was, I can't remember which he can do. He was amazing. He didn't become, like, a singer. Like, actually do it until he was, like, 35, 36. Can't think of his name. He was, oh my god, sound me. It's just like any muscle, right? Like, once you stop using it, it just goes away so quickly. I'd, it'd take a lot of work for me to get back to where I was. That makes sense. I mean, you may as well just dig the grave and lay in at this point. No I'm way, Brian. You should be so happy. You're already getting, like, copyright strikes on YouTube. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, it has to be because of the accompaniment. One time I, um, I broke my leg, right? And it was in a full cast, you know what I mean? And I took that opportunity just to pl sit on my ass and play nothing but tons of RPGs that I had missed out on. And I sat down and played, like, RPGs for however many months it took, uh, like, a long time that it took to heal. 
And I wasn't doing any exercises that I was supposed to be doing, like lift your leg and all this stuff, you know what I mean? And when I finally did go back to the doctor, my leg had deteriorated so badly that they put, they were like, oh my gosh, we gotta get you in like rehab immediately. Like, I, I, you know, like you might lose your leg. You know what I mean? Oh Dude, God. they put, first they started with 10 pounds. I'm talking about my leg, all right? 10 pounds on my leg and I couldn't lift it, right? I couldn't do it. And they were like, this is bad. So then they put on a five pound that was meant for like babies or infant or toddlers, right? I couldn't lift it. They had to go all the way down to one pound and it hurt. It was, it felt like I was lifting 300 pounds. Oh my God. Yeah. I totally know how they could have got you to lift it. How? Pound of ghost pepper, pepper chicken. chicken. Oh, it didn't exist yet. It didn't <laughs> exist yet. On a stick? Just like, hold <laughs> All man would have to do is, like, you lift that leg up in there and you get a piece. I would have hopped One to piece. it. Here's a 40 piece right here. He would have been kicking that leg up and down 40 times so fast. <laughs> he was doing the can can. Steve remembers what my leg looked like, dude. It was crazy. It was just a bone with skin on That's it. That's crazy. How old were you? Uh. Um... 19 maybe no 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 i hadn't uh, turned 18 yet uh I, I was i get confused because i graduated early so i think i was still 17 but i was living on my own because i graduated early and went off and started my life at 17. so you were still a baby so yeah I I wonder. I nobody I there to make sure you were you know well exercising. they probably would no people were telling me to and i was like hey, i'm fine uh, but like, I, flesh wound. I stayed with my grandmother during that time. My parents lived all the way down to Louisiana. And at that time, I didn't realize how awesome Louisiana was. So I didn't want to go there. So um, my grandma was like, you know, while you're hurting, you can't work. Come stay with me. So I stayed with my grandma. And she's sweet grandma. You know what I mean? She was just like, oh, your poor leg. Do you want me to make you a sandwich? You know what I mean? Yeah, Gam Gam, make me a sandwich. <laughs> so, I was like living the life, dude. I played so many RPGs, dude. I couldn't sit at a computer because my leg was like straight, right? Like, there was no comfortable way to pull up a desk, so I didn't play any MMOs. But I played, I just laid on my bed at my, at my grandma's house playing tons of RPGs. Like, all of them. Is this the same grandma that kicked you out of the house? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. So, all right, get the hell out now. <laughs> that was years Ellie later. <laughs> that was what years later when I told her who I voted that, that who I voted for. She oh, kicked me out of the house. Right. Get out of my house. Me and Steve, she kicked us both out. She was making us an egg sandwich when she when she found out. So get out of my house, leave. Sounds delicious. Steve was like, I didn't That's even cool. vote. He's like, get out. I don't care. <laughs> but I, but Graham, Graham, I want my I want my sandwich. So can I take that sandwich to go at least? Delicious. Like a fried egg sandwich? Or yeah, like an egg fried salad sandwich. She, that was her go-to. You know what I mean? Like when you went to go see Grandma, very. I mean, the first thing oh, out yeah. of her mouth after hello is well, actually, she was you she was really short, sandwich? dude. She was probably like four foot tall. So she was the only person in the whole world that's ever told me when she first sees me, like, "Oh my gosh, you're so tall." So that was the first thing she would say, and the second thing was. Do you want an egg sandwich? See, you would have fit in with your fried egg sandwich. Nathan, with your height. You would have been alright. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, before my grandmother passed, I towered over here. Yeah, her. And I'm 5'1. She was 4'11 or her tallest, but. I'd be looking for her in a store or something, couldn't find her. I'm like, Leprechaun! Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think she didn't. I think my like mom that. was four eleven too. I think. I'm not exactly sure on that, but I think it was. I think it was four eleven, four ten or four eleven. She passed. She passed. But so that's why I'm not sure. In case anybody's like, you don't even know how tall your your mom is. She passed when I was like a baby. So you'll hear me saying "mom" as an alive person and talking about my stepmom. Because my dad married her when I was three, right? So she raised me. So that is that is mom. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know why I remember our height, but my mom passed when I was eleven, and but she was 
it's funny because my my uh my grandma's four eleven, my mom was five foot and I'm five one. And I'm like, holy shit, maybe eventually my descendants will be normal life. Hey, my son reached back into the DNA, man. He's he's already um he's six foot three uh no, he's six foot six right now. Holy hell. Yeah. I'm so glad, dude. I was terrified he would get my jeans and be short. It's not... Like, I got away with it. I was, like, the final... I feel like I was the final, like, generation that got away with it. You know what I mean? Like, they're harsh about it today, according to what I see. Um, I didn't have any problems with it. You know what I mean? I found there's plenty of girls that were under my height. You know what I mean? I never had a single... Yeah. I never got... I never really got made fun of I didn't have no issues. None. I think the shortest man I ever dated was five yeah, that's how tall I am. I'm almost 5'7". I'm almost 5'7". My problem is I slouch, too, so I look even shorter. You're like, you're like a little kid, like, oh, listen, I'm, I'm, five, <laughs> I'm 5 feet and a half. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, my wife argues that I am 5'7", but I'm really not. I'm 5'6". That's ex literally my height. It's not like me. I used to be like, I am 5'1 and a half. <laughs> well, that half is gone. I don't have it anymore. It does not exist, though. So it's like, okay. This is gonna be bad. It's just payback for me calling Grammy a leprechaun. I know. My time now. I'm not quite that old, but you know, it's gonna happen. Old timey living with leprechaun. <laughs> leprechaun. That's it. Hey, she was like half Irish, so it was okay for me to say that. Oh, yeah. At least that's what I, I said. <laughs> she did. Half Irish, half French Canadian? No, oh hell no! You call her French Canadian, she would murder you. She was not. That was my father's side. Boss, my mom's side. My mom's side is Irish. Boss hog, they did fix the XP big time. Like I've been Same leveling thing. up every. Like we, all, I've only been playing on these Wednesday nights. And I've been leveling up every other every three streams, depending on how long we go. Um, it's it's a big difference now. Like I'm already twelve percent deep again. Um, and I and I was seven, so I've gotten. Um, nineteen percent tonight already. XP's way better than it used to be. Still slow, but it, it's in a pretty good. Feels pretty good, I think. I mean, I've already gotten twelve percent. Yeah. Since then. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, that's darn good. That's rooting, tooting, great. I know. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Here on old Rocky Top. Don't ask why I, I suddenly got a southern accent. You know, whatever. And just like that, Hog is online. I gotta try this XP's out for myself. Hey, <laughs> Y'all got an XP in there? We're all out of XP's here. All we have is one old egg sandwich. I'm gonna go back in that holler and get me some moonshine. Ooh, woo. Come on, Gula, where are you? I don't so have quiet. any moonshine. <laughs> I live on the West Coast. <laughs> Yeah, Sparrow's the one with the moonshine. We don't have it. Yeah, yeah, Sparrow gets that moonshine. We have moonshine up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that not was Canada. We used to run I'm it not in Canada. all the way yeah, all the way up the East Coast. Maple syrup moonshine. Yeah, that sounds delicious. I, mean, I don't want to hear that from you, Dimos. Maple syrup is delicious. Have you ever had maple sugar candy? Oh my god. Oh, it is good. Oh, it's I can't like, believe this. I, I can't believe Dimos doesn't like maple syrup at all. Dimos I can see, like, saying, like, ah, I don't eat it because it's too sugary. It's not good for you. Right. Whatever, whatever. I can get that. Dimos is stick in the head. His favorite candy is Pepto-Bismol. I mean, <laughs> Pepto-Bismol is good, though. Not as good as maple syrup. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. Okay, thank you. I'd okay. definitely okay. eat Pepto-Bismol then. I'd put Pepto-Bismol on my pancakes or I'd put... <laughs> Dude, I would eat some Pepto-Bismol oh pancakes. God. That's a good idea, actually. That's a cringe pony scare. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Barbie pancakes. Dude, you don't like maple syrup? 
<laughs> in fact, this is gonna. I'm gonna never hear the end of this. Yeah, you're not. No, this is I'm your dead. water. This is your fucking water. This is your bed. water. No, 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 no. This is your water. I, I actually have a phobia of maple syrup. It's it's Why? not good. Wait a minute. I gotta really? pull this. Man. I gotta pull this. Okay, so Chad, I really need your input, please. I'm not the up. only one. I'm not the only one out there that has this phobia. So what wait, is stranger? Is that a tree blood? I mean, is that Daimlos a tree blood? doesn't like maple syrup, or is it stranger that Daimlos thinks Long John Silver's? I'm gonna have to abbreviate this. <laughs> chicken is best. Chicken. Oh God, that's hard. All this right. Is the worst tier ever. The worst. <laughs> We're such good friends here. Oh, it won't yeah. let me pull it. Hang on. Why does it not let me pull? Let me try that again. Good. He's, Which he's gonna is get stranger. I need you to elaborate really on this fear. About the phobia element. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't even like go down the grocery store aisle that has the maple syrup because it makes me nauseous. Are you being serious? What is wrong yeah. with you? Why? But what if you, what do you do when you to, need something else that also just happens to be located I, on that? I island? have to go to separate grocery stores. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, I was beating on I'm that. Not. I'm, I'm hey. making a poll. I'm making a poll. <laughs> I have a good excuse this time. <laughs> I was making a poll. That's all right. I will not unleash the wrath. <laughs> Only because Mr. C doesn't when I'm an idiot and I break his butt all the day of that. Actually, it's been a long time. I've been. It's been a while. Game. Oh no. But you can it's count on like... the hands I've broken your mess. Well, that's true. All right, there we go. All right. Uh, yeah, you're not. You're not a warlord. I got the poll up on Twitch and YouTube now. Oh good, I'm gonna vote on follow. Oh, good question, Pete Doug. How, Damos, how do you feel about chicken and waffles as a combo? Uh, I often can't mix sweet and salty. Like the chocolate covered pretzels is something I can do, but for the most part, mm. I keep salt and sweet separate. And okay. it's not really too sweet with no syrup. Yeah, true. It's just like chicken and bread. So it sounds like Demos hasn't tried it because he does, he's not a fan of like mixing the sweet with salt. That makes sense. So you don't even like like butter, Mrs. Buttersworth, is or is it just maple syrup? Uh. I mean, There's isn't that the same? No. So, like, no oh artificial God. maple syrups, like fake so, maple. So, what about like honey? Because honey's like maple adjacent. Yeah, what about, okay, is okay. So this is that, like, this is kind of where the right, right. That's where the phobia comes into play. It's, it's oh, sticky stuff. It's the texture. Oh, yeah. sticky. So with the sticky? honey, I have found individual honey packets. So like, I don't have to deal with that fucking stupid bear that gets all sticky and gross. That makes me want to vomit. But like individual packets of honey, as long as I don't have to touch anything. Mm, I can like, kind of understand that, yeah. It can go into my mouth. I don't have to think about, you know, because obviously it's not. But if you got like honey, honey on your face, right. like. I'm out. It's super gross. So no fun with foods if you catch my drift? Yeah. I'm not a fan There's of that either. I'm not a fan of bringing food into the bedroom. That's weird. That's weird. Well, you don't go into what the bedroom. What about like a caramel apple? <laughs> I have eaten sushi off of a woman, and that was fine. Sushi? That's kind of a... Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a wild story. Story. See, I feel like seafood of any sort should be out, you know? I agree. And definitely I agree. out of the bedroom. <laughs> but not how, how close was the to her bed? That's the real question. On it her bed? No, it was not. Hit it right off her butt cheeks. Oh. Was it like one of these fancy restaurants where there's just a woman out there in the middle of the table? That's what she was trying to do for me. Oh, that's oh, it. And so she was the buffet? Yes. Right. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Were you into it or was it more like a situation where you're like, okay, I ate the sushi. I appreciate it. Thanks. Well, I was definitely into it because then I boned her right after. So. Right, right. Yeah, a man will do anything. Did you have to get any residue part. left on her of the rice or the. The nice. seaweed paper or anything? Not that I can her. remember. Okay, so we have the results in, guys. <laughs> Unanimously, for the first time ever on this channel, unanimous decision that the that, that weirder thing is that Dimeless doesn't like maple syrup. Both on Twitch and YouTube, unanimous. Well, I'm glad that people unanimously think I'm fucked up for one reason. <laughs> I mean, we're all, we're all giant messes. Just we're for all fucked up here. None of us are safe from being fucked up, but... Yeah. 
Word. I can't say I've ever had I've ever eaten something off of a plate like object and then came on that plate like object. You know? <laughs> well, at least do it in that order. Be careful what order you do it. Yeah. I think it's exactly. Simple. Yeah, yeah. You don't right. want to come on the California roll and then eat Definitely it. Definitely not. So this yeah, is... Bad go. Remember when you're in school and you're like, why do we have to learn this? And, and the teacher was like, oh this makes sense in many applications. So this is where the... Uh, what's, what's it called? The uh, order of... Uh, operation. The order of operation um, comes into play, you know, where that you know you thought it wasn't important, but now you're seeing sometimes it is. Thank you, math. Yeah. Math for the win. I don't I'm math. just wondering what else triggers it. Like, what about peanut butter? <laughs> you didn't see the puddle? All right. All right. Good. So, are you the ready puddle. for the, the real story that it, that came down? So, uh, sure. I loved maple syrup as a child. Like, I loved it. But oh. you know how children are with... Uh, like maple, maple smelling, maple flavor. No, it, it doesn't smell... I'm it, sorry. The other shit does not come close to actual maple syrup. Yeah, but if you're not a true Here. connoisseur of syrups, then you probably just feel like it's all the same stuff. Yeah, and it's definitely not. And it's all got the same texture-ish. Anyway, you know? Mm. You don't like the very syrup. Similar. Maple syrup is a little runnier. It is. Oh, runnier, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I still need this backstory. Yeah, I want to hear the story. The Sorry. trauma. Yes, please. Yeah. Tell us your trauma. Share your trauma. So, do you guys have, like, village inns where you're at? Or, like, I guess... IHOP is similar to a village in. Okay. I just went to IHOP today for breakfast. Yeah. So back in the 80s when we were all children, if you remember the, the cleaning habits of these places, they would have one rag in a soapy bucket sure. for literally every table in yeah. that place. Yeah. yeah, for like the week. And we know how kids, right, and we know how kids are with maple syrup. Mm -hmm. They get a plate of pancakes. And then they just dump all the syrup out, and it's all over the table because they sense. completely drench their plates, and it's gross. And so I then the waitress would come by and wipe off the the table with the one rag, and then put it in the bucket. And then the next waitress would grab the same rag, wipe off a table. So really, just smearing yeah. syrup all over these tables. And so literally every table was just sticky. That makes sense. And so. After a while, my brain just was like, this is absolutely unacceptable. You can't eat here. You can't eat at a place like this. And you got to stop. And, and whatever triggered. So now it's it, it's both the smell of maple and sticky. Yeah, That's like the one-two punch. Because that smell would part. permeate the air in places like that, yeah. too. Yeah. But also the sticky. I just don't deal with sticky at all. See? Like at all. I I I am I, I understand that a hundred percent. I can understand mm. that too. What about like sweet and sour sauce? Like for me, when I have Chinese food, I love the sweet and sour sauce. That's like my favorite condiment. Yeah, I'm super OCD with this too. So when I eat, it... go eat a crab rangoon, I put the sweet and sour inside the little. You know how they put it into the wonton and there's like little holes at the top. Mm, right. Yes, I yes, I do that too. A couple <laughs> drops of the sweet and sour in the thing and I never touch the sweet and sour. And of course, if the little thing that it's in is is covered in sticky, I won't touch it either. I'll just eat So it's not just time. like a smell or a taste thing, it's a touch thing like that's the worst, right? If I had you put your hand exactly on like sticky. a piece of duct tape, like would that trigger it like just being sticky well it's not food so i wonder it's the residue yeah, that's if I'm it asking. comes off on me then yes i would yeah. have a problem i'd have to go wash my hands and get rid of it as soon as possible see that's but... a bit because when i have tiny food or something and i have my i don't necessarily i mean let's just be honest messes happen and i might be a slob um that's my <laughs> point i need a bib whatever it drives me crazy to have my hands I'm with you on that. It drives me absolutely bonkers. Um, so I always have, you know, like wipes, wet wipes, all the time. Yeah, like, okay. Yep. And I'll go through about 20 of them if I have to. <laughs> so I might be a little OCD with that. <laughs> but I mean, right there my with hands you. get sticky. I just get licky. <laughs> okay. right. Well, then, come here. <laughs> right? But, uh, yeah, yeah. Get a little warm now. Good to go, but. Yeah. <laughs> I had to take one of my employees to pick up their car today. 
And I just, like, casually had that song playing <laughs> on the, on the car system. <laughs> Did they, they say know. anything? Did they say anything? <laughs> they were just like, they were just like nodding their head like I was listening to a regular song. <laughs> it is a regular song. Man. It's like, it's no, it's better than a regular song. My bad. Sorry. To be honest, I mean, uh, I've heard real songs that are coming out that, you know, like... Yeah, I feel probably, like that's a compliment. That I mean, yeah, just, that's, like, that's, out that's to true. It. They probably thought they thought they were like, they were like this is that, that new Cardi B track. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so it's Cardi awesome. Steve. Cardi Steve. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you see what Grill just typed in chat? Yeah. There you go. He diagnosed you, Daniels. Yep. Viscophobia. There was a, for a long time, there was like, I looked it up on the internet and it was like one girl in a blog somewhere had it that she had the same phobia that I did. But now it's, it's a little more commonplace. Yeah. It makes sense to me. I can, I can, I can understand it. I, I, I don't have that, but I can understand. I don't like to feel, I don't like to be sticky. I don't like my hands to be sticky. That yeah, bothers I me. That. I, Cause like, yeah, I'm yeah. Of it, people, but it still makes me cringe. Does that make I feel sense? bad for Dimos because yeah. I'm one of these people. Like when I find out somebody has a fear like that, I immediately want to like make them <laughs> face their fear. Yeah. You gonna stick your I'm like, hand we can I get, get you over that, bro. Like, let's strap you down and show you this viscous stuff isn't gonna hurt you. Uh, Honey, it's I great. Say, you know what? I it's say not that it's gonna hurt me. That's that's know, not the I fear know. part of it. Then what's the fear part of it? Cause that part I don't. It, you, you just don't like worse. it. You just don't yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, makes yeah, him but uncomfortable. Fear, but fear is way different. Yeah, yeah. He's not afraid. Okay, it sounds of like it. he is afraid because he doesn't yeah. even go right, near like, the aisle. Yeah, yeah. He, he avoids so the whole fear. Aisle. See, I'm not scared of it. I just, I hate it. I test it, but I'm not scared to go down the aisle. Dude, you know, you know, I'm afraid of, uh, I'm afraid of women with too much plastic surgery in their face. Oh, dude, I'm afraid yeah, of everybody. They're, they're that scary. is terrifying, but dude. I, but I'm not like scary, like I would avoid walking down an aisle with one in it. Dude, I would. But if I scary, seen one, like, I well, would look and be I like, avoid gross. Clowns. I would visually probably yeah, scream. I would, I would probably audibly scream. If yeah, like. A lot of people hate clowns. Yeah. Not alone. Sure. Ronald McFondled. No, that's so normal. That. Yeah. Ronald McFondle. It's funny because I don't have any of these phobias. Spiders, clowns, I don't care. I'm not scared. I save spiders. Like, I don't like spiders, but I mean, I don't have like an overwhelming I like the fear. I flies and mosquitoes. So th my, my dislike of them oh, super, you know, uh, doesn't supersede the fact that they're, uh, they're useful. Does that make sense? Yeah. Here's my rule with spiders. If they're in an area that I'm going to be around a lot, they die. But if they're in an area I'm not around a lot, they live. Hmm. Hmm. My biggest fear is actually not needles from shots, because I've gotten tattoos that don't bother me, right? It's not the needle. It's the medicine entering my bloodstream. Dude, I don't like that. I do not like that. I don't Dude, like it. I actually it. don't like that either. That Ooh, bothers me. That, hell, I just have to that makes me, like, pass out. <laughs> when I if, I if I'm getting a shot and I'm thinking I for one second even think about that that medicine's going in my blood or or you know that they're injecting it straight in my blood i will actually i will pass out so what you about know. all the heroin you've done <laughs> i've never done that you can guarantee you can guarantee i've never done that you ain't done that no dang heroines <laughs> you know my daughter passed out last from heroin no, Jesus, no. God help me. If she ever did that, I'd murder her myself. Um, but, uh, no, she had her blood drawn, and she just pat like, it was so funny, we're walking out, you know, she had the bath beforehand, and we're walking out, and she's, like, stepping on me, and I'm like, what are you doing? And she's like, I don't know. And next thing I know, she just, whomp! Just Ooh. freaking, but she did, but it was amazing, because she grabbed onto the handle of the door, and did not, like, go. she had a death grip. Yeah. And she just, she, she just, she walked really gracefully. It's probably the most graceful she's ever been in her entire life, to be quite honest. <laughs> wow. Um, and it was just like, I mean, I panicked. I was like, oh my God. But we got her. She was okay, but still. But I'm going to tell you something. Usually, like, if I'm having blood drawn or something, I watch it, right? I'm just like, oh, that's cool. Like, because I'm weird. And I'm like, oh, that's neat. But one time I went and I had it done. And I could hear my blood hitting the tube. Ugh. And and that 
got me. Yeah, that's I was sick. Like, oh. Yeah, that's sickening. And I mean, I didn't pass out, but that hearing it, I'd never heard it before in my life. And uh, that just, yeah, that really was like cringe, legit bad cringe. Not not Nathan's brand of awesome cringe. It was it was gross. <laughs> yeah, she also hates eyeball like stuff. You're a son of a bitch. I can understand you. that. Like the crust that comes out of your eye in the morning? Is no, that that's what we're fine. Like no. putting contacts in your eyeball? Like eyeball. Oh, I don't like this. People touching eyeballs. This mother trucker, okay. This is... God bless him. He's, he's very loud. But anyway, for some reason, we were watching a show that he, he suggested. And there was an eyeball scene where they go to take this person's eyeball out. Yeah. Okay. And that, I'm like, Ugh! You know, I'm doing my freak out because I'm like, that's just not cool. Yeah. And then he's like, then it gets better. He's like, oh, it's okay. It's almost over. I'm like, okay, good. And then they proceed to take the rest of the effing eyeball out. <laughs> I just, I'm like, you son of a bitch. What was the movie? <laughs> it was, actually, it's called Peripheral. Oh, and yeah. he Peripheral? lost it. Not seen it. It's a TV show. He yeah, I, I heard of that one. It's all about this printers is, and... This is where he laughs at. The alert. He lost his shit. And he's like, oh, I don't like eyeball stuff either, but... I haven't seen it for a while. Better. I really thought it was over, but it was... It was <laughs> the timing was so perfect. It was legit. Like, oh yeah, it's almost over. Boom, right after that. I was like, oh my god. And I mean, he just... he did. This is where... Remember before when I said he laughs at me? Yeah, yeah. This is where he laughs. He lost it. I've never heard of him being laughed so much in my entire life. I mean, it was just, yeah. And I can't blame him. Really. It was probably also funny because he legitimately thought it was over, and then you looked yeah, at that. Yeah, legitimately thought it was over, <laughs> and she starts like gagging, just like crying, laughing. I mean, it was it was funny as hell. I was I was laughing and swearing. I mean, it was so much funny. You know, it was, uh, you know, I, I couldn't blame him. Not really. Yeah, I, so I want to, I want to clear something about the clown thing. I'm not scared of them anymore. I was as a kid. But I will still avoid them. If I can, I will avoid them. But I did face my fears a couple years ago, and I went to a haunted house, and it had effing clowns. Yeah. And I, and I did fine. I did great. I did not freak out. I didn't punch anybody in their big, red, stupid nose. I did good. I was a good girl. So it wasn't too bad. Nobody, nobody, you know. Well, when you go to like a haunted house, like they're going to use clowns because it's common, right? If you go to a circus, there might be a clown, right? Because that's where they belong. The freaky the part goes to a circus in the, 2024. Yeah, probably nobody. But if you if you're just hanging out in the woods with your buddies and you go around and a clown <laughs> steps out from a tree, bro, that is that's scary, you know. Dude, I'm gonna shit my pants. I'm sorry, did not. I can't put it any more eloquently. Okay, that's, that's what's gonna happen. Look, there it is. The key dropped. So make sure if oh you God. haven't got it. Bitch, and you shall receive. Yeah, rodeo clowns. There you go, rodeos. That's a good spot. That you might expect to see a clown. But that's the thing. It's like it's funny because I have a picture. My mom took of me when I was little. I've hated clowns since I was like I came out of the womb. Hmm. For whatever reason. I used to have a whole like room decorated as clowns. When I was a little boy, like, you know, a toddler, my whole room was decorated in clowns. Oh really? My God. Yeah. Two That's story. Terrifying. I kept what? the light switch because it was so ridiculous. I don't, you know how you can get the, uh, I don't know what it's called, the thing you gotta take off when you paint, you know, on the uh, oh, light yeah, switch. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, like the light switch the cover. The cover. There you go. <laughs> I don't know why I can think of that word, but uh, I, I, it was a cover that was a clown's face and his mouth was open for where the light switch went, right? And I kept that until like I was in high school because I thought it was hilarious and ridiculous. It was still my light switch in high school. That's amazing, I love that. You don't have it now? That'd be so cool. No, no, I don't have it now. My parents might right. though. It's sad. That is sad. I didn't think to bring it with me when I moved out, you know? You really messed up. I messed up there. <laughs> I really messed up. It's a collector's item. <clears throat> you know what? It's funny. You know those brackets you can put around license plates? 
my grandparents had one that said happiness is being a grandparent and I have it. I saw oh, I nice. it. You know, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I was our only grandchild before, guys. That's all I could say. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, so I kept that. But I also have like the coolest bird houses ever. They were it's a train set that my grandfather built. It is it's an actual bird house. So Ooh. Yeah. I'm sorry, I know. Random. Can I shut up now? And no, Peace Dog, I do not remember Shakes the Clown. He says a comedy from the early 90s. Bobcat. That sounds familiar to me for some reason. I don't yeah. remember that. I remember the comedy from, uh, what, was that on Mad <clears throat> TV, maybe? What was his name, that clown? He, oh, he clown? hit people on the head. Oh, you're He's thinking about the living color. Homie! Who? Homie the Clown. Homie the Clown. Homie the Clown. <laughs> homie the clown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would slow me don't play that. He'd be like, homie, don't play that. Yeah. Homie, don't play that. Yeah, I remember they made, a, they made a fucking yeah. DOS game about Homie the Clown. Did I'm going to get the soundtrack. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> We don't play that. Oh Did my you hit god. People with the sock? Yes! Oh my god. I forgot all about that till just then. And also, there was that show that was kind of popular when I was a kid. I didn't really care much for it. I thought it was kind of boring, but it was that one clown. He had like the tri, the tri hair. Um, it was a kid's show. Bozo. Bozo, yeah. But I, I thought that show was a little boring. I mean, I would watch it sometimes, but. I didn't, See, I used to like what Bozo. a fan. I didn't have a problem with it. It's so weird. I don't know. It was just like in person. It was clowns and In person is like different. Alright, are you ready for the most amazing soundtrack of our our time? Okay. Uh, it's right. I'm gonna post it in random conversations. Okay. I seriously doubt this will get claimed. If this gets claimed, I'll you know what, they can have it. Why? Who owns it? What is it? It's the Homie the Clown soundtrack from Homie the Clown DOS on the DOS. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, it's from a video game. Oh, yeah, I doubt from a video Yeah, this ain't gonna get claimed. Sounds like something Steve would make, to be honest. Dude, this is scary, actually. Dude, that's something freaky about this. This does sound sort of like something yeah. Steve would make. <laughs> he should remix this. Oh, here's a little. If you if you if you get to if you go to six minutes and thirteen seconds, you get a sweet beat. This sounds like something you might hear in the background of like a, like a, uh, like a cyberpunk city in a video game as you're walking through town. Keep in mind, this is all one track. If you're playing the game, it goes through this whole thing. Weird. I mean, maybe Steve can take it and make some good rips from it, you know. Maybe. I don't know. It's a little... It's a little, uh... You know. Chaotic. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. It's a little chaotic. I wonder what they paid for that. Hopefully not much, because it's... I'm going to say it's not that <laughs> great. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Have you ever heard of programmer? This is programmer music. And by the way, when I say it's not great, I don't mean no offense to Steve. I mean, like, at first it sounded like a way Steve's song might open, but then Steve's songs go into an actual good beat. And I feel like that one yes. never did. And for the record, I, I do not write my songs to be great. All right, they're meant to be funny. Oh, Steve writes his songs to set the tone for what he's about to do to you. I'm you know pretty what I mean? sure if Steve was hired to make a song about a homie to clown, I don't think he would make that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he would make that. No, no, it would be, it would be well done. Uh, I also think Steve excels at not 
knowing exactly what his masterpiece is. Like, if you yeah. asked him what his hit single on his album was going to be, I think he would probably be wrong like 99.9% of the time and then be blown away by what, what everybody loved. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, did you foresee Per City and... Uh, what, do, what do we call the other one? What's this one that's... The, the newest one, one? Disgusting, is, thing. Well, disgusting thing. Yeah, that's right. I should know this. But like, I did buy the album that is amazing. I think the full name but on the I, album is "Disgusting Thing." I'm gonna do to you, if I'm not mistaken. I actually think on the album I changed the name of it to something completely different. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just I think on the album it's just called First I'm Gonna." Oh, that, that makes sense. Called. First I'm Gonna" is a good name. Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> What's my opinion on Brighter Shores? Um, so Brighter Shores is an MMO uh, supposed to launch towards the end of the year, I believe. Um, it's, uh, I mean, I haven't done like deep research on it, but uh, it seems to be a, um, like a strategy type combat. Um, you know, like, uh, like, um, like if you're playing D&D &D on a board kind of thing. Um, but also with the style of being, uh, how to put this like not high fantasy i i've done slightly exactly. more research than you have Nathan. Okay. not much but it's basically developed by the same people who made runescape basically oh i didn't know that okay so it sounds like it's going to be runescape but not runescape hmm it's not one that's high up on my radar at all I'll say that. I mean, I'll Currently. probably try it. I might do, depending on when it launches. And I'm but not, I'm like not talking bad, bad about it. Three. I just am a little bit ignorant on it, so therefore I, it's not high up on my list. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It could be great, for all I know. I didn't know about it earlier until I saw a little bit of Red's video he did today about it. I don't know, but Nathan, your video uh, on uh, Dragon Dogma 2 has made me want to go play in the character creation. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, it's free. Yeah, you can go and make your character. Oh, I'm... It's so much fun. It's going to be good. You can lover too, right? So you don't even have to make them when you when the game releases. You yeah, can just you can just use that. Export your stuff over Export here. it right in. That way you can go right into the game. You already made your character. You can spend more time and not feel guilty. Because, you know, when you get a new game, you want to... You want to make your character, but also you want to start playing. You know what I mean? So uh, you can. Yeah, and you also have to make your pawn, so it's really yep. like making three characters. And... Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 looks like it's going to be really good. It's going to be the uh, Baldur's Gate 3 of 2024. You know what I mean? It's going to be the cool RPG for the year. Western. Style. So soon, too. I know. We're almost there. It's next week, right? Check my Gosh, calendar. it's already next week. I yeah, mean, what else Friday. would be? It's big competition. Wow. Like, I, I feel like I'm so distracted by it. I don't even know anything else, like any other big RPGs that are coming. Greedfall 2. No, no I'm just kidding. Nah, but... <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you sound like that. Well, when you say RPG, are you including JRPGs? Because wow. we got a few of those. He just did. Did you just... <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> kind of, but like, I don't know. If you Do RPGs what? that are on PC. Okay, then. All right, then. Perfect. So, tell on you. I promise you. Do not miss out. Whenever the hell it comes out this year, probably not too long. Um, do not miss out on the remaster re-release of Sui Coden One and Two. I, oh yeah. And if you think you're only gonna play one then just look suicone one is awesome but if you think you're only gonna play one start suicone two then you know what i'm saying if you know for sure like no i'm gonna dedicate myself then go ahead and start the first one but if you don't think you will do both of them just to just to uh 
There are on, on Nathan's recommendation. Dude, they're good. I would recommend if you are gonna play both of them to play the first one first. Yeah, I would too. But I don't want you to play it and it's not as it's it does so here's the thing about Sweet Code and One. It's really good. And and I love the graphic style with the little mixture of sprites and the way the camera kind of gives you a 3D pseudo thing, even though it's hand drawn kind of thing. It's awesome. But Sui Coden 2 just grips you in the story, like, immediately. You know what I mean? Uh, it's one you can easily fall in love with. Where Sui Coden 1, you know, it takes... You know, it's cool, but it takes a while before you start realizing how good the story is and how much you love the characters. Like, that happens really fast in Sui Coden 2. Is it turn-based? Yes, yeah. yes. And okay. six people in a party, so you'll have, like... You'll have, like, three people in the front, three people in the back, and you'll strategize, like, let me put my mages and my archers in the back. Let me put my melee up in the front. Let me get my tank in the center. And then not only that, but it has war. So every once in a while, you'll do, like, strategy fights where it'll be, like, your war, you pick the leader, you know, and if they die, they're dead, and you might really it's love this character. Boy. They're gone, you know? So you're, like, being real careful. Like, man, it's a good game. It's a really, really, really good RPG. One of the best. It's crazy, too, because there's, like... I'll just put it like this. There's character deaths in the storyline that don't seem like they could be preventable, but they are. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's it's insane. A lot of different endings, lots of different ways things can go. I mean, dude, I guarantee you, your playthrough and my playthrough will not be the same because there's how many? 120... 108, 108. Stars of Destiny. There's 108 characters you can choose to bring in your parties. And they all have backstories. They're all cool. They're all interesting. But your, your game's going to be totally different than mine because, you know, chances are we're going to bring different people to our party. You know what I'm saying? And the cool thing about that game is that uh, it's 108 characters sounds like a lot. Yeah, right? yeah. But the way how the game is built and the way how stuff happens in the game, it does not feel like that it's too no. many. You know when what I you mean? Play it's it, crazy. And when you play it, you'll swear that your party is the main characters. You know what I mean? You'll feel like, no, these were the ones they wanted you to bring. Like, these are the main ones. But then if you play it again, you're like, oh, no, maybe this... And then you finally realize all of them are. Somehow, every single one of the 108 characters are all awesome and feel like main characters. It's That's so awesome. good. It's awesome. really good. Check it out. Do you know There's when characters it's coming out? That... Or... Uh, uh, no. Oh so <laughs> here's, about it for a year soon. here's the problem. The reason they don't want to announce when it's releasing is they're trying to... Um, Konami is trying to ride on the uh, wind cells of the creator of Suikoden, left Konami, made his own company. He has a game definitely coming out here in April, which is like the... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? The um, spiritual successor to Sui Coden, right? Called Ayudan Chronicles, which is also coming to PC, and it awesome. looks sick. Uh, he passed away, so this will be his final game. Um, well, but uh, they're waiting to make sure they don't want to announce it the release date because they want it to be right after that game comes out, so they can, you know, make more money on Sui Coden. Um, so, you know, they don't want to announce it the release date until they know for sure Ayudan Chronicles is coming out. Not gonna get delayed. I'm sorry, Dimos. I got super excited when I realized a friend in the game joined the guild. And I just oh! Or tonight, so it's like, oh, yay! And there's Listen, some characters we're eating good in the too that will take up two party spots because they're it's like a big monster. Nathan, over here. Uh, over here. Uh, okay, I put up my weapon before I hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I literally had hit the attack. That was like a JRPG anime that noise. That was right amazing there. right there. That, that... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was like some He-Man shit right there, Nathan. I love it. So, Brighter... Those little chipmunk people can join oh, your yeah, party. Oh, yeah, I forgot about like that. five of them. Yeah. And they all have a different colored scarf on or something. Yeah. It's a random, a random one. And the octopus guys. So we can have those sweet cooking battles in it. Oh, yeah. It's 
got really good mini games and the fishing is well done in it too. I used to fish. Dude, just the whole more. element of like building up your home base to that awesome castle with everybody in it, that is so sweet. Yeah. You have like cooks and so cool. I still remember rolling dice in a cup. Oh yeah. There's a uh, sleepwalker in the That was a fun game. Right that, there. that mini game where you rolled the dice in the cup and then spilled it out on the table. Yeah, I forgot about I, that. I don't even remember that, how actually. that game works exactly. If I remember, I played it a lot, trying to win money. It was a gambling game in the game. Yeah. And listen, unfortunately, we live in time age, I have to say this. Gambling for in-game money. Fun? That That's okay, I think. Yeah, not for currency or... Uh, Oh, NFTs. Key. There we go. There it is. So now we can go unleash the poor little dude stuck in the cell down here. Yep. Yay! If we start clearing Whoop. up towards the. Uh, so I'm, also, I'm sorry you died. Because I got hyped. Library. Hyped it's all good. Warlord equals death. I mean, that's, that's true, but I, I, I'm still. That's fine. Just take the opportunity to blame the brigand. So Logar says that Brighter uh, Shores is made by Andrew Gower, who is the lead developer and co-founder of Jagex, the makers of RuneScape. Hmm. But wait a minute, is this the new Jagex MMO they talked about a while back? This is the one? The Brighter Shores? Yeah. I just hope it's not like RuneScape 3. Yeah. And some elements of old school RuneScape. Because old school RuneScape, it's got a lot of good in there, but it's also way too grindy. Yeah, it's a product of its time, in that sense. Well, surely they know that, like, old school RuneScape is ridiculously more popular than RuneScape 3, right? I just don't want to do herb lore and fucking Slayer. <laughs> That's my thing. I'm checking out this Brighter Shores game right now. I don't think this is for me, you guys. Yeah, I was thinking I was that. I sort of thinking the same thing. I was thinking that, too. Aren't there only, like, three classes? I don't know, but I don't like the... Art style. Yeah, the squares. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The, like, grid-based... Lands. I'm not a fan of that. Yes. If you want to do grids, hide it from me. You know what I mean? Don't show it to me. Hide it from me. Don't make not, me yeah, realize. Not, not everything has to be looking Minecraft-esque. Yeah. Or in the word that everybody hates, make a toggle. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you could toggle this out. That's it's weird because... Grid. Like, you can talk, like make a grid that you can toggle on and off. It's sort of like showing loot in, like, Baldur's Gate, where you can hold down a key and see all the loot, and then you can turn it off and not see it. It's, yeah. It's, if I want to see the grid, I should be able to see it and then be able to turn it off. It's weird because Old School RuneScape and RuneScape 3, for that matter, are based off on a grid, but you don't see the grid. So, I don't know what's going on. There. This is like a grid integrated into their graphic style, pretty much. I haven't been able to it stop playing like... Song of Six for two days. Song of Six. Song of Six. Track number six on Steve's album? Fuck yeah. I don't know. It says Let's SYX. Go. Yeah, SYX. No, this is a real thing. Oh, this it is, is a, a game, yeah. This is a game. A fantasy city builder. That's kind of cool. Hmm. In six, can I go around grabbing ass all day? No, I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. I don't even think you can play as a human. Can I play as a human void? No, you're more like a god type character. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. 
It's like, so like real life. you're building a city. <laughs> like real life. Yeah, just like in real life. I'm just holding out for Mastodon Simulator. <laughs> kind of like Goat Simulator, but with Mastodons? Yeah, but Mastodons. Right. Dude, that Goat Simulator did really good. My kids I know. loved it. I know all the kids. Even my kid likes it, and he doesn't even really get it. I don't know if I really get it 100%. It's funny because of the developers of that game. They made a video about Goat Simulator as a joke, and then they got pulled into <laughs> making Goat Simulator in a game. They even made an MMO simulator, like goat simulator, goat MMO simulator. Yeah, yeah. I don't, oh yeah. I don't know much about it, but they did do it. My daughter has it. No wait, I have. Because it. it was free on, on the PlayStation Store. Oh really? Yeah, so it's like. Okay. If you buy the game Goat Simulator, it's actually included with it. Oh. It's like you buy the game, and in within the game, Goat Simulator is like five other Goat Simulator experiences. Oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> I would watch my kids play it. They'd be like grabbing people and dragging them through town and weird stuff. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't really know. They'd go jump on the I trampoline. Play... I am too. grabbing goat asses all day. <laughs> you yeah. can in that game, actually. You want to play what? I am what? I am toast, or I am bread. Oh, my oh, kids I've played that. that. My kids played I am toast. So, like, my daughter, like, we'd watch Markiplier on YouTube, you know, when she was younger, and I'm like, that looks fun and mo and so damn frustrating. Oh, Look yeah, it's how, frustrating. Like, like Octodad. Oh, yeah, was, yeah. I never even heard of this Octodad. Yeah, it was big. Yeah. It was big. There was oh, two Octodads. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've never it's heard funny of it. as hell. It's so funny, like, watching videos for it. It's like, it's like a little frustrating. Did they ever explain why Octodad had two regular human kids? Well, he married a woman. Yeah, I'm seeing right here that he's married to a woman in the lore. <laughs> but they're not like half octopus, they're like regular no, I know. ass. That's why, well, I think she. She might have cheated. She stepped yeah. out, but I'm saying she stepped out. She stepped you know out. I mean? Yeah, she did. Come on. Sometimes. That makes sense because I, I don't think that biologically the octopus man and the woman could technically reproduce yeah, maybe own. maybe he gave I her mean, permission to you know what i'm saying like no one's no one's tried it yet <laughs> maybe it's artificial <laughs> you know maybe i don't know i'm pretty sure the japanese may have tried it i think everyone has tried it let's has, be honest has tried what octopus to recreate with an octopus oh well wow. everyone's <laughs> tried it come on i have not uh, yeah you just okay. go down to the fish market and you go yo that I would be looking pretty. Oh, well, when well, I say one of those? everyone, I mean like every nation secretly has like some program where they're All secretly right. trying to create human hybrids. You know, probably True. an octopus would be perfect because. Dude, you know, imagine how devastating it. of a weapon that would Apparently, be. Apparently, octopus be men. Horrifying. There's a rumor that Russia had a secret thing to get a giant gorilla with a woman. Yeah, I've heard that actually. I have to. I think they did. I believe it. I think we did. Yeah, too. there's a, there's some people that believe they did. There's like some kind of uh, there's like people that claim they've seen the offspring or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I've seen reading that, into yeah. that one day. I don't know if they succeeded, but I think they tried. I think America's tried that too. And that's how Sasquatches were made. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> that would be crazy. Turns out they're just running loose now. Well, that doesn't explain Bigfoot. It doesn't explain Bigfoot because the Native Americans, before we got here, already were describing Bigfoot. So. Well, because we sent them back in time. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> now we're talking. Well, there could have been a Native American lady that, you know, wasn't didn't find her man, and she went out and found a monkey. <laughs> And then later, the Indian, the late, the bigger Indians found them and then just described them or whatever. <laughs> These origin stories are Uh 
I am no longer able to stun him. So. Heal it. It's sad that they actually really did capture a Bigfoot, but unfortunately his foot was like only a size 7, so they were like, no. They're like, this is... This will make us look stupid. Right, just that, release this one. Just release this one. We're gonna find one with the bigger <laughs> foot. This one one's a bigger foot. This one's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the big question: Is Sora from Kingdom Hearts a Bigfoot? Oh, he does have pretty big feet. Because he has big feet. Yeah. Uh, no, you're allowed to have big feet and not be a Bigfoot. Yeah, look at Ronald McDonald. Ronald McDonald would be another <laughs> example. But he hasn't been around, you know, maybe he got Pharaoh and became a big foot. With his big feet. I mean... I don't think that they're, like, humans that just went wild. I think they're a different... A different species. Hmm. Or subspecies or something. Maybe. But if a dude was in the wilderness, and he went wild, and someone thought they found a Bigfoot, but it was just a really hairy dude with some okay. like, leaves covering his junk. Well, the problem he is, he'd also have to be, like, many times eight to nine feet tall. That's where it gets weird. Well, what if it was a really, sh like, a four-foot-tall dude, and he okay. thought it was eight feet tall, but he was really oh, like six. Oh, okay. Maybe we're the native inhabitants of the moon, and they're the actual original inhabitant inhabitants of this planet. I could buy that. Who I'm talking about blue we don't fit in. We don't fit in. Our poop the does final, not fertilize. The like, final experiment of that that Russian scientist that was doing all that stuff. <clears throat> the last thing he was going to try to do before his experiments ended was he was going to try to impregnate women with orangutan sperms oh my gosh but the orangutan died and he was like oh well i give up weird yeah who were Very the strange. who were the who were the people they were doing the experiments on they were volunteers that, they were actually vol question. apparently they were volunteers oh they found some furries <laughs> they were like i will do it for mother russia okay all right for the, for the homeland. Oh, yeah, like, Grand how Reaper much do you have to get paid? Grand Reaper just came in my chat saying horrible cuss words. Sort of so damn. Yeah. That was pretty bad, guys. That was pretty bad. Did he say F word online? Oh, God, I had already blocked that out of my memory, but now I, I Googled it and I was like, oh, yeah, sort of so damn. Oh, yeah, man, dude. it was that bad. Was rough. It was rough. I would say Fractured Online is a better game than Sword of Sodan. Sword of Sodan drove me Whoa. nuts. It was so bad. It was so bad. The controls. Sword of Sodan has NPCs. True. Dude. But those controls. Sword of Sodan was so bad. a game with an anvil. Yeah. Dude, it was brutal, dude. I sat in the chat and watched Nathan play that game the whole night, and it was hard for me to. It was like having to watch somebody. It was like having Mutilate to watch your themselves. friend. Like get mutilated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it was like brutal. having to watch your friend cut off his fingers and toes or something, you know? Like, oh man. Whew. Brutal. It was rough. It was brutal. We did get far though. I got to level five. There's only seven levels. Yeah. You basically almost pretty much beat the game. I've pretty much seen everything, <laughs> I feel like. I've seen all I needed to see. You haven't seen the final wizard. <laughs> Therefore, you have not beaten the game. Therefore, you're you have to suffering. Get that belly game. boss at the end. The belly well, boss. There's one guy after him. <laughs> oh, oh you got there? Oh, there's a wizard for real after the belly boss. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nathan, the white one. Got it. Awesome. You're amazing. I was on the wrong one, but you called it out. And I switched. I don't know how the hell I ever played a chanter without a voice. Doing everquest. Uh, how did we do it? Back then? Macro. I can't imagine. Yeah. People assisted a lot back then, too. That's true. Also, back then, I was, like, weirdly way more skilled than I am now at, like, typing in the game while yeah, simultaneously true. playing the game. Because we had to do it all the time back then, yeah. Like, I'd be in yeah, the middle of, like, some kind of... used to push the talk. 
Yep. Yeah. Well. Or even worse, the people who don't use push to talk. Yep. Well, what you do if you don't like to use push to talk is get you a mic that automatically cancels out, you know, stuff. And Discord these days does a pretty yeah. good job. Yeah, perfect. Discord's pretty good at it. It's it's Not horrible for if enough. you're trying to send a a, a <laughs> clip to somebody Nine using months, Discord. But... Come talk to the prisoner. Let that poor guy out. We should probably hit up the fire too before we head up towards the library. Everybody watching, I did this last week, so wrap it up with everybody else. And if you didn't talk to him before, you got to talk to him twice to make sure you give him the key. Yeah. And make sure you turn in all your books. Before you leave. Yeah. You don't want that late. Got it? <laughs> I don't want that late. Evangeline or whatever. What is it? Yeah, well... Uh... What did everybody vote on on the Static Group Live? Dude, this was a hard decision today. So, Steve, we had to oh, vote today. Where's it at? I haven't voted yet. I forgot. Let me find it. Uh, da, 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 da. I think that was doing? yesterday, even. Oh, it's already over? What are we voting on today, then? Where's it at? Today is Elden Ring uh, versus... Daily voting. Uh, oh. Torchlight 2 and Cyberpunk 2077. Versus Xenogears? Versus Bro, Xenogears, going yeah. Xenogears all the way. Thank you. Thank you. It's the superior game, guys. If you think Cyberpunk is a superior game to Xenogears, I'm sorry you just didn't play Xenogears. It's yeah, exactly dude. masterclass. This, our little Pantheon community is built around PC gaming. PC gaming, no so Cyberpunk is going to win just because they don't know how good that is. Right. Dude, hey. Cyberpunk made me mad. Has, I was has disappointed this with Are you going to bed? Yeah. All right. Good night. You guys I'm, I'm on an open mic. Yes, right now. it's right. seek out Evangeline. I don't. Th yeah, I think. Yeah, it, I think it might have muted you because nobody reacted. Was All there right. a second quest that I am being stupid about? I mean, I'll be done. No, no, no. Well, about we're, midnight. We're doing another one in here, but that one's over. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna go hit up the fire, get the fatigue off before we go to uh, head to the library. Never been slow on mana, or whatever it's called, endurance. I mean, do you want to go get lower? I know? say I Man. say we, we 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 rest on the fire. So I voted for I voted for Elden Ring over Torchlight too. Come on, come on. I would too. That's the obvious choice. But Xenogears. I don't think Gears anyone has voted for Torchlight too. It's funny because Torchlight two went very far in my meme bracket, but my meme bracket is already dead. Starfield didn't win. Uh, Leisure Suit Larry didn't win. Oregon Trail didn't win. It's all oh, dead. Oregon Trail. Who voted for Torchlight 2? The one and only vote for that? <laughs> who was it? Yeah, so, who did that? Before you say that, Drag! Drag. He's yeah, the he one that sets up the icon. Yeah. He oh, he has to vote. He has to vote. Right, right. Oh. Okay. So, so even though it's one, it's actually zero. It's actually oh. zero. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, that means only five people voted for Xenogears. And ten whole people picked Cyberpunk over Xenogears. That's so sad. That's sad. Man. Wow, Cyberpunk is nowhere near the beauty and storytelling and artistic awesome. Man, I'm glad you didn't oh, check in people. yesterday. Because yesterday was way worse. Oh, I, I know. I meant to vote on that one, but I, that would have been a hard vote. Yesterday was uh, Ocarina of Time versus Sui Coden 2. Oh, wow. My. Oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what was the other one? It was like Super Mario RPG versus Paper Mario. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Totally. The game what what one? Special. What one? By the way, on that one. What What do you think won, Nathan? A Super Mario RPG. Of course. That okay. Giant piece of dump. All right. So faith restored a little bit in this crowd of people who are not voting for Xeno Gears and voting for Cyberpunk. We're missing. Also, if you're confused Three what people. we're talking about and you want to get involved, it's on Static Group Live's um, Discord. Going? I'll post a link. The fire? fire. I don't know. Back the way we came. Let me get this link for you guys, just in case you want to vote for Xeno Gears to help it win or down, whatever right. you want to do. I'm going to for it right now. All right, there's the link in YouTube. Here's the link on Twitch. So long. And I you just recommend scroll you literally like around one corner. <laughs> when you go to this Discord, <laughs> it should me. my invite should bring you right to the daily voting, and you just pick the icon. Left is for the option, the picture on the left. Right is for the picture on the right. Um, 
Uh, but if it doesn't bring you right to the voting, then just scroll through all the uh, things and look for the the channel called Daily Voting. Be right back, guys. Oh, there it is. Also, if you want to have a really fun time, go to Smack Talk, scroll all the way up until you find my meme bracket, and you'll have a good time. <laughs> there, I just voted for Xeno Gears. The true. Somebody got in there and voted for Cyberpunk right before my eyes. Wow. Wow. Dude, have you played all the way through Xeno Gears? That story is crazy. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> it's a life changing. That's a life changing story. I tried to tell these PC people that, and they just were like, meh, 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 cyberpunk. They're like, no, it's an anime game. It's a weeb game. Exactly. Yeah. Unfortunately. Dude, that game, when that game first came out, dude, I was, I was like mind blown by yeah, it. Yeah, dude. so freaking good. That was one I was jealous of. It, so I actually played it originally on a demo for Same. Final Fantasy. A eight, I think. Eight, maybe, yeah. Or maybe, and I no, love yeah, it. I think it was on the eight demo, but I could be wrong. I, it made me really jealous because by that time, um, there were no new games. There was no new RPGs coming out on Sega Saturn. Like it was dead. It was gone. You know. Wait, wait, wait. Dorkachu voted for Cyberpunk. Oh my gosh! Oh my. <laughs> betrayal from within. Such betrayal. Well, she maybe she hasn't played Xeno Gears. So, so did Gulu. It wouldn't make sense to vote yep. for something you didn't play. I didn't play Xeno Gears. Yeah. I understand. That makes sense if you didn't play. I feel like you could just watch like 10 and minutes I like of gameplay and be like, yeah, I'm a PC yeah, player and I didn't try and play it on some last gen console because. <laughs> yeah. If that game needs to be re released uh, bad. I had no problems with it. it. It worked great. Everything ran great for me. And yeah, I liked it. I had a good I time at launch too. Like, I saw a couple of glitches, but it wasn't game breaking. I played the game, had a great time at launch. I like Cyberpunk. How many... The only thing I didn't, what really hurt that game for me, and I know that this is like a real nitpick, but I wanted it so bad to be able to be played in third person. So badly. Yeah. For I some reason. You can. Mod it, but you can. Yeah, they specifically did it for that, did that for a reason. Uh, Grix, how many abilities have you unlocked for Alchemy 2? None. None. Was to ruin my I, fun. I'm too picky with when <laughs> I use my, with when I use my magic. I haven't unlocked any Alchemy 2 yet. That's the my, same reason. My hill is that, almost there. Know, we have to play life as first person is to ruin our fun. Yeah. Except for in life, it doesn't make me mad that I can't see myself because I didn't create this character. They just stuck me with it. I hate when you create a character and you can't see him through the whole game pretty much. Yeah, true. Yeah. That bothers but me. But you too. might as well, well just give me a, a Master Chief. There's, yeah, there's the mirrors and, and they give you a bunch of different items and yeah. like wardrobe stuff, and you like never see. Your yeah, and it's not multiplayer, so nobody else sees it either. So it is kind of weird. All right, guys, so give me like, while we're taking a break. I'll be right back. I gotta, I gotta go to the potty real quick, and no problem. No problem. Even post ghost pepper chicken, I will not be passing a stone. It's just regular old urine. I'll be right back. Support the Nathan Napalm with Super Chats or by clicking join to become a member of Napalm on YouTube or by subbing or with bits on Twitch. Every dollar helps feed a puppet for a day and keep Nathan on the air. Thank you all so much for your support. Stream is starting soon. <laughs>
girls with their nails done now. Support the Nathan Napalm with Super Chats or by clicking join to become a member of Napalm on YouTube or by subbing or with bits on Twitch. Every dollar helps feed a puppet for a day and keep Nathan on the air. Thank you all so much for your support. Stream is starting soon. Oh. I'm back. What's up, dude? What's up, man? Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back. I am also back. Oh, Joe on YouTube wants to be taking the city, so let's go to the city while everybody's getting back. Then I'm gonna, mm, then I'm gonna, mm, then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna, mm, then I'm gonna, mm, mm. Yeah, thank you very much, Joe, on YouTube, on Twitch. And don't forget, guys. Take me to the CD changes every month with the new episode of Cringe Pony. So we've only gotten to the 30th before that changes to a new Take Me to the City. But if you'd like to see all in full HD glory, uh, become a member on YouTube. Join up. It's only two bucks. And you will have access to both Perf City's full HD quality, full everything. Or you can buy the digital item, yes? You can get the digital uh, album. Can you throw a link up for that? Do you have that link available, Steve? Oh, yeah. Let me just go to it real quick here. Cringe yeah. City Records website. I have a harder time getting into first-person games, too. I can if they're really good. Yeah, but... I don't know. Like, like Bioshock, the, when that first came out, I was like, that okay, was I'm into one. this. This is cool. Yeah. But I don't know. It takes, like, something special for me like that. Like, just some run-of-the-mill first-person shooter, I'm usually not going to get that into it. Right. Unless I'm in a very specific mood, which happens every once in a while, but not often. Yeah, same. I used to play EverQuest in first-person. I also used to play, uh, like, Morrowind, um, and even still... Like, when the new Elder Scrolls game does come out, sometimes I'll switch to first person for, like, combat. Or if I'm looking for a very specific item, you know, lying on, like, a table or something, you know. Yeah, I like when you have the ability to switch back I like and forth. I do like that. I like to have the option, yeah. I like to, sometimes I want to be in first person, but I like to have the option. And when you can dress up your character, make your own character, I just feel like you have to have an option for third person. That's how I feel like, too, but apparently not all developers thinks that. Yeah. It's weird. It is a weird thing. To go through all that trouble to make character and then never see him except for in the mirror. Which, who cares about? I'm not just going to stand in front of the mirror all damn day looking at my character. Yeah. I do that enough in real life. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> when is the tour? When is the tour of Perf City? I don't know, man. Like the musical tour? <laughs> the musical like the concert? tour. concert? I think you meant, like, a tour where we get to see the city, you know? Oh, yeah. Like a documentary. Could, could be either, though. Could be either. 
Could be a musical tour as well. It's now playing performing. all the venues. <laughs> Mid City Grill. Most ridiculous uh, Mid City thing. Grill. Uh, Mid City Grill. <laughs> all right, Don Willis is back. Let's head in. <laughs> Hope you got repop. Damos is back, but he's not talking because he's dealing with that other stuff. Oh, that mysterious about Xeno Gears. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go look again. <laughs> Maybe He's something's selfie. changed. Is it all about the heat? What would it take to get you to take a shot glass of maple syrup? There's no way that's happening. No way. Well, what if like super clean though? Like you watched it get poured in. There's yeah. none on the side. There's not a drop on the rim. It's just perfectly you, in the glass. You haven't seen him wipe the glass after, even though nothing got on it. You haven't yeah. seen him wipe down the glass on the outside and the handle. Like a professional bartender from the Old West. super miserable. I mean, you, those that like maple syrup, you actively wanting to take a shot of maple syrup? No. Not really. I would, I would I like it that much. to see you take a shot. Maple syrup. Real maple syrup. No, the would, okay, let me straighten that. I would attempt to chug a bottle. I mean, I might, I might want, the only thing I might want to do is like eat pancakes or waffles, put maple syrup on it, and let you see me get it on my hands. Yeah, you know what I mean? That'd be the worst I'd yeah, want to do. Would that bother you if we were all like playing with maple syrup on our hands? Uh, of course it drops the heat. Okay, out. wait I mean, a minute. I'm not going to be around. The ultimate question. Here's where it gets crazy. Here's where I'm about to just. <laughs> F your mind up, Dimeless. You get invited to a event, okay? You're in the crowd, okay? You can see very well what's happening. However, you're you're not you're not in any fear of it splashing on you, right? Like let's say there's like a um you know, there's like a glass plexiglass like in hockey, right? Between you and the event. And it's the most beautiful buxomy women wrestling maple syrup damn wrestling. near naked in maple syrup do i have to smell the syrup uh, you'd probably be able to let's be realistic you probably would be you probably would smell it yeah. out. Hmm. you're out see this yeah. is a okay what the question two wow we gotta fix you you so you smells part of it too you refuse oh, to go sure. to the event However, you're waiting. You didn't know this was what it was, right? And you get to the event. You realize what it is. You smell maple syrup. I'm sorry. I can't do this, bro. I'll just wait for you because you get, you're you over with your buddy, right? Me and you and Steve went together. We didn't know this maple syrup thing. You're like, I'm sorry, man. I can't do this. It's going to make me gag. I'm going to wait for you guys outside. Have fun. So you're outside. Do that. Why? Because you'd come back after the event smelling We'd like We'd smell like it. Mm, you'd have to what get an Uber. If, okay. All if right. We pick I, I would have to take you. What you if we pick you up to take you to Long John Silver for all you can eat chicken, <laughs> but we're all wearing maple syrup cologne? Cologne. God, he wouldn't do that. <laughs> so you don't like maple bacon either? All right. No. Okay, so Dimeless, oh. you are a, you're waiting on your Uber, okay? You're waiting on your Uber because you, you, did, you won't even be able to stomach riding back home with us with that smell in our clothes. So you're waiting on your Uber, and it takes a little while, right? And one of the women has finished the match, taken a shower, and she's leaving, and she wants to hook up with you. She, she took a shower. We're all good. Okay. All right. So it wouldn't okay, bother you not, so, okay, that she on. already... Let's take this step further. No, okay. she's going to still be in the venue. She's still it's... probably have... Mm. Yeah, what if, there's a, what if there's a slight scent on her clothes? It's in her blood now. So she there's... always is emanating that smell. <laughs> it's in her blood. And so there's no the woman of your fucking dreams. Right. She's everything she would ever want. But every morning, this is a routine. She gets up and she makes waffles with maple syrup on them. Deal breaker? Uh, yeah. That's like the that only flaw. automatically block. makes it not the woman of his dreams, though, just because that beat yeah, There you go. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but what every what other is, aspect is the woman of her dream, yeah, except, except, except for that one tiny aspect for him. That That's one the tiny one aspect. Desire. Also, if she's not yeah, willing to quit doing so that just because it makes him uncomfortable, then you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she, she didn't loved care me. about she you anyway. Me. All she was yeah. there was for the waffles. She just yeah, cared about the waffles. Her, <laughs> she was if you just loved there her, for the waffles. You would put up with it. Mm, uh, 
when one's a phobia and one doesn't matter to the other person, it just means they're not eating maple Right, syrup. right. That's very... Yeah, that's simple to not but do. But you're going to make her eat her pancake waffles out in the garage. Like Ashamed it, like of herself. <laughs> Ashamed of herself. What if, what if it's not her choice? What if you're with her... And down there on her. Oh no. oh no! Naturally. That's out. Naturally. That's a big like old she out. She, there I is no maple out. syrup He's involved. Down there, about to go down. Abs it's not. Maple's <laughs> way through the friggin' air. He ain't doing that. He's gonna be out like a trout. Yeah. That poor woman would have such a friggin' complex after that. Yeah, I'd be like, I'm gonna go get some pancakes real quick. Actually, hang on, just a second. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna dip it in. <laughs> Oh. I'm kind of hungry for some waffles right now. I'm going to me too. I'm bringing the sausage. You guys are making me horn green. Horn green? Horn green. <laughs> 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 oh man, I like that term. You it's need good. to fucking put a trademark on that. that. That's hilarious. Now. It's probably already out there. Let's I can't believe I've never heard anybody say that before. Yeah. To be honest. I've never heard anybody I've never say, heard it. say it all the time. Let's check it. Let's Hungry. check it. That's got to be a thing. It's got to be. It's going to be on Urban Dictionary, probably. Oh, it's a, there's a Wikipedia page. Okay, okay. It's actually aroused and hungry at the same time. It's oh, gosh, there. it's even on Wikipedia. That means it's you Guys, news. that's when cannibalism happens. That's a gateway. Getting, home, getting uh, horngry. It's a gateway to cannibalism. Oh my gosh, dude, that it's gonna be the name of my new romance novel targeted towards women written by a name that is not my name. It's gonna be called Horngree and Haiti. Oh, oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. We are all going to have But she got like a Fabio Just... type guy on the cover too. Like oh, an yeah. oil paint. <laughs> With the spit <laughs> roast going in the <laughs> background. <laughs> <laughs> oh I mean, gosh. those swine moms would be into that, you know, a dude like eating a big ass turkey leg while they're boning. They're like, oh, yeah. That's a good point. Joe brings a good point. Joe on YouTube, actually on YouTube, says she can still have maple syrup when she's out with the girls or on work trips. It's kind of like me Damn. and no, sardines. I home. love those nasty canned sardines and the mustard sauce and the hot sauce. Dude, I love those too. They're so, yeah, no, yeah, me and Steve good. used to have parties where we would buy like. You know, ten of those each, and just eat the crap out of them. I love them. My wife gags at this. Like, I can't even just eat one. Like, if she just is like goes to the store, I can't eat it, and then even just take it all the way out to the trash can outside and throw it away because she, the scent very slightly is still in the house when she gets home. So I have to wait for her to leave town and or I'm out of town, and then I enjoy my sardines. And I do that because it makes her gag and sick. You know what I mean? And I love it. That's love, yeah. Yeah. You know, I feel like that that's like the majority of women, I just gotta say, for some yeah. reason with the canned sardines. Yeah, it is, yeah. I've run into that same thing a lot. No. I just don't like sardines, but the scent does not bother me. But I think we've established on this show that you don't I feel I'm like an that you Yeah, you're, you're the outlier. outlier. She's the outlier. You're the okay. outlier. Yeah. Which is good. Most dudes don't, don't like sardines either, good. right? Like Joe's in chat being like, it's not just women, you sickos. I mean, it's a disgusting you thing. Sickos. I like it because it's disgusting. That's part of it. That's part of why I like I it. Like, I love smoked, smoked oysters oh, in smoked a can, oysters. too. That's like, yeah, I, I like love like those. Like, see, I like anchovies and papers. I like anchovies. Oh, I like those too. I have to be I in a like have to be in a mood. I can't just you can't surprise me with it. You can't be like, hey, you want a pizza? Yeah, man. And then order anchovies. I'll be like, oh, bro, I wasn't really. Yeah. Prepared for that, you know? Yeah, no, that's true. You absolutely have to be prepared. For yeah. You know what's weird is I don't really actually like it on pizza. I'd rather just eat them straight out. I'd rather yeah, eat I them like, straight, out. straight out. Agreed. Same. Agreed. In fact, um, on diet, you know, I have just eaten them before because they're great. No carbs. Now, the most I'm disgusting thing, I did have a guy who worked at a pizza place when I was, like, you know, in high school. And... I did have a guy called in and said, where does your anchovies come from? We're like, we just have cans of it. You know what I mean? We just have cans of anchovies. And he was like, well, I'd like you to cook my pizza with anchovies, extra anchovies, but pour all the the whole contents of the can on top of the pizza, please. Oh. Weirdly, yeah. I can remember this happening. Yeah. Even though I didn't work there. So it was, we wanted, like, all the gross. juice and guts yeah. and everything. All the little pieces and juices and... 
It's like got watery stuff in there. It's he wanted it's oil. It's got oil in it. So and it's oil. Like oil in it up. It's very Customer oily. Yeah. Right. Do you like it with the capers? Because I love it with the capers. Capers are good. I like capers anyway. Right? Me too. I love olives too. Me too. I love olives. Poor, poor Gulo is like about to vomit on stream. Live. No, I hate <laughs> olives. He hates olives. He hates seafood. Both green and black. <laughs> Okay, so if you went yeah. to like an event where people there was these smoking hot babes wrestling in olives, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think he'd risk it. I'd watch them. Like, the, it's the not the smell. It's it. like putting them in my mouth. Like as okay, long as so I don't have to put them in my mouth, in the I'm mouth. good. Oh, I can sit there and watch like two girls wrestling them. Yeah, yeah. Gulu can walk down the aisle, olive aisle, just fine, probably. If I made a yeah, pill, yeah. Uh, no, he can't. Yes, I can. I can walk down the olive aisle at the store. Would you go to Would you go to Olive Garden, even though they don't have a lot of olives? Mr. Oh yeah, I'll okay. pop up some Olive Garden. Okay. Uh, I did something said, naughty. Yeah, Mr. C said something naughtier than what. Oh, what did he heard. say? He's like, yeah, he could just fuck him. <laughs> what? what? I did not say <laughs> that. I did. I did not. Wow. You listen pretty well. Listen, listen we, to we her might... brain hearing things that don't exist. <laughs> I said we just like every other day. day. <laughs> I said he can walk down the, the he can walk down the olive aisle just fine. And you were like, well, we we can fuck him. I know. <laughs> I, I, I every day. Say that. Chat rewind. Who who said that? Come on, guys. Come on. Do they chat. have all oil on the olive aisle. They have olive oil on the olive aisle. All, olive oil on the olive aisle I after while. After all, after while. Hot pie's girlfriend. After a while. That's what I was saying. Oh yeah, that was her name, Olive Oil. That's who he's trying to bone. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I mean, he's trying lady. to bone olive oil. You're in. She wasn't there. a looker. Dark she time. was not a looker. Yeah, I you know? agree. No, no. But she... neither was Popeye, so they're perfect. That's true. She, That's Popeye, true. Popeye was better looking than olive oil. They yeah. were both deformed. Let's just be honest. They were yeah, both but, I mean, at least disability. He had Look at his oh muscles. Muscles. That was some kind of weird dis deformity. Yeah, it had to have been. Yeah. I they, mean, I, so no, there have wait, been people who years being spent alone. No, but Kula? think about it like that. You can try to make up those excuses for his muscles all you want. He looked, but then when you look at how his front forearms are, along with the way of his he facial off structure, a lot. That's not his that problem. guy has got some kind of. Disability. You guys are getting it all wrong. He was it's synthoids. He injected a lot of That's synthoids. right. That's right. That's what it is. He injected himself with the synthetics. You know what I mean? You ever seen those guys? That's what they look like. They look yeah, like Popeye. Or whatever it's In called. fact, yeah. one of those guys who does the synthol did it to look like Popeye. So there you go. There you go. That makes sense. What about Bluto? Bluto was more of a regular guy. He's a big dude. You remember him? Yeah. The, fr olive, the, olive, the guy olive, that was always trying to get with olive oil? Yeah. That was yeah. olive oil's other point. Yeah. yeah, she was totally hooking up with that guy too. What's you know? that burger? Oh, hell yeah, she was. His name was like Wimpy or Wimby or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Wimby, yeah. He was a hamburger guy, yeah. Yeah, he, he would gladly get pet you Tuesday hey, for a hamburger, hamburger today. Hamburger today. Uh, yeah. What a liar. Do you people like that, Dave? Steve. Steve? My <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Actually, no. Dave. Is the is the is the one who does that? He is. <laughs> that okay. Mean. I mixed you guys up and then mixed you up again. It's a double mix up. <laughs> it's a double mix up. I mean, they're brothers. The more, listen, they're they're actually do more trying that on me, but I did. I don't fall for it, to be honest. There are plenty of people that comes in pulling that move. That's just like the And I'm just guy. like, dude, you think I never seen Popeye before? Get out of here. <laughs> right, and you know what you say to them? There's plenty of dishes out back. Go. No, I won't even let him do that. No. Uh-oh. I was Wait, actually plenty of dishes. I gotta admit, I was a fan of Popeyes when I was a kid. Uh, Popeye, sorry, not the fast food. It didn't exist. Like, which to one? My knowledge like, when I was a kid. I love absolutely. When I found out Robin Williams passed, uh -huh. that was the first movie I had to watch. Was Popeye. Um, well, I picked. I watched that a lot as a kid. The Popeye movie. When that, that movie was just. So when Robin Williams passed, I was kind of upset because I really liked it. I really liked him, but I picked yeah. the wrong movie to watch. We watched, I don't even remember the name of this what movie. Dreams may come. Is that the one where he has the son who's an asshole and he passes away? No. Uh, I don't think I've seen that one. It, whatever. Is that Patch Adams? No, it's not Patch Adams. It, it's like his, his son was an asshole 
everybody kind of hated him. He was like a big, like a bully. He was a jerk. He just wasn't a nice guy. But it was his son. He loved him, you know? And then he, he died in a really, like, kind of embarrassing, really awful way. So his dad, who is played by Robin Williams, writes poetry for his son to make him seem like he was a really good person, right? That sounds familiar. Changes the way it looks like of how he died so it isn't as disgusting. Um, yeah. And then, like, the guy, the guy gets famous, and everybody at the school loves him. because like, oh, my gosh, we had no yeah, idea. Society? No. World's no. Greatest Dead is what it's called. Is it really called World's Greatest Dead? Yeah, it's really called World's okay. Greatest Dead. That's the one I watched. The guy, that one. Uh, he was choking himself while, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 While choking himself? Yeah, he was doing a little J.O., <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. You mix that movie and what happens in that movie <laughs> with Robin Williams passing away, and it wasn't a good combo. It wasn't a good combo. No. That looks like probably one of his later movies. Yeah, yeah. it was. It, like. it was a good movie. It's a really good movie. Like, really, really, really good. I also just watched that Tom Hanks movie like two days ago, two nights ago. I couldn't sleep. Auto. That's a really good movie, dude. It's I mean, good. It's, it's pretty good. It's, it's not his best. Monsters, but, you know. <laughs> it's not his best, but it's up there. You know what I mean? Like, it's a good performance. Really well done. Ooh, do we still need these notes? Nope. Nope. We got all the notes, right? Yep. Dude. Oh my goodness. The reason it took me so long to watch Auto is it looked like a Hallmark movie, and I'm not a big fan of that. It's a comedy, though, right? Yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah. But it's also, it is heartfelt, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's the best thing. Like life, right? Yeah, like life. I think life is a comedy. Honestly. But it's, it's a tragedy. Or comedy. You mostly laugh watching it. It's mostly funny. I'll have to check that one out. I haven't seen it yet. And as we get older, I feel like we relate with that character more and more. Yeah. So I want to I wanna break this up into Ember's talk real quick. Okay. Who do you guys think is going to be through this game? What do we think what now? This gate. What do you think oh, is going to be through Oh, good question. I'm thinking like a maple syrup slime monster. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. I'm done. <laughs> you can't feel it. You can't feel or smell it. Maple Meyer. Where's that installed. Meyer? Where'd it go? It's upstairs. That's an FD1. This is so is FD2. that a gate that you can't get through yet? Yeah. yeah, it's a big giant gate that we can't get through yet. And cool. I think that, to me it looks like a boss room. Like I don't know if you guys agree, agree, but when I look in there, that looks like a boss room. There's no boss in there. But that's what it looks like to me. Yeah. Maybe that's there's going to be a dragon. Probably not. All right. Well, Ooh. so. Oh, I, I, mean, I know it's going to be in there. The homeless Nathan's boss. Nathan's been saying the dragon is coming. I think the public Dave. perv city is going to be in there. Just That'd be funny. It just, you walk in, it just plays <laughs> the perv city song. That's it. Like, wow, <laughs> this game's really. Uh... It's like a cutscene. <laughs> it's a cutscene, and like, that's it. Guess what? I played with Drinden the other night. I like, heard it about was that. Because nobody was. Nobody was on, like, around my level, wanted to play, and I was bored. I was trying to guilt trip Gulo. Uh, it doesn't work, because Pantheon's addiction is far too great. I don't blame him. Uh, but, you know, I'm like, oh, well. You know, Drinden logs in, he's like, what's going on? I'm like, boredom. And I'm like, come group with me. He's like, oh, I would, but I'm just on for a little bit. And then he saw we were about the same level, and he actually came in and grouped with me. I, he's like, oh, I, he's like, okay, I can do it for 15, 20 minutes. So, yeah. I mean, nice. What other game has that? Yeah, with you one know, of the main main guys, you know. Right, the founders. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Play with you. I, mean, it, it, I have to give that shout out. That was. Drendon's so awesome. He is. That was so much fun. Um, I, have, I didn't murder him on the door, so that was good. I have extreme. I like this really hurts my heart to say, guys, because I have some painful news to tell. Dine was. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Like, I really, I just, in a good conscience, I can't keep this to myself. I can't Are they releasing Maple Story 2? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is way they already worse. Did, I failed. This is, look, I would not tell you this, Dimeless, if I wasn't really your friend, okay? Only a true friend would do what I'm about to do and tell you this information. As we all know, it's common <laughs> to use something kind of sticky, you know, eggs or something for a batter to help the batter stick, right? Before it's deep fried. 
it does turn out that Long John Silver's uses maple syrup to get their battle their batter to stick. Shut the fuck up. I'm, I'm so sorry to tell you this. I'm so sorry. You can't ruin Long John Silver's chicken like I ruined Popeye's. You ruined Popeye's. You ruined Popeye's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry to ruin that for you. I feel so bad about it. I bet you do. <laughs> oh, I'm crying over here. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm traumatized from that. I can't stop. That was so good. <laughs> what if they did maple syrup in a pill form and you couldn't even taste it? <laughs> what? Or smell it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, but then what's the point? <laughs> Just to be like, yeah, I, I can do it. I can do maple syrup. I'm not scared. It'd be, it'd Just be like, like you can say it'd be like fish oil. You'd be burping it up later. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, probably. Dude, no, yeah, probably. We just it. sell useless drugs like that. You know what I mean? Like, it should be part of our business, our medical business. Yeah. Syrup, We're like, I'm prescribing you. I want you to take maple three maple syrup, maple syrup, but after every meal. Okay, three of these maple syrup tablets after every meal. And you should be good to go. That should help with your uh, kidney disease. <laughs> <laughs> we should totally like, market useless drugs like that. It makes no sense yeah, at dude, all. We can totally make it. It would be like it coats your uh, your inner organs and the right. healing powers of maple syrup. You know, it's it's a uh, pure vegan coming from trees. No trees were harmed to make it. It's like a reverse oh, placebo. It's tree, blood. <laughs> it's tree blood. Yeah, but we're not hurting them. They don't have feelings. How do you know? Have you asked a tree? Because I said so. Ah, uh, and you're bigger than me. That's how awesome. corporations work, don't you know? Haven't you watched the, like, Dolphin Save Tuna documentaries? <laughs> I mean, here's the no. thing of how I feel about it. I mean, even if trees do have feelings... Mm-hmm. I mean, if we don't care about, like, eating a a, a, a chicken or something, like, we're, right. like, we're, we're going to give a crap about a tree. Tree. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I, I wouldn't eat my chickens. But I'll eat other people's chickens. But that's somebody's. So you would not maybe like not eat a tree in your yard, but other trees screw them. I'm no, I like. Trees. Like, hey, that's my maple tree in the yard. Hands off, buddy. That one's a pet. So do you? <laughs> I named that one. To to fall <laughs> off the tree before you eat it, or? That's a good no. question. I don't. That's their, a tree. that's their reproductive organs. You're ripping off their testicles. Yeah, yeah you're literally like ripping their tits off, ripping their balls off. Yeah. I mean, trees have been good. there for tens of years. What the fuck are they going to say? Hey, look, there's grass over there. There's Pretty grass well over there. there. <laughs> low hanging fruit. I like that low hanging fruit. What can I mm. say? We know, Anessa, we know. Does it's your fruit like hang low? Nice. Does it wobble to and fro? Right? Yeah, well, if you, I if have you the, juice it, it makes her thirsty. Now yeah. you're juicing it. <laughs> now you're juicing yeah, it. You're juicing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what is this, Jack's yeah. third favorite snack? <laughs> 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 oh. No, I was thinking about you were talking about playing the develop, playing with the developer in this game. Uh, and that reminded me, dude. Did you know? Did you guys know that Hironobu Sakaguchi plays Final Fantasy XIV like regularly? I didn't know he did. I knew Yoshi P did. He he plays it regularly, dude. He posts about it on his Twitter all the time, like his progress. He's been playing it since like 2021. That's how oh, wild, cool. That's really cool. And and he actually put his character's name in the game is Hironobu Sakaguchi. Wow. So if you ever see that running around, it's probably actually him. Yoshi P. He might have a Yoshi P. character, but he also likes to play incognito. Like he'll, he he mm. plays as a secret character that nobody knows who it is, so he can just be normal and play with players and get treated like everybody else. That's cool. Which is cool. I think it's cool about Hironobu Sakaguchi because, like... Yeah, he's the dude. He's the guy. That's... You like Final Fantasy. Just, That's him. You like him. It shows how much that he loves what they've done with the world that he created, that he's, like, a fan of that game. Dude, I did it, by the way. I stayed up all night that night. Uh, when was that? Monday night? 
we had we did our show, and then I yeah. did not sleep. I got off of when we finished our show and talked for a little while. I got off. I logged in Final Fantasy fourteen. The Final Fantasy fifteen event. They brought it back randomly. I don't think it'll ever be brought back again. I stayed up all you night. Got the car? I got the quest. I went to the gold saucer. I played all freaking night doing chocobo races, it? and I got the car. I got it, baby. Dang, dude, that's a tough one to get. I got it in in short notice, like, like fifteen that. hours, nonstop. Got it. Yeah, I don't unfortunately have that on my act on my main character. I have randomly have it on another character, but I wish that I could just transfer it over to my other one, but I can't. What's your armor at, Nathan? I can't quite remember. Oh, I probably need to repair. Yeah, I do. I will after this. The healers are so good, I didn't notice. I need to reactivate my subscription, like, soon. But I, I'm just trying to get through seven first. It's taking me forever for some reason. Well, yeah, it's but, not for some reason. It's yeah, they convert. Because ha half the time when I have time to play it, I'm like play for like an hour and then I'm so dead tired that I have to stop. Okay, let me see. How does this work? Put on my weapon. There we go. Some of those pelicans in there. Yeah, repair the stuff with the most armor first. Like your chest plate, your folds, your shield. Alright, we good. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, Grix. I didn't see that. Grix did confirm that Mr. C did not say that phrase, he says. I don't trust Grix. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just saying. I mean, I don't tr I trust him, and I also don't trust him, but in this situation, <laughs> I would trust him. <laughs> no, because your reaction when I said, listen, did you call me a Nessa? You did call me a Nessa. Yeah, listen, you have, you have too many names like I do. Well, yeah, I mean, that's a variety of life, right? Spice. Don't worry about what it. would you She's rather us call you? What would you rather us call you? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Jennifer, Dorkachu. Jenny. That's what I've I woman. <laughs> I've been wanting to call her Dorkachu the Check whole time. Me. Dorkachu. Maybe we should. Do you like that? Should we call you Dorkachu? I mean, you absolutely can if you want to. That's a good name. Jennifer. That's a good I can't name. You For me, that's what I know you as. As Jennifer Tilly? That's true. It's Dorkachu. No, I... <laughs> oh, Dorkachu. Right, right, right. That was only when I had COVID and my throat was scratchy. She's not She's using a voice that. changer or anything. No, no. <laughs> this is her real voice? This is the real... Oh well... Oh, wait, are we... What story are we going with? <laughs> what story are we going with? I forgot! We discussed yeah, we better this. Get Yes, she says that out. <laughs> no, maybe it's time to go to a break real quick. <laughs> yes, we need to get my order. Yeah, hang on a second, guys. I'll be right back. I gotta fig hang on one second. Support the Nathan Napalm with super chats or by clicking join to become a member of Nathan. Okay, we're back. Uh, she is not using a voice changer. <laughs> you actually went to break for a second. <laughs> Oh. My tummy hurts. <laughs> Laughing too much. <laughs> These streams end up being like a podcast for me. I'm like, I'm watching the gameplay. I'm doing other things on my computer. That's good. That's a good sign, I think. The sign of a good group. I, I, I'm not going to I use them for that a lot. That's good. That's Same. a good thing. Like, sometimes I'll be like, at, like if I'm like doing some kind of prep work or something in the restaurant and Nathan just happens to be streaming, I'll just throw it up on the TV and be listening to it while I'm like cutting up beef and stuff. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's... Beef? It's supposed to be a sign of a good stream right there. Yeah, because the, the conversation aspect is uh, actually entertaining on its own merit with with your stuff. You never know what we're going to talk about. You know what I mean? Like, um, I, we've talked we about either. Bigfoot, conspiracies, cannibals. That's normal. Um, what else? Uh... Fun with food. Maple syrup, fun with food. Playboys. Playboys. Boner pills. Boner pills. Oh, boner pills. That's, that's pretty normal. Maple, oh, maple syrup. syrup. Maple syrup pills to make your poop smell good. Yep. Oh, to oh, make your poop smell good. Good. That's what it's for. Look, it smells like waffles in here, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me want to go ahead and put Dude, maple syrup. hang on. I'm, I'm writing that down. That's good for cringe pony. <laughs> like I got, like imagine like a commercial where a guy walks into the bathroom, like his wife is leaving, and he's walking, and he's like, oh. "Ew!" <laughs> <laughs> it's like waffles oh my God. in here. 
<laughs> waffles. It's like, honey, you make a waffle? She's like, no, honey, I just took a poop with my new maple syrup tablets. You're welcome. Hey, don't forget to write down the Cannibal Dad Haiti vacation. And then, oh, I'm, yes. and then I'm gonna show a guy dancing in maple syrup, pouring down his entire body because Dimos is on this show. Oh, no. Deleted. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> He's never seen again. And if I can't find the oh, video, I'll record it forever. myself. I'll record it my dang self, you know? I'll look into it right now. You gotta trick see if you need to buy a into getting a green screen and <laughs> make it him with maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just wait till we have like a big studio one day, you know? And I, me and Steve will secretly get a trap door in the ceiling made with maple syrup in it. And we'll get Dime Loose on the podcast. Oh it's gonna be like Nickelodeon. <laughs> be like Nickelodeon. <laughs> He'll get slimed with maple syrup. <laughs> no, I would never Dimos do never that. talks to us again. I would never do that. Dimos is so over. He's like, God. He's like, damn it, I feel <laughs> like crap in the water. Anything. I would never do that to you, Dime Loose. This is even crazier that time that he killed his friend over the Nintendo 64. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the hardwood carpet, dude. <laughs> oh, on the carpet. <laughs> oh, Olsen just subscribed with Prime, and we're going to go to the city. But before we go to the city, we're going to celebrate that brand new sub on Twitch. Thank you, Olsen. Oh, oh. Two months. He's on a two-month streak, which is pretty good because that's how long I've been on Twitch. So that's pretty good. All right, let's, let's celebrate that sub real quick. All right, we're back, and now let me take you to the city, Olsen. Let me take you to the city now. Here we go. <laughs> we're moving to the city. First I'm gonna, then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna grab you by your. No, most people do. I'm only <laughs> laughing. By the way, is that bothering you? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, in in Downless's defense, it's not as bad as the lady who's afraid of pickles or balloons. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. Like balloons. No, I feel like this is a fairly normal thing. I'm not gonna. I, mean, like, I, I, I hate having sticky stuff I on my too. fingers too. So I get. I don't that like aspect of it. Oh, 100%. we got another I prime sub. Thank you, boss. I don't really Thank you, boss. Like having, like, Dried dirt on my fingers, like, like you know, like, yeah, I don't like anything on my, yeah, anything, no, it just it doesn't belong there, it should not be there. the worst. I mean, is I can, like, I can handle it. The worst is gorilla glue. Oh, you ever had gorilla glue stuck on your fingers? You can't oh, feel, yeah, yeah. you can't you feel with it. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. I had so a much. friend that <laughs> song, this, this. <laughs> Sorry about that. I actually interrupted him. Thank you for the uh, prime sub, boss. Okay, so what was the story now, Gula? Sorry about that. I had a friend who uh, had a purebred Dalmatian mm. that he paid tons and tons of money for this dog. And the dog was very hyperactive. And the dog broke it through the backyard into his garage and ate an entire bucket oh. of Gorilla Glue. Oh my, oh my gosh! gosh. Wow. And he survived? They they, yeah, yeah, yeah. He survived. So they took the dog to the vet. He had to spend like $6,000 or something. Oh my gosh. Take the, the do surgery to take the gorilla glue out. They took $6, the gorilla $6, glue out, and it was like a giant ball of gorilla glue. And they gave it to him. Wow. And he took it home and left it on his table. And he came home from work, and the dog was chewing on Oh the my dog. gosh! <laughs> dude, what is that dog likes oh. that gorilla glue, dude? That, He's it into it. 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 $6,000? I just would have not had a dog. I would have had a dead that's, dog. Dude, that's, that's exactly me. me. Yeah, I would not. Dude, I would be dead. If I ate that and they wanted six grand, I'd be lucky enough. 
That's crazy. Well, I would not allow that to happen. But I'm not I kidding. It was like, do you, you guys really know cool. those the the buckets of gorilla glue I'm talking about? Like, yeah, this yeah. was not a small amount of gorilla glue. Right. Like, this yeah, the big ate, one. Like, pounds of gorilla. Glue. On a lighter note, I, I there is a video on the internet, Nathan, of a guy with maple syrup pouring it on on himself with a while he's speaking in a Canadian accent. <laughs> And this does not look pleasant. I'm like, I'm not a phobic of maple syrup, but this seems like punishment. Mm. I might you know do it myself. You should try then. and find, try and find a guy covered in maple syrup singing opera. Oh. See, I, I need, I need the video to be he's enjoying it, you know? Because this is a commercial for maple syrup pills. You know what I'm saying? So you can't be disgusted by it you know i don't think he's the set of it like you could be like oh yeah you could pick some frames and say like oh yeah this is this is good he's not like barfing he's just he's into it <laughs> he's into it it just doesn't look very pleasant is he wearing a speedo and is that how we know he's into it just wondering you know he's in the shower and i can't really see what's you know, I just know okay, that he's at least top. I was going in a different direction with my thoughts. I apologize. <laughs> you know, you're right. That's the real place to look. Pornhub. Oh, boy. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> now, you can definitely find it there. That is true. There's definitely some stuff going on there. You just have to do some artistic uh... <laughs> edits. Edit. You know, it's so yeah. wild to go to a website like this when you're not in the mood. It's like... Or you know what else you could try? AI generated art. AI generated, yeah. That would for sure do it. Yeah. And then it's not real, oh, so you know, like, Dimos doesn't have to think about that somebody really did that, you know? With the right program, you can actually use real photos of, of Dimelos. And yeah, make you it could take Dimelos' face oh. and be like, give us a, a Dimelos and a mankini covered in maple syrup. I would never do oh that to Dimelos. I would never do that. Yeah, look. It's not I have to repeat this. <laughs> this is this video is called Canadian Maple Syrup Slut. Well, we, need, just, we just need a quick has, video. We need a quick a video wiener. for the cringe pony skit of Dimeless just like taking some random brown pill and be like, even I can have maple syrup now. <laughs> the master pH is up. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah, that would be good. How do you feel about that? Today? Uh, yeah, sure. It could sure. be like an ibuprofen, you know? I mean, you're not the only person suffering from this affliction. You can't be. But now you have the opportunity to be the spokesman for others suffering with the same affliction. Yeah, that's what we can do. And there actually is all kind of health benefits to maple, like it's rich in antioxidants, supports oh. immune system, aids in digestive health, improves skin health, and more. Dang. One of you skinners should skin this paradigm. Sorry I'm not for the scared. Also, uh, there's another video where this lady is rubbing maple syrup all over Ghibli's. Doesn't look very pleasant. Studio Ghibli's? <laughs> yeah, Studio yeah. Ghibli's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was... <laughs> That's definitely what he meant. That, you found that on Pornhub? Talking about her bops? Yeah, on the Pornhub. Bops on the Pornhub? Uh, not the bops. Does she have a On the bips. On the pits. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys. Pipples <laughs> in bits. Steve just left. Oh, Olsen. Olsen wanted to go to the city <laughs> twice. I'm so sorry, Olsen. I didn't see that. Uh, let me take you back to oh the city. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I'm a dog with the bone. I'm saying rough, rough. Let me give it to you, baby. It will never be enough. Let me put my lips up to your ear. Let me tell you something, dear. First I'm gonna eat, then I'm gonna out. Yeah, we do. All right, we're back. Speaking of what you were saying earlier, uh, when I did that song, Perf City USA, I, it was just some random crap that I just BS'd that I did not think that people were going to like it. It's, it's not even like really. That's how it is. I usually really sing about pervy stuff. Right. No, but it's the shit. It just is. It's got a great beat. 
just it's funny. a really good beat, and I told him that as soon as I heard it, I was like, this is like my favorite song you've ever made. Like, this is really good. Uh, <laughs> okay. And it is because of the mixture of the beats. It's also the way that you do it, and I'm not going to lie. In the newest one, um, in Disgusting Things, or, uh, you know, whatever you want to call that one, the newest one, when we first finally... First I'm gonna. First I'm gonna. When we finally get to hear the voice of the lady start singing, that that killed me all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, right? It never gets old. It's something like about the way it. you sing that. It sounds kind of like, like a... Yes. Like a... It reminds me of Tool for some reason. <laughs> That's amazing. I just can't ever get like the I'm gonna grab you by the arm. <laughs> it's just on we'll just, like, repeat in my brain forever. We'll just like I'm a dog with a bone. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god! Like you, 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 I love it. It's good lyrics, you know. <laughs> I shouldn't have to feel bad for wanting to go to brown town, you know, like, it's just good, it's good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's just good. It's just damn good. Man, you know what, now that I remember, we're gonna be listening to that when we're in the car tomorrow. My daughter, her girl, and I. Oh boy. And we are gonna be fucking rocking it. That's all I <laughs> That's hilarious to imagine. We should have been imagine. rocking it today, but tomorrow, it's on. All the ums and the uhs leave so much to the imagination. It's true. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. It lets it's you. It's so simple, but so complex at the same time. Yeah, you can imagine. You can feel the passion in the in the mm, in the uhs. You know, like you you know you know. Mm, uh, yeah. It's so good. I'm gonna shut up now. But Steve, you should just tell us. It's it's kind of like maple syrup. It's just really smooth but sticky at the same time, and just sweet. And... Can't get enough, you know. Exactly. Oh man. I have to admit, I have to admit that I remember a vivid memory one time of like eating a bunch of waffles and pancakes or something, right? Congrats, Lucky Man. Congrats. Yay. And then I remember going to the bathroom before I washed my hands and getting you know all stickied up. I remember that happening one time, and my fingers, <laughs> my fingers wouldn't come loose. I had to like peel them off. Bang. Peel your fingers off? What? I, no, I had to what peel them off of it. You know, like they were sticking to it, so I had to like. Okay. I'm you know sorry. what I'm saying? Uh oh, girls didn't. Like KFC style. Yeah. I do remember yeah. that happening one time, and it was like no. I was in public, like I was like like at Waffle House or something, so I could wash my hands. And then I had to walk around with this, you know, sticky down there for the rest of the day until I got back Do you guys home. think that chicken wings tossed in maple syrup would be good? Oh, yeah. God, yeah. A little heat yeah. I mean, Lon John oh, yeah. Silvers does that. Lon John Silvers does it. They do? Maple yeah. wings? <laughs> they have a wings they, but No, not wings. Just their chicken. Just their chicken. They have a maple <laughs> chicken, though? Yeah, that's what they use to get the batter to stick. Oh. Uh. Oh, I see what's going on here. Yeah. <laughs> How about this though? Instead of like, cause bad, cause like bathering an entire like wing in maple syrup, that's a that's a decision, that's yeah. a commitment. A, yeah. But if you like hardened out some maple syrup and like made it more of like a sprinkling on, I think that'd be that'd be pretty good. I was just wondering because I could maybe I could try selling that because I'd never seen anyone do that. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, you should try it. See if I'm like, I'm going to sell this now. Because I started doing wings this week. And there's a bunch of different flavors you can get of them. But that would be a, a unique flavor to have. Uh, Joe a on YouTube. Wing. Joe on YouTube, actually on YouTube, is asking, does Mid-City Grill have a jukebox? Do we need to get the album on there? Mid-City oh. Grill originally does not have a jukebox. Um, <clears throat> I have to, unfortunately... Play. Oh God! Sorry, I'm choking. Please don't die. That? Um, I have to. Play. <laughs> I can only play music oh. that I pay to license and have uh, permission to right. play in right. the public. It's really annoying. Yeah, but you have permission to play your your music. That is true, but I am a little bit worried about how the customers would feel about that yeah. music. Yeah. Yeah. Especially it, over at the Kingsport location. It'd have to be, <laughs> it'd have to be like, nobody else is Late around but only. people he knew, you know. You might, you could probably get away with it in your Johnson City location, though, to be honest. 
Yeah, I could at, at like at light if I just snuck in there in the light night and put it on. We used to put weird stuff on, and that's before yeah. Steve owned it, so it might be feel a little different now. But back when we didn't own it, we would uh, we would put some weird stuff that we made on the. It would just be in the middle of normal songs, and then randomly play some weird thing we made. Yeah, I used to do a lot of stuff there. That now that I own it, I would yeah. probably not ever do it right, again. <laughs> right, right, right. Funny how that happens, huh? Dude, were you, weren't you there that night when? I'm pretty sure you were there. I think you were cooking that night, and I was I was having to do a delivery, and we were just bored, and we made up some fake dessert and included it with the meal, and the guy got <laughs> freaking pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't even make anything gross. We just no. made up a fake thing that he didn't order that was like a banana with, like, chocolate syrup and, like, whipped cream yeah, on it. Yeah, and we tried to make it look all cool. Okay. And the he guy was like, got what pissed. the hell is this supposed to be? I didn't order he this. thought we were making fun of him or something. Yeah. I was he... like, dude, we were just joking around. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I do remember that. You can actually eat it. It's safe. It's we made it look fun. good. We, like, did the chocolate, you know, like, all swirly down the whole thing and put some whipped cream all perfectly aligned with the uh, banana. But somehow the guy thought it meant, like, something sexual or something. We weren't even... That yeah. Maybe was he not... was mad. Closet. He was coming to tell the owner. It's like okay, what? whatever. I am it's not, a fucking. It's not like we gave him Cholet. I don't know if you remember Cholet, Nathan. I do remember Cholet. I can't believe we did that. That's <laughs> not nice. What do you do? What do you do? We made a food, so it was one of those work things where everybody brings a dish, right? Oh yeah, potluck. We didn't know how to cook. We're freaking like you know, nineteen-year-old dudes who ate ramen noodle and stuff. You know what I mean? Like we didn't know how oh, to no, cook. No, 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 dude. I'm talking about the show lay, the de the dessert we made. Yeah, yeah. It was for the. It was for the. No, what, dude. Am we I just wrong? made this and gave it to the students. Oh, I thought Remember? we brought it. Oh, okay. Well, my memory's wrong. I thought we brought it Pis for the staff. This is at Pisgah Manor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we made it for the staff. Well, anyway, it was a disgusting... Dude, it had cigarette butts in it. <laughs> it had everything we no, could no, find. No. You're getting it confused with the casserole that we made at oh, Wendell. Oh, okay, what was the chalet then? I don't remember. Chalet was casserole. where we just took tons of... Div and, like, it wasn't, un it wasn't oh, stuff it, like It was butts. sanitary. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was it like was whole bananas with the peel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just there's coffee grounds. Coffee there grounds. Was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little food we could find laying around. We just blended it all into a big thing and then put red food coloring it and whipped cream on it and said it was a dessert called Cholet. <laughs> yeah, some of them liked People, it. People, I know, dude. Some of them that one guy it. got sick immediately though. Yeah, he took one. Like, he took like one drink and was like. <laughs> <laughs> It was one of those things where immediately after they started eating it, we were like, maybe we shouldn't have did this. <laughs> but keep in mind, we were like 18 at the time, yeah. so we were basically still high schoolers and that for somehow some got put into a position of power in a workplace management. over 14-year-olds. Yeah. So we did pranks. Which in retrospect, I cannot believe that they were like, yeah, let's let these guys handle everything. Yeah, because we were openly ridiculous. This is the same job where they were like, guys, we're going to try to look more professional. We need everybody start wearing ties. ties. <laughs> so me and Steve bought baby ties. And they were like all little like me. See though, that's why they loved you. They're like, let's promote you know? these guys. That's amazing. It's funny because they did love us because they thought we were hilarious. Yeah, that is why, yeah. But we also did really good job. Yeah, we worked hard. Yeah. Simultaneously. I, know, I, I attempted, um, they got that. Yeah, we did work hard. Thank you. We're from the last generation to have a good work ethic. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. The, well, the Maybe secret is the secret is you have good en you have a good enough work ethic to where they don't want to lose you, and they're willing to put up with the things that are absurd because you have a good work ethic. You know what I mean? I feel like I had a good work ethic starting out. And it, it did me well, honestly, over time to have a good work ethic. Yeah. But I feel like the main reason that I even had one was just so I could get away with being so ridiculous at right. work. Right, right. I feel like that was the, the main reason why. It wasn't to be successful or anything like that. 
<laughs> it's just like do absurd stuff and not get fired. Well, you know how it is when you're young, too? Like, when you're really young, and, you know, there are places where this is 100% true. I'm not trying to invalidate everywhere. But when you're really young, you feel like, no matter where you work, you feel like you're not going to ever be given a chance. You know what I mean? You have this internal feeling that the world is against you and there's no way that you're going to be able to get ahead in life. You know what I mean? I'm talking about when you're first out of high school. At least that's how I felt when I was like, first hit the workplace. I didn't, it just didn't feel like you could move up. You know what I mean? Like only people who knew somebody or um, whatever would actually get the good jobs. You know what I mean? Yeah, it did feel like that for a long time. And it may have been true at some places, but as you get older, you start to realize, oh, if I learn new skills and show that I can do things and et cetera, then, you know, I can have opportunities. You know what I mean? It almost it almost feels like it's like the sooner you get into working jobs where your leadership isn't also children, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets a little better. It does, yeah. It does. They're always the ones doing that favorite stuff, like, oh, this is my blah, 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 so I'm going to promote them over this guy who bust his ass. Yeah. All, however, the, the last call center I ever worked in, right before I bought Mid-City, because I, I did a brief, like, year and a half at a call center right before I bought Mid-City, and usually at call centers, I, like, move up really fast. I have tons of experience in them, so it's like I'm, a, like, an obvious higher i can probably go to any call center and get a job immediately if i wanted to and this last place i worked at was crazy because it was all about just promoting the girls that the managers wanted to sleep with oh, that was the boy. only motivation for promotion there and i was like oh my man i can't take this place no more wow I actually quit when this girl who sat right beside me every day for a year and instead of taking calls would be on Snapchat talking to her friends all day got promoted over me. And I was like, all right, that's it. I'm done here. Forget wow. this place. Yeah. Yeah, there is some places where dirty stuff happens for sure. And this is at Citibank. Wow. But anyway. Allegedly. Allegedly, story. YouTube. Allegedly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Allegedly. Citibank USA, the really realest bank of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they act like. This video is going to get banned now. You'll be DMCA'd by Shitty Bank. <laughs> <laughs> like, it turns out you're not allowed to say the word Citibank in a video without permission. <laughs> they own the rights to the name, after all. We're probably going to get to that point one day. Yeah, we will. Thanks, Tipper Gore. <laughs> Tipper Gore. Could you imagine a future where it's like, man, I fucking went in McDonald's and I hear it. Bang. You did not get permission to say McDonald's. McDonald's does not endorse this message. <laughs> this video is deleted. <laughs> If they ever delete Ronald McFondle, I'm disappearing from the internet forever. That's it. I'm done. That's like my favorite cringe pony skit, I think, of all time right now. That Ronald McFondle skit, I've watched it like a hundred times because it cracks me up every single time. I'll be like showing it to everybody, but like, check this out. Un unprepared what they're about to see at all. He's talking about chicken nuggets, Gloria. That's my favorite, but he's like, perverted. He's talking about chicken nuggets, Gloria. That's <laughs> hilarious. That was so awesome. He's like, that old note sounds a little perverted to me. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna suck the skin right off those nuggets or whatever he says. Dude. <laughs> that guy, the, it, it's the it, and it's the guy too. The guy giving the presentation. That's the the most hilarious yeah. thing about it to me. This, <laughs> it's like that was a, a low brainwave, idiot view. Low well, IQ. Good. It was a low brainwave, low IQ answer. Yeah, yeah. Jensen. Oh, man. This is pretty much calling everyone stupid. <laughs> Ronald McFondle. Too funny. 
It really was genius. No, but I could release that as a member's video. I probably should. I'll do that. Got one here, Nick. That one. Oh, yeah, it wanders up. Are we supposed to be getting these notes, by the way? No. no. Okay. You know you asked the same thing like an hour ago. <laughs> Did I? That was me. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Well, it I'm was mad. it was heard and answered, but Nathan didn't hear any of that. No, he was busy. He was he was busy being distracted by something else. I was probably <laughs> gathering up this evidence for Daimlers. <laughs> evidence, probably. <laughs> I mean, I was probably looking at syrup videos too, so. Yeah, this, another ad? I noticed Mr. C went no, to Cornhub and been at us. very silent for a while now. Okay, hang on, I'll. Oh, you got it. Oh, dude, I just realized something amazing that I can do. I, I I'm, I'm like in the early stages of buying a house. Right? Okay, nice. And, uh,. I'm gonna start asking my realtor. I'm gonna be like, if you can, see if you can find me a place with nice hardwood carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Every time they send me a listing, I'll be like, does it have hardwood carpet? <laughs> does it have to have hardwood carpet? No, yes. but it would be nice. But I, listen, I've heard that like, you know, yeah, I've heard that crime evidence can kind of be ignored on hardwood carpet, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to collect evidence from it. My realtor is going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> but like, this guy's crazy. They'll just probably start telling me, like, yes, it has beautiful hardwood carpet. My, uh, my sister does... My sister's a realtor. I don't know if you knew that, Steve. Um, I, I actually did know that. I sort of haven't thought about that, but I did know that. Yeah, so she, um, she used to run her own salon um and it was very it was it was doing great but she just wanted out of that business uh, so she sold that she sold it and became a realtor because it's more like she's more free now you know what i'm saying um she kind of likes it yeah, better in those videos but she uh she sold a house to a lady because somebody had been murdered there like the blood was still you could like it was like coming through the paint they tried to paint over and stuff and that's the lady bought the house because of that like that was how she sold it to her because that's what she was into like she told her she wanted like a crime scene house and so interesting she so found you get those cheap her. cheaper yeah this lady he paid premium price for it though crazy because that's what she wanted she's like oh, she want, yeah. did she want a haunted house or something she's a ghost hunter <laughs> she apparently she writes i don't know if she's like famous probably not right but she writes stories about crime you know what do they call that true crime yeah. and she wanted to live in a house where it happened she said it would you know help her uh stimulate stimulate the stories Knowing that she lived where something had happened, you know. Man, why were oh, the crazy? stories? <laughs> yeah. Wild. All right, everybody, come over here. Click this book. Open book on this bench right here. Scroll in the front of the the Arch Lector's right. Precepts. A quick glance tells you some kind of manifesto about the Cabal's intentions to use Ember to take revenge on New Haven. This would be worth bringing to Gala Nomen. Alright, back to the ramp. Pumpkin Man. Does whatever a pumpkin can. <laughs> That's so <laughs> scary. Pulling to here. This is kind of a crazy little place to be at the bottom of a dungeon. Yeah. It's their secret hideout. Like the top. Well, the top of the bottom, I guess. It goes farther down. I mean, we came up a ramp. So, like, in FD2, this is, like, the highest area. Is it, like, inside of a mountain? 
think it's underground. Yeah, it is. You immediately go underground when you go to Forgotten Depths. It's like in a cave. Hmm. There's a ladder going down that people fall off and die all the time. <laughs> first time I ever Pleading came me. here, we came in. Yep. First time I ever came into the zone was was with you. And, uh, yeah. It's like snipe hunting. It's a rite of passion. Or pa Look at those cabals. Rite of, rite of passion. I like that. Oh my God. <laughs> a rite of passion. Yeah. Late. A ride of passion? Or that sounds like a Nessa. No, that's a ride of passion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what okay. I meant. Oh, okay. Just making sure. We're on the same page here. Right and ride. Common, mm -hmm. commonly, specially, specially after X-Men went off back when I was a kid. And it would say, up next, Ghost Rider. And I'm like, oh, sick. <laughs> this is awesome. Ghost Rider. And it'd be yeah, Ghost same, Writer, like a stupid little hand yeah. that writes notes. Gotcha. First off, that show was great, too. No, -uh. It made me mad. It made it me mad. Off. I turned it off every time. It had an it awesome... Trick me every week. Song. I thought Ghost Rider was coming on like, yeah. Marvel. Yeah, because X-Men, you're in the mood. And so every week, I would fall for it. It'd be like, Ghost Rider, up next. And I'd be like, oh, this is awesome. And then that stupid show would come on. They so... solved mysteries. Dude, nobody cares about that. Yeah, but it wasn't. Dude, I watched Murder She Wrote for that. <laughs> right, Angela Lansbury. We don't need no stupid ghost with gl Mickey Mouse gloves. Nobody cares. <laughs> when I was a kid, I found a VHS that said how to spell, and when I put it in, I was very disappointed when they were teaching me how to spell words and not how to cast magic spells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's like the porn I put in. That was my mom and my stepfather. Oh, Cinderella. Mm. It was not Cinder fucking Rella. Oh, that it used to be. They, it was they... actually Cinder fucking Rella, not regular. Yeah, yeah, Cinderella. it was Cinder fucking Rella. You're absolutely right. right. Yes. <laughs> it wasn't the. They had taped Cinderella. over it. They taped over Cinderella. Is that what no, happened? No, no, no. It was actually Cinderella, the porn. Oh, it was the the triple X version. I thought you meant it was yeah. actually your parents filmed themselves. Was it spelled like oh, S I N? God, no. Thank God, no. Like Cinderella. I can't remember. I think it was, but I think my mom did it with the, you know, because you know how you have your VHS. They'd put Skinamax on. They'd record it. They're the porn that way. Right. Her. Can't imagine where I got it from, but anyway, and uh, yeah, Curve City USA. It was Curve City USA, Cinderella. baby. Cinderella. And it was in the VH, you know, S cassette doc that we had for all of our movies. And I was like, oh, cool, Cinderella, I'm going to watch it. No what movie. was the part like with the stepsisters, the, the ugly stepsisters? Well, it's funny you mention it because that's the first, like, scene. They take, they come in, they bitch a Cinderella for some shit. I don't really quite remember. And then they take their tops off. Are they ugly? They're not. Probably exactly. not. Oh, they're not? But they're not hideous. I mean, it's a porn. They got that butter face. I just want to see how much they were really trying. Like, what about I mean, the it's scene? it's still out there. It's, I actually, I googled it um, a few months were ago. They were bushy? they bushy? I don't like Bushy? I mean, it was the 80s. Bush. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I sure they know, were. I don't know, they only showed the boobies. They didn't show the, the other. Oh, it was Skinamax. So. Right, 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 right. What was yeah, the was scene like with the glass slipper? I didn't watch it, Steve. I'm sorry. I did not. As soon as the boobies came flopping out, and they were pretty natural boobies, as soon as those came flopping out, I was like, oh my god, this is not Cinderella. You I should mean, have at it least is... watched it to see the scene where the prince fights Maleficent in dragon form. I bet That's you. Sleeping Beauty. I bet you it wasn't a shoe. Wrong... I bet you it wasn't a shoe. It was we know Cinderella booty. sucked anyway. It might have been made out of glass. But I bet you it was Cinderella wasn't a is the slipper, right? Oh, is it? Yeah, Cinderella it is, is the slipper. Cinderella yeah. is yeah. the and slipper. And turn into a pumpkin. Okay. At least I got that right. The pumpkin carriage thing and all that. Oh, I bet it would have well, a pumpkin man in it instead. <laughs> well, like, I bet you're right. <laughs> well, the thing is, and I don't know if this is, you know, if this is against things today, but the fairy godmother was a gay man. I do remember that, but I only knew that <laughs> because I remember hearing oh, them boy. watch it one night. I'm like, oh my god, mm. that's what this is. I was eight years old. I knew what a gay man was. I, was like, I just, you know, right, yeah. Just, 
you know, and the... But my peers in the town I grew up with did not. But that's another story. We'll Meanwhile, me, Nathan, and probably Steve and anyone else in here were like, man, like, what's underneath a woman's clothing? Probably just, like, smooth. <laughs> yeah, probably yeah. smooth. Like the Barbie yeah. doll. It's probably like the Barbie I thought maybe at worst it would be Sebastian the Crab, but that's it. No, Steve thought it was uh, some kind of tulip creature. Monster. Oh, yeah, that is true. That is actually true. Yeah, I was like, true. what in the world? of, you know, vaginas now. I definitely do not have a phobia of them, I'll just go ahead and admit. Okay. I, I'm just... Or I'm two lips. Really I mean, we all came out of one. <laughs> two lips. Uh, yeah, well, my daughter didn't. Oh, true. Well, Some people did it. I mean. True, true. Did you shat her out? She had I the... She potentially out. could have, though. Well, I tried. <laughs> I tried my damnedest for her, too. Let me tell you what. She was stuck. She was caught, actually. So, yeah, it didn't, didn't happen. I tried. She was at least close, though. There's an archer. He's kind of hitting the healers. She wasn't even close, but she had a very brief... Yeah, I've been I've been missing it, spending it. Uh, I died again. Oh, uh, she she had a very bruised head. She was not Ooh. moving down Dang. the shoot. So that'd be scary. So Crinkled looked up that movie, by the way. He looked up the wiki yeah, history it's, on it. It's like 1979 or something. The Cinderella. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's now we know. One. I, I I actually have to admit some. I actually did watch that movie just for the story. <laughs> just for the story. I wanted to uh -huh. see the part where the little uh -huh. birds like were hanging up and doing stuff with her. <laughs> oh boy. The birds. I think there are birdies. There was the original. I think there should have been some singing happening too. I think this was the kind of budget, because this was the 70s, where the best they could do was maybe a couple of dresses outside in a garden, and that's all you got. I just wanted to see the pumpkin carriage ride. <laughs> well, wait till you see what they did with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Steve, I just now got a flashback of that time. I think you were there for this, that we played a prank on that guy who fell asleep at the party, and we had we had a fake bird for some reason. You know, like, that's used as, like, a decoration? You guys know what I'm talking about? They look really realistic, yeah. and they're, like, made out of what seems to be real feathers and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a fake taxidermy bird, right? We, for some reason, we have one of those. I don't know why we had that. But we, we had tons of those, too, at my grandmother's house. That, that's probably why we had it. Claws. Probably from my grandma's house. That's probably his well. But we stuck it on the couch <laughs> with its beak right above his eyeball. So that when he woke up, he would stab himself. Oh, no. <laughs> it was like our version of, of Saul. <laughs> yeah. Dude, your grandma was about the elephants, I remember. Yeah, oh yeah. There's Should... like elephant lands. Elephant fountains. <laughs> yeah, elephant and egg sandwiches. And egg Dude, sandwiches, the yep. egg sandwich, I, that, that... Republicans. <laughs> For real about the egg sandwiches. That was like a 100% chance you were going to get offered an egg sandwich when you went 100%, there. 100%, yep. I should have bought eggs. I want an egg sandwich. That's a lot, man. So wait, this was basically just two pieces of bread and a fried egg, and that was. <laughs> no, she would put like she would put like a little bit of mayonnaise on it, um, you know, maybe toast the bread if you wanted it that way. I'd at least put some like maple syrup on. <laughs> some salt and pepper, you know, a little seasoning. No, we are not supposed to. No, hate they're egg great. Sandwiches. Egg sandwiches rules. Her, her, his grandma's egg sandwiches. I mean, I know, I know it's just an egg sandwich. But they were good. But... They were good. Yeah, they were good. I would always be like, heck, yeah, I want an egg sandwich. <laughs> They'd be a little oily, you know what I'm saying? Not like overly, but like just right. Yeah, like butter. Oh, yeah, right. some butter so on there. Use mayo for the... Uh-oh. Oh, I've got a new story about mayo. You guys ready? Oh, my gosh. A brand new no. story. This just happened. Nobody in my family knows this. I was in the mood for some oatmeal cookies. And just to see if it could be done... Oatmeal and raisin cookies are my favorite. So I was in the mood for them. I was like, you know what? I'm not, you know, I'm too lazy to go out. I look like crap. I don't want to go somewhere and buy oatmeal and raisin cookies. I can make them myself. We got the ingredients. But I knew the next day, I forgot what it was. My wife was making something, and I was afraid there wouldn't be enough butter for whatever it was she was making the next day, right? 
So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to use mayonnaise instead of butter for these oatmeal cookies. Guess what? Smash hit. My, my... You say play amazing, huh? They were really good. My son brought over his friends. They were all eating them. Like, every cookie was gone. And I made a bunch. Um, every cookie was gone in, like, 12 hours. Just obliterated. You gotta remember, we were sleeping through eight of them. It was in the middle of the night. Mayonnaise. No butter. I believe it. I mean, Delicious. mayonnaise is amazing. I'm telling you, you can, really replace, you can replace butter and mayonnaise in any ingredient. It is delicious. It works. Like chocolate mayonnaise cake. My grandmother, that's what used to, my grandma used to make me every birthday. Chocolate mayonnaise cake and peanut butter frosting. Oh, my sweet mother of God. You got a mob uh, patrol coming down the ramp. If you look up the recipe for oatmeal raisin cookies, there's a lot of butter. It's like two sticks, however much that is. I don't remember now, but two sticks, whatever that is. Two cups. Two cups. I there believe, you go. I believe one stick is. Two. So I had no, two maybe, cups no, of mayonnaise. Maybe it's, cup. maybe it's one cup. Maybe it's one cup. I don't remember. One lump or two? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure y'all like two. Well, Maynard's. So, I don't know if you know this or not, but, like, um, bras are, like, kind of, in many ways, kind of, like, you know, number one, they're not comfortable, right? For the most bras? part. Bras? Bras, right? They're not comfortable okay. for women, you know? No, first it comes yeah, up I never I met know. anybody who loves how they feel yeah. so far. They like, like, it's pretty typical, like, a man gets home from a long day, takes his shoes off. You know what I'm saying? Woman gets home from a long day at work, takes her bra off. You know what I mean? Yep. It's a relief. Like, yeah. It's a relief. So probably everybody here knows that, but what maybe you didn't know is that it feels much better to be held up by hands, okay? Because <laughs> if they got big ones, then, like, it gets kind of, like, you know, it, like, gets kind of hot under there on the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what I'm thinking here is, is we hire people to be boob holders, and they mm -hmm. just walk around behind the woman all day, holding them for her. I'd be happy to do that. I think I think the, <laughs> I think we could get the applications in and fill this role for every woman quickly. You know. So is this a cringe skit? Because I think it's perfect. It is. It seems like a paid position. This is a paid position. Oh. You already have. Do I have to live in Perth City? It doesn't pay a lot, but you got to understand that the experience is worth. A lot, right? It's so it should be really hard to do, man. <laughs> yeah, you'd have really to hard. you'd have to learn her pace. <laughs> you know what hard. I mean? Unintended. You have to like it would be better if I think if you got like maybe a little person hired to do it and they could like be in a backpack. Oh, oh, Just this hold is good them up for you. Well, we'll have. But then I don't know that, and that might end up be, at, at the end of the day that, that might be more uncomfortable than wearing a bra. Yeah, the around. backpack. I'd probably wear a bra. Yeah, the backpack, really yeah. What if out. what if she was a little person? Could I carry her around on like one of those baby carrier things on my chest? Oh, maybe. If she was little. Yeah. If she's up for but it. But I feel know. like not all women would be into having no. a dwarf no. person. This isn't mandatory. Or probably any person in reality. Yeah, this but is But some people would probably pay high money. Right. They would pay. Right? That's true, that's true. You could pay extra for that feature. Yeah, exactly. Grab him by the arm. Uh, you was it how, Duke's like, Mayo? <laughs> I think so, but I'm not 100%. I think it was. I'm not Duke's 100%. Mayo is the bomb. It is the best. That's the one we usually buy, but I'm not 100% on that. Do they have Duke's up there? Yeah. Wow, really? Yep. Wow, that Dude, surprises me. We actually I've never seen it outside the South, I feel stuff. like. We actually have because a I... lot of products up here. Uh, we got Louisiana products. I haven't seen any other state for some reason or wow. pretty well available up here. It's pretty odd. That surprises me, dude. Like, B Montana, you can't get Dukes. And my stepmom's always like, oh, man, uh, we can't get no Dukes. It is the best. See, I've heard of Dukes, but I've never been able to find it. It's it, Wow, they have Dukes in Arizona, too. I guess it's really getting spread out. It's getting dude. spread out, yeah. Dukes mayonnaise? Like mayo. Yeah, Dukes mayonnaise. It's, it's pretty mayonnaise. awesome mayonnaise. A lot of those brands that are really good are starting to spread their wings. Like Oots potato chips, for example. That used to be, you know, like... Only like in Louisiana, yeah, Florida, 
Uts. Oots. That's so funny because we just passed an Uts uh, like plant today. That I had no idea it was here. Yeah, they've spread like, oh, out. They're I everywhere now. There. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> all of the products. You used to you only be able to get ramp? cheer wine in Let's the Carolinas. Oh, or, I, love I wish I could get oh, cheer wine here. Carolina. That's good. I'm going to go run around and grab the chest. I like that. What's that other one, Steve? What's the What's the Tennessee one that's so good? I love it. They got a cherry and they got a regular. And there was that rumor that it was made out of Oh, Doctor Enough. Doctor Enough. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, that stuff's awesome, actually. I like it because it's unique. We don't have unique sodas. You know what I mean? Now, when they want to be unique, they're like, ah, it's got cherry in it. Yeah. Make a new flavor. Come on. Or they, or they make some insane flavor oh, that like, like Coke that's does disgusting. lately, like space flavored. Man. Yeah. Whatever. Millennium flavored. Like, okay. What's that? Have you seen those, like, ranch flavored sodas and Ugh. bacon flavored sodas? Oh, oh Jones soda? That. Where you can get, like, turkey soda? Yeah. They're not, they're not Jones. They're by some oh. this asshole. And he just makes a bunch of... Hold on. I'll find the name of the guy. <clears throat> asshole? He's an asshole. I don't... I never he an asshole? Him. I, well, I don't know if he particularly is an asshole, but on how he runs his soda business, I think he's an asshole. He's an asshole. Kind of like... You know, Bezos is an asshole and how he runs them. I know I shouldn't probably say that. Canceled. Canceled. Well, it's the truth. This one of these streams is on Twitch right now. <laughs> yeah, we love uh, Bezos. Oh my yeah. goodness! Yeah. It's okay. Just canceled. It's just Lester's fixins. Lester's fixin' sodas. Lester's fixins, boys. Come on down and try my bacon sodas. <laughs> Let me see if I can find this whole lineup because it's pretty it's pretty amazing. Cinnamon Coke Luscious. was good? I did not try that. They've done so uh, many bad yeah. flavors that I don't try new Coke products I'm anymore. I'm scared too. I'm just going to stick with cherry Coke. Dude, they have a cherry buffalo Coke. wing soda. Oh, oh wow. Yep, yep. Buffalo wing soda. I heard I all the that. sodas are not good. I heard all of the sodas are just not good. I mean, look at the flavors. Dude, they have a maple syrup soda. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. like the only decent flavor out of all of them. They got cucumber <laughs> soda. I'll try PB cucumber. Sweet. Cucumber's such a PB light &J, flavor. So it's, weird. it's weird to pick cucumber as a flavor. It's got a flavor, but it's very light. You know they what even I'm did a Gatorade of cucumber not that long ago. Really? I would try it. I like to put cucumber I'd... in my water. I'm not a cucumber I fan, like personally. Cucumber collagen drink. Sweet corn soda. I would try that. Dude, these soda flavors. Hey, what's if the worst? Like nacho cheese Dorito soda, I would be all over. What's the worst <laughs> kind of? Let's all decide. What's the? Hopefully, we can all agree on this. What is the worst kind of corn? What's the worst kind of corn? Candy corn. Oh, besides yeah, candy corn, I, made out of real no, corn. Made out of real corn. Made real out of real corn. corn? Real corn. corn. What's the worst Dude, corn? corn? Come Cream on, bro. Style corn. Cream style corn. Disgusting. No. Nasty. Dude, I actually, li I actually like it. I didn't know you liked oh. it. Oh, it's I a I, I can't tell you the last corn. time I ate it, but it's, it's definitely not the best powder. of the corn. Well, okay, well, is it, do you think it's the worst? Even if of you the like corns? it, yeah, of the corns. If yeah, you had a choice, definitely. like definitely. you know, it's Thanksgiving. Uh, your mom says, like, "What would you like me to make? Corn on the cob, uh, sweet corn, or uh, cream corn?" I'll go corn on the cob all I'd day. I'll go corn on the cob. Sweet corn number two. Cream corn. You guys ever had that that stuff people make called corn pudding? No. But it's not. Here. It's, you call it that, but it's not actually like a pudding. It's oh, more yeah. Like a, like a casserole. Yeah, it's kind of like a casserole oh, type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. wife loves it. My I wife like loves that. it. Yeah. Dude, that I stuff like rolls, man. Now, that's made out of cream corn, though. It's, uh, it's, it, it's borderline like a soft, super a crazy soft oh, cornbread almost, maybe more so than a pudding. Stuff's awesome. Give me I some of that corn pudding. Know. Sorry, yeah, I'm, out of, I'm out of, uh... I got nothing. Okay. Oh, I, I actually on. agree with Joe. I will rather eat the cream corn than hominy. I'm not a big Oh, hominy, hominy yeah, is like made hominy. out of corn, isn't it? Is it made out of corn? I don't even know what hominy is. I know it what is. it is, but grits? I don't know how to make it. Grits are good. Dang, you know what else? I and actually not... Uh, I... Well, let me take it back. Like, I've had... Gr I had grits that I did not like pretty much my whole life until 
One day I went to this restaurant and got a, a, ch a fried chicken liver and grits dish, and those grits were freaking awesome, so I don't know. Oh, interesting. Like shrimp and grits? Th that stuff's good. Shrimp and grits is good. But for some reason, like, I don't know, like, maybe it's just because I was poor growing up, so, like, the only grits I ever See, had I've was, had... like, Waffle House or Instant, and maybe that's what I didn't I've like. I've had maple grits, and it was good. It was good. It was Whoa, you just made me realize something. Donless, you have to the you have to like maple bacon, right? That's different. No, That's he already not... said he didn't. I he already, already said he didn't. It. I wow. know, I know, it blew my mind. Wow. I mean that's one of my favorite donuts here. Like, yeah, oh, that's a good donut. Maple, I, maple donut. Oh my god. Maple, maple donuts are awesome. Maple, maple long bacon John. donut. Oh my goodness. I've loved maple donuts since I was a little kid. Well, I'm dead, so I can't do anything. What do we need? Maple diamonds. Okay, got it. I will auto attack. Oh yeah, sausage with maple. I do that too. Not not Dude. every time, but sometimes. Maple and sausage is like a match made in heaven, it is, dude. I'm it is, you. yeah. Sometimes I just want the sausage. I don't want the maple. Sometimes. See, I like maple flavored sausage. I'm not I a like that too. fan. Dude, I love sausage. I, love sausage. I, love sausage. I like dude, spicy I like that, sausage. The mm. super spicy bread yeah. sausage is my favorite bread. So bread. good. I don't like... I like... It's the texture thing. I'd rather it have a natural casing than the other crumbled shit. I that makes like sense. It. That makes sense. You know? So yeah, I like the casing. Has to be that nauseous. Smooth sausage, I guess. She likes her. She likes the sausage, you know, uncircumcised. Yeah. Full casing. Deer sausage, I've not had. Oh yeah, I have. that is good. Yeah, I have. I've had deer sausage. Not often though. Why is deer? Is it? Does it not? No, it keeps for a long time. I wonder why deer just isn't like common. You know, like why are there not deer farms? We have deer farms up here. Do you? Why? I mean, there are, but it's not like how we are with cattle. Yeah, because deer meat is good. Like, people oh, farm deer about, like, how people farm buffalo, you know what I mean? Yeah. It seems like the only time I've ever had deer was because somebody, you know, somebody I know has the meat from their own deer hunting, right? It is an interesting thing. And it it's good. It's like something I look forward to when somebody's like, oh, I got some deer meat if you need some. I'm like, oh, oh you yeah. Have ever had moose meat? Because moose meat is even better. It is so good. That is one of the few animals I have not bad. tried. It is so yummy. It's it's so lean. I don't think I, I do want, I would definitely 100% try it. I would try it, it, yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, oh. Moose it's meat like, is the my... top. Joseph. I'll try about anything. I've had reindeer. That is good. I've had a bunch of stuff, but not moose. I also have not tried bear. I haven't tried bear, but I've heard it. Yeah, I don't. I've heard, I I've heard bad stuff about bear, but I'd still really? try it. You know, I didn't like deer as a kid when I tried venison for the first time. But then it also depends on how gamey it is, you know. So yeah. the one I tried when I was a kid was really gamey. The one that I had is like, oh, oh my god. It's I'm okay I mean, either I like way. Lamb, but I feel like if you don't know how to cook it, it's going to taste gamey I'm, no matter what. I'm okay with the gamey taste, to be honest. It's not my favorite, but it you doesn't know, bother me. I also me. may have grown into it as well. You know how your taste Yeah, changed. it changes, yeah. So, I like love today, duck. I go to IHOP. Oh, I hate duck. I can't do Dude, it. Dude, duck is so I like freaking duck. good. I like duck. It's so oily. I, I That's why it's so good. It's like the most no. ultimate dark meat, man. Yeah, I, I like it. Duck. And I do like dark meat, no. so that makes sense. Like, if I you're like a fit of dark meat, then you you like thighs, but you don't like ducks? What? I don't like ducks, no. <laughs> Yay, Annoying Llama, just subscribe. Thank you oh, so much. Wow. Two months, Annoying Llama. Thank you. Same for you, Nathan. Keep being awesome, and hopefully you get to level 40. I'm almost there, brother. Here we go. Let's celebrate that. Let's celebrate that, Twitch. <laughs> okay, we're back. And Gulo wants to be taken to the also, city. Yes. Let's take let's take Lama to the city. Here we go. Then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna...
I'm gonna mm, then I'm gonna take him I'm gonna We're back. We're back from the city. I <laughs> love it. Ooh, oh. <laughs> so good. Steve spent some time in Alaska as well, Joe. That is true. I did. But I didn't Dave was born any... there, right? What yeah, Dave? he was. Yeah. I was so young that when I lived there, I didn't get to like actually cry any meats. That you know of. That you remember, right? No, that I remember. I doubt it. Because, I don't know, it doesn't seem... Well, maybe. My dad would not have been against that. No, but we love Steve kinds. Puppet. For for anybody that missed the big news, I'll say it again. Now Steve's in audio with us. Um, big news. Company's moving me and my family. Uh, we will be somewhere. We don't know exactly where we're going to live, but we'll be somewhere between 45 minutes, an hour away from Steve. So there will be some really good content, especially, especially for Trains Pony. Um, so. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you were telling anybody that, so I didn't want to say nothing. Yeah, it's for sure happening, so I've already uh, Dude, verbally this is, this agreed. This is like the, the coolest news of all time for me right now. And by the way, guys. it's not going to affect the YouTube or the streaming because that was part of the deal, um, right? Is that at 6 p.m. I'm done, right? Phone goes off. Uh, there's no work. That was part of the deal, and I get weekends off. So it'll be an 8 to 6 job, uh, so I'll still be streaming as normal. It really isn't going to change anything on YouTube at all. Or Twitch. It's going to be glorious. It's going to be freaking glorious. So I think you guys should have like a cringe get together. Yeah, we got, we, we, we're going to try to. We're talking about Dude, a little Dude, we're probably going to be getting together a lot, I would imagine. Yeah, me and Steve will be together a lot, but she means we got to get Dimeless too. Yeah. Well, I think, oh, we, I yeah. think, you know what? Like, have an MMO get together. And, East and, Coast. And Dimeless, I just want you to know, I would actually, for real, never do something with maple syrup to you because i respect that yeah. you don't like it just so you know i might well, do some my restaurants that. we don't even have maple syrup so there yeah. you go there you go because i do Stay have some former for friends that did do that see thing. i wouldn't do that that's rude that's, that's mean that's not a real friend like Man, i'm no bullies i might man. joke verbally right but yeah. i would never put you in a position like that because what if, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can think of it like, what if somebody did that to me? Like, I don't like medicine being injected into my blood. What if somebody tied me down and forced it upon me? You know what I'm saying? Like, that would I would have suck. said, forced you down and made you the popsicle. But, or know, that. You, medicine, you know, the medicine. I would uh, only do something to him like that if there's a lot of money involved. <laughs> <laughs> and then afterwards, yeah. I would be like, look, dude, I understand the money. what I did was messed up but check out your cut yeah here's a uh, half a million dollars <laughs> you'd have to be a lot of money because i yeah, might I mean be serious it'd have to be life changing for me and dimeless you know what i'm saying so yeah, that i could give like, him half at and... least 150 bucks <laughs> <At least. laughs> no, i'm just kidding it'd have to be insane it have to be life changing like he's set now you know what i mean i mean and that's a problem i would never ever you know, may tease you. I know I get teased all the time. What do you get teased for? Lie. What? For being a dork at you. <laughs> yeah, for being me. For being Canadian, even though I'm not. For, you know, for it just, I think, because I'm the chick here. Wait, which but... story are we going with again? Hang on a second, guys. I'll be right back. I Support the Nathan Napalm with Super Chats or by clicking join. <laughs> okay, we're back. Yeah, she's not a Canadian, right? Okay, anyway, continue. Wait, 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 wait. I thought she was a Canadian. She just lived on the Lamies. The Lamies part of Canada. I can't believe Dave. Dave is such a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's denying I miss that. Him, I miss him. <laughs> yeah, only Dave can oh. bring this stream to a hot war. We're looking at a U.S. map being like, all right, this part, this area of America, this, this is the sucky area. This is the not quite as sucky area. The lame beast. I loved his his geographical breakdown. He yeah, gave. pretty much New England and New York <laughs> and, and the, just the, you know the northeast of the of the U.S. was the lame beast. It's like uh, <laughs> the lame. You're the lame. Okay. God. <laughs> or he's the lame West. 
Yeah, it's coming to the east, though. Doom That's Turkey. So, Damos won't be able to participate in this particular thing, but Doom Turkey's talking about how do you guys feel about the fruit flavored syrups? See, I'm not a fan. I'm not either. I'm not either, yeah, dude. Not, a, not either. Yeah, not I'm not a fan. I, That's not, kid stuff, man. That's kid stuff. I can see that some people would enjoy it, but for me, you know, if, it's funny. I want real fruit on it. You know, my daughter got a today when we went to IHOP for breakfast. She got a Belgian waffle with it had a uh, strawberry cheesecake, like mm -hmm. a kind of yummy sauce on it, and then it had whipped cream, and then they brought her some strawberries that they drizzle on top, and she actually liked it. I was impressed. Okay, when she tried it. She said it was good, but. If it was natural, it could be good, like like Joe's saying. If they made it with real strawberries yeah. instead of like a flavoring, that might be. Yeah, this so, is not. This is bright number. Right yeah, 40, no, that's what I've had, and I don't. I didn't like it. Yeah, I've never even tried it. Like just, it's like no, that's just too artificial. I do like to so make wait. my own pancakes with real fruit in the batter. That's good. Yeah, that's delicious. Zoe Damlos, is chocolate syrup also a problem? No. If I mix it into cho into like milk and mix it up, it's fine. But just in but, general. Natural. But like if it's like drizzled it on, on like hand. a fancy yeah. ice cream dessert, that's not good. Yeah, like hot fudge sundae isn't good. It, it would have, I mean, if I can eat it with a spoon, it's okay. What if you had a roommate and, you know, you went and opened the cabinet and he had just made a mess of the bottle, you know, and there was chocolate just that's a I would get a slightly I wet. What if somebody else is eating it? Like, I get a glove if somebody it, else right? is eating maple syrup across the table. Oh yeah, no, no, no. In fact, I have, we have like, not, I, they can't order pancakes. Like my friends that eat breakfast with me know that they, cause they want maple syrup when they order pancakes, sure. right? Sure, yeah, just know of course. Or just any syrup, make another yeah. decision. Yeah. So no, I, on our road trip, we are absolutely not stopping at Waffle House. No. Okay. No, I hop. Because I would have recommended it otherwise. Can you even go to Waffle House? Is that too Probably much? Probably not. Or like, There's, will, are they, their tables are sticky, dude. Is Nathan <laughs> even going to be allowed to have sauce on his ghost pepper chicken? <laughs> I don't do... No, no, no. I don't do sauce. No, do but, sauce. but for real, though, like... What about like, your Cajun and Sparkle? I, that's a... Black that's. I don't do that with my... That That's good for, like, if I get their sandwich or something like that. I, I, I like my ghost pepper chicken exactly how it comes. No sauce. No it's sauce. Raw, raw yeah. dog now, like, I, but I want to know, Cajun can Donald's go to though? a yeah, breakfast yeah, restaurant that serves, that has maple syrup and sells it? On the it? table. Is he cool as long as nobody he's with orders it at the table? That's what I want to know. Like it just sits on the table all yeah. the time? Yeah, like it's just sitting on the table. No, no, it doesn't even have to be that. It could just be like a place they have it there. Yeah, what People if, order what if pancakes or waffles? around you, they're eating waffles. That's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm wondering. So no it's diners not a pleasurable that have experience. All the time. Here's what's going to happen. Denny's? When me and Steve and Dynamos take our road trip, right, and we go to a restaurant, and I walk in, and I see that maple syrup sitting on that table, I'm going to be like, I'm sorry, guys, just hold up one second, and I'm going to be like, I need to speak to the manager now. <laughs> <laughs> but get that maple syrup off our freaking table. Like, what does what this look, what do you think I we will, are? Except almost... for Lynn. The other name is uh, the, uh, the one that's got the Dynamos gloves. Or the Scepter Lynn. Or the Lover's Locket. Ooh. I'm just trying to figure out if it's Would gonna be a situation a yet, where I can be like, okay, sit me at the table across on the other side of the restaurant because I'm gonna get pancakes. <laughs> it's gonna sit what somewhere about barbecue? else. Barbecue? Can you go to like a barbecue joint? Oh, barbecue's barbecue barbecue really messy and sticky. Yeah, yeah, true. And there's maple in it sometimes. The only time barbecue gets rough is when it lasts. I usually, you'll catch me eating it, but I'll wipe my hands after like every bite. Yeah. Like, literally every bite. I feel that, yeah. See, that's how I am too. Like, <laughs> I don't like it getting in the beard. That bothers me. I wipe my mouth a hundred times because like yeah, sauce can, is getting in the beard. I don't even have a, a beard beard right now, but just my facial hair bugs me a bit. It's annoying, yeah. Yeah. I'm just yeah. all interested now. I'm like wondering what- falls. There's a lot of <laughs> bullshit with it. It's terrible that sucks so you wouldn't understand. it's not your favorite then like barbecue anything messy sticky nasty that's not you yeah I, avoidable I like barbecue though i i prefer to dip barbecue. Ah. Uh, i know i'm drinking 
like he said, he did clarify that even though he doesn't like a lot of the sticky stuff going down, that it's really the maple specifically that's the real issue. Because like he said, he'll get honey packets even, you know? Right, right. Yeah. It is. Yeah, I, it, I get like the smell particular. bothering him too isn't like the sticky, like that's an additional thing and just the smell is, is one of the things. Right, that's it. He said hold it on, was the one-two on, It's like me and fish. Like I, I can sit around people eating fish, but if it smells like fish, like it's gonna drive me nuts. Like I want to leave. You know what's funny? I, I don't get bothered by a fish smell if I'm in a scenario where I know that it's supposed right. to be smelling like fish. Me too. Yeah. If I smell fish and I'm not supposed to be feeling a smelling a fish smell, then it almost makes me sick. Yeah. That's how weird brains are, right there. Like, it smells like fish. Like, oh, I'm standing in the side of a lake. Normal. Right. But I'm, like, sitting here, and I'm, like... The last time I went down, I remember being, like, oh, this is the maple syrup. I, I can really smell it. <laughs> you can smell it in the grocery store? I'll have to take a whiff. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's kind of my point. <laughs> like, are you just afraid that... It's hot and the bo the balls might burst and you Could might be. get maple syrup all over you. Might as well avoid it. Yeah, you don't, don't want nothing to do with it. You it's might not smell even it. Really, all that kind of stuff. He just don't just want nothing it. to do with it. He don't even want to give it. He, he's not even walking by it. But it's yeah. it's done. In his world, it does not. Exist. It's like my wife. My wife avoids Control. the the fish area of the grocery store, right? Because you can kind of smell where they oh, cut bro. the fish up. You know, she don't like that smell. She avoids that area. So I get all up in that area. I like, do too. I'd be looking at that fresh fish like. Mm. <laughs> Me too. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, it's just like Fur City. I mean, come on, well, buy it. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, phobias yeah. aren't don't have to that be rational. Right, 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 I right. I was not trying to. I'm gonna shut up. I'm uh. I mean, I, I'm gonna go and tell you guys for real. Like, Dimeless isn't the only person in here with a, a phobia. I I actually have. Mine, at face value, this it is makes normal. sense. This is a normal one. I Dude, I am, I legit have a phobia of sharks. Like, screw them. Oh, I'm that's not different. Nothing to do with sharks. I, I, I thought you were going to talk about your other phobia. Wait, what's my other phobia? Dude, let me tell you guys something. I did not know this until <laughs> me and Steve lived together. Because I've never met anybody with this particular phobia. But it does make sense, actually. It does make sense. Steve will not, he will not eat in the dark. He won't that's do true. it. That's I do not like eating in the dark. Because you can't see the food, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, a bug could have crawled in there, or whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? He you will Remember that movie, not... Arachnophobia? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that why? Is that what started it? Probably, but I mean, I can... I can, I can do it if I have to, though. Okay. I do not like it, but I, I, I can I can do it. You okay. know what I'm saying? Did you sit across the table from somebody else eating in the dark? Yes. I, I can even eat in the dark. I, I just really don't like He food, don't like But I, I can. But sharks? No. No. Hmm. Nope. Not getting... Have I don't go in the to, ocean. Like, an aquarium when they let you pet, like, baby sharks? Did I put my hand in the water with no sharks? Dude, Steve, tell them that story when you lived in Hawaii and the, the, the thing behind you and everybody else knew that you were out swimming. Well, this, this wasn't when a shark, was a but kid. this actually was this kind is of crazy. crazy. This is crazy. So, this one I was like 14, by the way. Yeah. So, I, I was like, date, I was dating this chick when I was 14, you know, like normal high school relationship kind of stuff, except I lived in freaking Hawaii, right? So, like, we would hang out all the time, and we were at the beach one day, and, uh, we swam out way far out in the ocean, like way farther than you should. This is back. This is back when I was more fearless, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and we were like all making out and stuff in the freaking ocean, and like all of a sudden, you know, like we were not paying attention to anything but each other because we were like fourteen, and we were all in love and stuff or whatever. And so all of a sudden, I hear this really loud, loud, loud noise, and I'm like, "What the heck was that?" Right. And I look over at the beach, because I couldn't tell where it was coming from, because it was so loud. And I looked over at the beach, and it looked like everybody was looking at us, right? And I was like, what the heck? And I turned back around, and probably like, I don't know, man, probably like 25 feet away from me, there was a school of humpback whales, like, jumping and breaching oh. in the water. 
But it looked from that perspective of being in the water and seeing them, they were so big looking. Oh, yeah. That it was scary. Oh, yeah. Even though it was just humpback whales and there's not really any reason to 100% fear those. Like you would maybe a shark. They would be scared at being that close to you, though. <laughs> but it was scary, so we swam like, like, like crazy mugs and got out of the water. But that was pretty wild. Yeah. But sharks, dude. Mm -mm. I don't know. I think I'd be more scared of whales just because of the sheer size. I'm... The sharks will eat you. Yeah. On purpose. Yeah, but, yeah, but... but I've eaten shark. I don't like seafood, but I've eaten shark. Oh, like, I'll eat sharks, dude. A little bit of Screw women. Them. A little bit of women. <laughs> eat them for I'll revenge. I've them, too. I'll tell you That's what, how you I get revenge. <laughs> of horses. What? They are tall horses. Yeah? They kind of freak me out a little bit. Really? I love them. They're beautiful. But they're big, and they're they, big. they can murder me. Yeah, that's one of those animals I'm really wary while I'm around. Yeah, you I'm gotta like, be. Yeah, you gotta it. be. It, 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 you know, it is. It's just one of those things that I'm like... Uh, but I would like, rather be in a room with a horse than in the water with a shark. Any day. Yeah, I would do. Dude, they freak me know. out, dude. Sharks I'm legit scared of them. I should be. I'll probably never go into the ocean ever again. Well, at least you're scared of something easily avoidable. You know? They're in the ocean. Yeah. And that one makes sense. Yeah. Sharks, that makes sense. Yeah, they kill people. But, dude, right. whenever I talk about people, are like, actually, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't care about the statistics. Oh, I'm not being one of them. You're more likely to get hit by a meteorite than get eaten by a shark. Like, yeah, okay, bro. But that doesn't mean that I necessarily want to go out in the ocean yeah. and increase my risk. You know what I'm saying? Dude, every, time, yeah, every time somebody tells me that about sharks, I'm always like, yeah, because I actually don't go in the ocean, so it's 0% zero zero. for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Scruffy I'm Bart? I'm not a big fan of swimming in the ocean either. Give me we, a pool. We go into the city, Scruffy Bart. I'm a dog with a bone, I'm saying rough, rough. Let me give it to you, baby, it will never be enough. Let me put my lips up to your ear. Let me tell you something, dear. First I'm gonna eat, then I'm gonna up, then I'm gonna grab you by your ear. I, I, I also, I'm afraid of anything that I think c will can successfully eat me. Like, I'm not messing with no grizzly bears either. You know what right. I'm saying? What about snakes? I don't have, like, a fear of them. Obviously, I'm not messing around with no poisonous, venomous snakes or anything. But, like, I mean, in the certain situation, I'd pick one up if I had to. In the right situation, I guess. I used to have big snakes. I'm not big into snakes or anything like that. I'd rather not deal with them, but I mean, if I had to, whatever, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Steve. Steve like, I would much city rather too. find out that a snake was in my house than a grizzly bear. Oh yeah, well, grizzly bear, like, yeah, that's not that's not a game. That's, that's... for me. If it can eat you, I'm I'm yeah. not trying to be no, a yeah, it. They want to eat you alive. Like, they they're not even gonna finish you off. They're gonna eat you while you're watching them eat you. Dude, it's funny, dude, because I'm a sucker for movies where there it's like horror movies where it's about an animal is eating you, basically. Yeah, yeah. Was, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Horrifying. That would be horrifying. Like, I saw this one movie, I don't remember what it was called, where these guys get snuck, they, they get stuck, like, in a ski lift, and they're trapped there overnight, and they're freezing to death, so they're trying to escape, and this guy tries to jump out of it, and wolves come and eat him. I'm like, oh my god, forget that. My fears of roller coasters, too many chances for human error. Uh, for me, that is the fun part of roller coaster, is that, you know, <laughs> you never know. Good job, I, maybe. <laughs> I love, like, rickety carnivals. Like, I did, Not too. even, like, real amusement parks. I love those, like, janky, carny carnivals where you go on, like, the zipper and you know that thing has been, like, <laughs> torn apart and put back together, like, 3,000 times. Yeah. By people maybe on meth. Yes, exactly. Yes. Definitely, a hundred percent. People they have on that. maybe a couple corn teeth. Yeah, they might have they one of them corn corn peeling. They carnies. Don't, they don't make them like that anymore, though. They don't make carnies like that. Anymore. Every it once in a while, sad. but it is more rare. You know what was my favorite thing? Carnivals that they don't do anymore. Do you guys remember carnivals? Sometimes would have a really, really, really crappy like loop around ride haunted house 
you know, where you get in the oh, little cart, oh, and it was yeah. just like a trailer almost. It went this way, then it went that way, and then you came out. Dude, I no. loved those, and I I, I wish too. there was I wish those was still around. They were so cheesy and so good. I loved them. Me too. Have you ever seen the movie Funhouse? Yes. Like, that's a freaky movie. Like, you know, I mean, it's again, it's more cringe than scary. I think. You know, it's it's one of those B movies. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It's the Love good kind of. It's the good kind of bad. Exactly. <laughs> the, the you know, it's just it's terrible. It's just you know. We have a, uh, we have a, we have a, like a Halloween, like high production place. We have to drive pretty far for it. It's like three hours away, but we go every Halloween because it's like a super high production one. And me and my wife are really into like haunted houses, you know, the, not, not real ones, but like, you know, like Halloween stuff. Um, we found a really good one. It's about three hours away. We go to it every year. It's our favorite, but there's a part in one of them where, you're going through creepy woods, you know what I mean? They're doing all the stuff, and they got the fog effects, and there's zombies walking around, and, uh, you know, cool stuff. But when you leave the forest, it, like, opens up off the trail, and you start hearing, like, clown, like, circus music, you know what I mean, as you're walking up. But then as the forest, like, opens up, there's one of those old haunted, like, houses I was just talking about, the trailer and the little carts, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it... Dude, if they would just make it to where you have to go through that to continue on, and it actually goes through it, but you end up walking through it, you know, um, which is still pretty cool, but if you actually had to get on the cart there, because they have, like, a guy there pretending, like, you know, oh, get on the cart or whatever, you know what I mean? But it doesn't actually work. But if it did, that would be epic! Back in the glory days. Here, we used to have haunted hayrides. Yeah, we got some of those. Yeah. Those are fun. They Man, are. I haven't done anything like that in years. They're so fun. So damn fun. I love it. Love, love, love. What is a haunted hayride? If I... I don't know. You get I've on... Somebody it. has a tractor. Okay? And they hook up a... Um, what, what is that called? A, uh, a, a trailer to it, right? With, yeah, and with, they put hay. They put hay on it, and you sit on the hay, and they take you through. They, like, drive you down some, you know, creepy old country road, and they'll have, like, scares along the way. People be coming out of the forest, or sometimes they'll jump up in the hayride and, like, scare like people. Here, and the big thing was, like, having chainsaws. With chainsaws. On it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a real chainsaw. On, you know, and put them on you. You know, I mean, it was in the middle of it. I'll never forget the one we used to go to when I was a teenager. They would. It was like a little intermission almost. And you just stop for spider cider and deadly donuts. Oh, I mean, nice! Was, yeah, it was. Oh man, it was such a good time. I, I miss. I miss those days. <laughs> I wanna. I always wanted to run one of those haunted woods. That'd be things. fun. Yeah. Me too. Because I would do it in a way that nobody expected, to where you're going through it, and it, and there's people like in realistic costumes of like bears and mountain lions, and they're dragging people oh, off. Oh wow, like, that'd be cool. It'll be like a realistic horror, horrific situation. And so then... I, if it was me, here's what I would do, right? If I ran a haunted attraction, I would do it to where people that work for the haunted attraction, I'd have them dress completely normal, right? It's usually Halloween, so like a jacket, some jeans, you know, look totally normal. And I would and implant the them. Yeah, I would implant yeah. one with each group. And then that person would, something screwed up would happen to them. So that everybody else in the group thinks that was just somebody in their group that went through the haunted house but they just got decapitated but They'd it's like all special night, effects because people would be pulling guns <laughs> that <laughs> would like be scary dude <laughs> that would be that would scare some people you know what i'm saying people get a little jaded but that would freak some people out that's how you Especially could pull if it you off. really hardcore about it like you make it to where like the your the actor pulls a gun and kills himself in right. front of everyone dude, oh because he's so scared yeah you could do some really scary stuff man but if Bye. it's Everybody's scary traumatized. and too real, people will call the cop. Yeah. Do the one on the left first. Well, it was obviously an act. Well, part of the show. typically, though, if you have an act that ridiculous, you have to tell the police in advance, right? You tell them, like, hey, we oh, got yeah. this thing we do here. We're this, that, and the third. So if somebody if freaks act, out. You would have to make people sign waivers. Because there are places like that, but you have to. Like, yeah. this may cause psychological harm. Yeah. Here's your warning. You know, you sign yeah. waivers. 
And then you go in and it's just a room where you're looking at a shark in a tank that's swimming around. Typically, if you super have a weak heart or suffer from any phobias, please don't. Typically, at those places, um, most of the time when they get brought to court, though, the judge throws it out because they're like, "Dude, you got you paid money to be scared. Right. They scared you." you. Paid to be scared. Right. right. Like, this is not a real complaint. They scared. They did a good job. You should be given five stars. You know. Isn't there a guy who does? I feel like I saw something. Yes. There's a guy who gets paid to do that stuff, and he like basically like he hurts him. Runs like a haunted house slash torture thing. Yeah. yeah he'll like. He like, dr like drowns you and yeah, I know what you're talking and, about. Yeah, yeah, sort like of near here. I think they finally shut that down. It's no, it's still going on. It's called McKamey it? Manor. That's it, McKamey Manor. There's a yeah, good that's, documentary that's about it. it on Netflix. That's how I knew about it. It's still going that goes, on. That goes too far. Like that's just you it just does, get tortured. They just beat you up and tie you up and throw you around and just drown you and Like I'm looking for that's not a haunted yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. just like a That's torture. That's just trying to push your boundaries like that's some kinda, yeah. I think I bet, I bet a lot of the people who sign up to do it some kind of fetish stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. It's gotta be. Yeah. I would assume. I think a lot of it is couples. Gula, don't get any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there were a bunch of couples who were like, uh, like the girl would get kidnapped, and this was all like an elaborate act, but she would get kidnapped, and they would pay for her to get kidnapped, and then the guy would quote unquote rescue her. Oh, weird. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. Oh, don't loot the guy, hit the guy. All right, I just got all That's my cultist accolades. accolades. Yeah, need one more What's steward. What's the name of the documentary? Cause I want to see. Uh, let me see if I can find out. Attack of the Hootrats. No, that's that's actually not it. I was going to say, it sounds like a bad corner. Uh, it is called... I'll Google it on the corn hub. Attack Dark... of the Hootrats. It's called Dark Tourist. Oh, that show's awesome. That's actually a show that I would actually recommend in watching it's, all the episodes. Yeah, but it's not just about, about him, but he's in one yeah. of them. That's what I was thinking. Oh. Yeah, they That's have actually like a the, really interesting they show. Have like the, the suicide forest in Japan. They have yeah. a bunch of different places. I, that yeah. suicide forest is nuts. Like, that is just mind-boggling to me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Joe, I can activate... Um, I can do that. That's probably a really good idea, actually. So I can make it to where when somebody's talking... Um, I don't remember how to do it because it's been ages, but there's a way when somebody's talking, it will show on my screen that they're talking. Um, it'll show their, like, name. So I can do that, yeah. And it will only show it when they're talking, so you just be able to look up and see who it is. I will do that for the next stream. That's a good idea. Achoo! The re original reason I used to not like that was because I'd be in a random voice chat channel um, when I first started streaming, and I turned it off because if somebody said something in the text chat that I was in, it would also show that, and I had no control over that, and I could get banned, right? But now I have a private live chat where I don't have to worry about that. You know what I mean? It's just us in here. So um, that was why yeah, I originally turned it off. Yeah, Sparrow talks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> chocolatehams.com Oh, you know what? That is the documentary I was talking about, Doom Turkey. Thank you so much. The Houses That October Built. That's one. And I don't remember if that one's about McClamey, but it's about something similar if it's not. I don't remember, but we loved Ooh. that. We loved that documentary. And it's on Netflix? I is that, love it. is I that a movie or is it a documentary? Now I can't remember. We loved it. Though. I remember we movie. watched it. Is it? We loved it. That it's was a good five one. Five friends that are stalked by a group of mysterious and disturbed individuals while on a road trip looking for the ultimate haunted house. Yeah, attraction. that was a good movie. I actually really liked that one. I haven't seen that. I should check it out again. It's pretty good. It's like it's not like high budget, but it's well done. Is it medium budget? It's medium budget. Yeah, it's not medium like budget? Okay. it's not like cringe pony budget. You know. From the producers of Insidious and Paranormal Activity. 
Yeah, I liked it. We liked that movie a lot. Cool. I might have to add that to my list. Of movies that I will plan to watch one day. Back catalog. Yep. Maybe I'll watch it in October. It'd be a good time to watch it. Halloween. It's the only month that I subscribe to... Shudder. <laughs> Shudder, yep. yeah, yeah. Yep, every year I'm like, yep, gotta have Shudder. All right, we're, we're after these. We're calling it a night. I just We just got the stewards. What do we got left? That's it. That's it. That's it. We just finished it. Nice. We clear out to the exit and we're good. Look at those hands. We have one over here, though, that... We just hit, we're about to hit our six hour mark, so this is perfect. This is even crazier than Taco John's. Taco John's on Taco Tuesday. Mm, delicious. Well, it's a good Ooh. thing we're about to leave. <laughs> Look at his health. Look what's left. Yeah, Finalist was trying to catch me, and I had to just get ahead. I got close. Respectable. <laughs> it was a respectable effort, yeah. Someone needs a stream third chip. Maybe one day we can build your channel into a thing like that, where there's a stream going 24 hours a day. <laughs> That'd be awesome. We have like a crew. I want to join. I might do it. Can I join? Yeah, yeah, you can join. Excellent. Which ship are you looking for? <laughs> Pick me. Uh, probably late night. I'm that chick. Oh, okay. Late nights with Darkachu. <laughs> so sexy. <laughs> so, so sexy. Should, well, with the D, should we use the, there's an opportunity there to use the word dark, right? We can't do after oh, dark. It's yeah. already taken. Uh, so how can we do this? Oh, wait, she's from Maine, so you have to spell dark with a D A H K. Oh, no, Doc. Be, he... Doc. 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 Doc, Doc, at you. <laughs> he loves how I say it. He has a thing. Darkness. The darkness. Welcome to the darkness. Welcome to the darkness. <laughs> dark. After Dork. Wicked Doc. Dork. Wicked, Wicked uh, Doc. With, with Dork at you. See, so you gotta, you gotta yeah. have the, the AA's in there. Trying to stun guys, I promise. Can we also do a show with you called Beggars Can't Be Dork at Choosers? <laughs> <laughs> Beggars Can't Be yeah. Dork at Choosers. <laughs> Hell yes. I like it. I don't know what that show will be, but... <laughs> We'll think it of something. Like a game show to me. I it does sound that. like a game show. I can totally be a game show host. Let's it it should be a game show that you just make up the rules every time, off the top oh of your god. head. Kind of like Billy on the Street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but oh my god, good times. <laughs> Billy on the street. I love Sorry, that. Guys. I love that old <laughs> skit with Chris Farley where he accidentally ends up on that Japanese game show and he doesn't even know Japanese. You guys know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. That forever, dude. And he thinks he's winning, and like the losers are getting like their fingers chopped off and stuff, and he doesn't even know Japanese. He's like, ah, I'm not even supposed to be here. <laughs> so good. Sorry, I almost I can't stand anymore. Do you have your fear up? Because we found out a cool I trick about that. Okay, you need to always have your fear up, my dear. I mean, that it's just a, it's just a suggestion. How about that? Well, listen. After tonight, I have a feeling that Donald's gonna get off here and like take five showers. We have completely. <laughs> yeah, he's mad at me. <laughs> we have completely uh, wait for six hours. <laughs> we have made him uncomfortable so i am sorry for that dimeless but now we know Thank all the answers we fully understand now <laughs> it's all good <laughs> i don't but i i 
I'm very intrigued. <laughs> I don't understand it either. I mean, I understand the sticky aspect. I don't. Bye bye. I I, I I'm trying to understand. How about that? I always heard people That's fear what, what they don't me. understand. <laughs> That's true. I don't fear maple syrup. Just give me a gallon of it so I can drink it. That's how I look at maple syrup. But... We all fear what we don't understand. I don't understand mascots. I don't understand bees. Mascots. Bees? Dude. <laughs> actually, bumblebees, you know, like, that shouldn't be possible. Them flying around hey, like that with that big body. Them little but wings. We live without them. We could not live without bees. Does it turn out that's true or not true? Well, that's true. About the bees, Mister C. Yeah. Remember the what bee apocalypse. It? Remember that. Yeah. Can can. Uh... Wait, bee apocalypse. Remember when all the bees were dying? And everybody's freaking out. And saying it was the end of the I world. I think that really is a true thing. With hive collapse or whatever. Well, I have I have a, a personal without related them, story. Okay. So I was traveling and I was passing through Las Vegas and a truck full of bees crashed. Ooh. And the freeway went to a halt and there were bees everywhere. Wow. So maybe that was in relation to the bee apocalypse. I don't know, but it was interesting. Wow. The bee apocalypse is supposed to be there. It's supposed to be all the bees are dying. Then they don't but... know why. But apparently, according to what I'm reading here, uh, despite uh, not more than a decade later, it's already been 10 years since that became a, oh, a fear. Right. Okay. So that's how old we are now. But, Have you guys uh, seen that hot bee lady on TikTok? From the Honey Bee Inn. Does she eat bees? No, she rescues bees. She goes in like when people have like bees that built a hive in like their sheds or like their roofs of their buildings or their attics or something. She goes and like oh, I have seen that them actually. And saves them. She, yeah, she removes the hive and, and everything and the queen. And there's there's an amazing video of uh, Chris Pratt, who uh, he was talking about. How he was watching her videos. And she's super calm. She's like, yeah, these bees are very nice. They're not going to sting me. They're not aggressive. And he's, he's like out hiking and he sees a hive of bees and some guy's like, hey, guys, stay away. Like, there's a bunch of bees. And he's like, these these bees seem nice. Like, I think they'll, I think I'll be all right. And he walks up and they sting him in the face. Oh, and my God. His face is all small and he's like, fuck that bee lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But the good news is that winter honeybee mortality rates overall U.S. honeybee populations are not declining. Anymore. Good. That is good. The downside is that we have murder hornets in America, so we lost. Listen, though, I'm going to say something about these murder hornets. I, I, got, I got a bone to pick with this whole thing. I've been hearing this story since I was, like, in first grade on the news every once in a while. Like, oh, they give them different names. They'll be like, oh... The the dagger the dagger hornets oh the 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 dangerous scary death hornets the so okay 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 Nathan you have the killer bees from our killer youth. bees that was the first one yep yep that's but now but the killer bees and the murder hornets those are two completely different species yeah but what, what but listen but it's still the same story like there's these scary bees they're gonna kill everybody your life's in danger like come on. How many people have died from the murder hornet? Have you fucking seen a murder hornet? Have you? Fucking uh, they seen look one? scary. They always do. They always look scary. No, no, they are prominent in Japan. Okay. And in Japan, they're like, do not fuck with these. If you see one, get the fuck away from right, it. She, right. They ain't, they ain't the bee lady. They're like, get the fuck away from these nests. You will die. Which I agree. Because, I'm not arguing with that. I'm just saying, I'm not gonna live in fear. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. They're not, like, going to take over. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to, like... You're not going to walk out your house and murder hornets going to swoop out of the skies and, like, drag you away into the atmosphere and kill you in the sky and drop your dead body in the middle of traffic. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, people have walked happen. out, walked into a slightly, you know, slightly off the beaten path and have died to murder hornets in Japan. Easily. Okay. But I'm just saying. You gotta keep in mind these things are the size of your fucking thumb, and it's like, it's like, uh, it's basically like a fucking bullet wound when they sting you. So if you get stung by like 20 murder hornets, you're probably not looking so hot. Yeah. 20, you're dead. 
20 year debt. But but the thing is, is um, if we do ever start to see them, we need to murder them first. Exactly. got to kill them. We don't want those things around here on the regular. Just, I mean, if, if there's an area with a murder hornet nest, we have to nuke the entire area. You should hornet. probably just call some professional, not try to do it yourself. In my opinion. Yes, Unless I you have a bee suit. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're like, you're, you're an expert, then I wouldn't recommend that you try to do anything. A normal person. You know what I mean? With no experience. Just get out of there. I'm getting tired of these hornets anyway. Also, if you don't get out of there and you're in a bad situation, like say you, your glasses fall off and you can't see anymore, <laughs> <laughs> then I... Hey, get right with Jesus. You're about you to meet right. There is always a scary bee story. Yeah. There's actually always the most a recent scary one. Bee. The most recent one is that a cousin of the murder hornet is arriving in the U.S. for the first time. Yeah. Oh, well, this game doesn't have any flying mobs. You're right. Even the bats don't fly. And the ravens. Yeah, they, you're right. Is there bats that just, like, are walking around on the ground? Yeah, they're called grub bats yeah. or mist bats, and they're real freaky little. Oh. They're kind of monsterish. I wouldn't say they look... Is there butterflies in the game? Uh, actually, there is little worms that sort of fly, and they, you got to catch them for buffs. Hmm. They sort of fly. A little bit. But there's pretty much, like, no bugs in this world. There's bugs, but they don't fly. There's, there's ants. There's no flying bugs. There's a beetle. So there's no mosquitoes. I don't think so. I'm moving there. Oh, wait, there's a flying one. There's those uh, ember flies. They fly. Oh, forget it then. Ember flies yeah, fly. But, yeah, but they're like fireflies. Yeah, but those make me sick to my stomach. But they are a flying mob, technically. I love fireflies. Dude, fireflies are disgusting to me. They are beautiful. Really? They gross me out, dude. What's so gross about them? Well, because when I was a kid, there was all these other kids that were like real weird, I guess. And they would always like to kill them and spread their guts all over their faces and stuff <laughs> so they would blow. Oh. Does it, does it make the bugs for What is it? it? Were you raising them like Lord bro. of the Fireflies? <laughs> I mean... Not, dude, this is what it was like in trailer parks in the 90s. <laughs> you did have a friend that was in the frogs, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah that was. Oh, yeah. That's that's right. True. Hey, but before we talk so bad about this guy, he, he did have good taste in video games, all right? He really did. He really had insanely good taste in video games. He had good taste in video games, bad taste in private parts. What yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, I did it! I did it! What'd you do? He loved Pamela Anderson, though. He loved her. Oh, 80%. There it is. There it is. 80% fatigue. Maximum. Oh, just in breaking news, now there's something arriving in the US called a booty hornet. A booty hornet? What does it do? Yeah. It says this type of Asian giant hornet, nicknamed the booty hornet, was first seen in North America within the past few years, and since then, Idahoans have reported seeing the insect, but it is a case of mistaken identity. Hmm. The pink and black striped booty hornet can be up to two inches long, making it the world's largest wasp. It's equipped wow. with large mandibles and a powerful... <laughs> it says, and a powerful twerking sting. <laughs> That's how it's called the booty hornet. I was wondering. I guess so. <laughs> like they say, a big booty hornet ain't nothing to fuck with. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to mess with hornet. that. Big booty hornet. Yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> imagine getting stung and then it's twerking on you afterwards. That would not be good. That'd piss me no, off. No, dude. It would probably, you'd probably get stung multiple times because of that yeah, type be, of motion. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be twerking and stinging you over and over and over again. That'd be awful. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> it's like getting teabagged by a bug. Yeah. Dude. It's, oh my gosh, it says if, it, it says residents have been warned when in areas that the hornet has been, the booty hornet has been sighted to not use their cell phones or Ve vehicle speakers to play Cardi B or Megan the Stallion. Because apparently, <laughs> I guess that attracts them. Right, makes sense. It attracts them. They, they want to start twerking. That's why. That's their yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know? it's, it's what crazy, they do. dude. What and this do. is happening in Idaho, I guess. Apparently, it's Idaho. The Idaho twerking wasps, dude. Let's let's run out, guys. Crazy, it's those, uh, it's those Instagram wasps in Idaho. You know. Did you unleash that? 
Mr. C? You know, you I got mad one day and I unleashed it. Yeah, sorry. Knew it. Knew it had you written all over it. Bearded dragon style. <laughs> Bearded dragon style. <laughs> Tegu lizards are spreading southeast. I used to have no. a I used to have one of those. <laughs> Somebody get me up, please, please. Oh no, jeez, they they walloped you. Dude. I got one shot right away. Run, run, run. Just run, everybody. I'm confused by this question in the chat. It says, "Would you fight a giant mosquito bigger than you and never be bitten again?" Like that's the deal. Like if you if you fight this thing, then you can never be bitten by a mosquito ever again. You'll how have big, I wonder how big of a giant mosquito we talking about here. Because, I mean, technically, a mosquito the size of my fist, that's a giant mosquito. Well, he says I'm bigger concerned. than you, so it's it's slightly... Oh, that's right. It does say that. Yeah, slightly bigger than you are. Dude, yeah, right? That thing will probably kill me instantly. It would suck all your blood out. I would be gone quick, dude. I'd be laying her on the ground like a prune. Because, dude, it's hard to fight a mosquito. They're so fast and nimble, even when they're tiny, right? Like, they can fly. They can fly, and you could just be. Uh, what would you do? Grab onto them, and then they fly you up in the air and start sucking your blood out. And you're. I feel like you could mess up their wings, or like, they're delicate. Do I have a weapon? If it's giant, I don't know. So here's what here. I'll, I'll answer it this way. I would not do it just to never get bit by a mosquito again. I ain't that worried about getting bit by mosquitoes, even though it is really dangerous. You know, diseases, whatever. Yeah. Uh, just you know what I mean. Like, uh, it's just not a worry of mine. However. If one was attacking my house, right, my children were outside and he came, like, and was, like, trying to get them, I, I would fight him, right? I might lose, but I would fight him. You know what I mean? That's that's the only scenario I can think of, is to, like, protect my yeah. kids or my wife or something like that. I would, or, like, you know, if he, like, like let's just say, he, let's just say he showed up like a giant mosquito you know, eight foot tall and flew up and he was holding like some maple syrup, but I was only worried he was going to drop it on Dimeless. I'm sorry, Dimeless, I might not fight it for that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'll be okay. You just get some I maple syrup. I wouldn't expect you to. Dude, giant mosquito, dude. Even if you could do something to mess up its wings, it probably would still kill you. Yeah, yeah. It's bigger than you, but that's a big, that's a big insect. Yeah. And they basically have like a giant fencing sword on their face. I can stab you sure. and suckle the you like right I would want to have a sword. Is what I'd want to have a really sharp. Sword. I would. I would take a shotgun, but that's just me. A shotgun. A gun would be even better. But you know, I'd be worried about firing off a shotgun in my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? I'd be afraid. So I, I feel like what the Witcher is saying, though. What, what, it would only be in the in the hypothetical situation that you were able to take a normal mosquito and use like a magical ray gun on it to turn it into a giant mosquito. If this I is just a if it has mosquito that already like, what exists, if I just used a water hose? What was that? I he said, wants to shoot it, it with water. Like, what if I just have a water hose? Like, what if Dude, I just spray it with water? Just that probably wouldn't work. They you like water. Need, like, maybe if you had like a fire I, hose. Acid. Acid. Oh, that's no, no. true. Well, that too, but spray it with hairspray so the wings get tacky and you can't... You can't fly. Or a Gorilla Glue. Get a Gorilla Glue flake spray. Mm -hmm. WD-40. It'd be kind of hard no, to somehow coat it so with Gorilla good. Glue. Yeah, WD-40 <laughs> is all greasy. It get, it, it'll mess them up. WD-40 no, probably wouldn't work. Lightning. That's this thing's problem. killing all of you guys with those tactics, I'm sorry to say. I would just try to avoid it. I'm not even going to lie. I would do my best to avoid it. I would only fight it if someone that I truly cared about his life was in danger. Like, if it was Dwimble, I'm sorry, Dwimble, bro. Like, hard you know, and fast. I'm sorry, Dwimble. I wouldn't do it for you. You know? You're on your own. Shouldn't have been hanging out around near that giant mosquito. Oh, that just made me think, Dimelos. Like, maybe we have to combine your phobia with Steve's phobia. Could you eat maple syrup in the dark? <laughs> I don't think no, because he's not in it's it. It's the anyway. smell, anyway. Mm. Damn. I oh, to... Don Dissop yeah, would work. Mr. C, Dimeless, come turn in right here. Oh, I'm Mr. Scared. C. I know. He already ran away. Well, also, when it... I, I like to see what I'm doing when I'm eating for some reason. 
Like, I don't know if that's not normal. That people like to blind to eat. Could you eat shark in the dark? Yeah, I could. I, I'll eat shark. I don't, that they deserve to for us to be eating them. So like, I'm a fan of that. <laughs> Which person are we turning into? Evangeline. Evangeline. Yeah, you already I turned think this you already in. Turned in. Yeah, you already. Oh, did. oh, the right, right. Well, the one we're turning in is in the city. Oh, okay. When we used to do that podcast called Cookies and Coke back in the day. Yeah. My favorite thing that I ever did on there was we like did a prank call and I called like a a fishing store uh -huh. like uh -huh. a tackle shop and i was asking them questions about rods and stuff like that trying to figure out if it would support the weight of a shark right okay and like as the conversation went on and like i reveal to the person i'm on the phone with that the reason why i'm wanting to go shark fishing is because a shark <laughs> ate my brother and I'm <laughs> trying to catch it and get revenge on it. That's amazing. <laughs> Did he believe you? They were like, oh my gosh. That's crazy. Well, I guess I guess I can understand that. <laughs> he said stuff like that. Yeah, if I was going to get revenge on a shark, I would be using this uh, Bass Pro. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to sell. They're trying to upsell me. <laughs> Doc, listen then. You're going to want to go with this model. It's got carbonite laser edge you're gonna want to get no. some better gear so you can track down the exact shark that got your brother he's yeah. like you don't need a fishing rod you need a harpoon gun <laughs> yeah and that's, unfortunately that's they didn't take me too harpoon serious as i wanted rat. them to you should have thrown what those birds what are those birds chasing you yeah guys? ravens those are cool mobs that is crazy dude those look wild uh so steve you should have thrown in a random jaws like i think i'm gonna need a bigger boat you know <laughs> I should have. Everyone's laughing, having fun with the mosquito question. Meanwhile, Bill Gates is taking notes. Oh is my gosh, all of a sudden, giant mosquitoes is a thing. <laughs> I mean, did you see new Vegas? Fucking Cazadors. What? Cazadors are, what? Cazadors are giant, giant hornets, basically. And okay. oh. they're ruthless in that game. Oh, and then the game. I thought that was the 2025 murder hornet story. The booty no. hornet, dude. The booty hornet might be next year. It's always got to be a scary hornet, scary bee. I mean, you ever seen a hornet's, like, back pulsate? That's, yeah. like, the early booty hornet. That is true. They do kind of, yeah. That must be some form of evolution that the booty hornet really locked on to that. I got hunted. I had a spider hunt me down one time. Like, intelligently. Was so, it a huntsman spider? I don't know, because let me tell a story, and you'll understand why I'm not, I, I don't know if I could even, if you show me every species, if I could point to it. But, like, I was in the kitchen, it was after a stream, this wasn't all that long ago, maybe like a year and a half ago, and I was making some food, and it was really late at night, so everybody else was asleep, and I feel my hair moving a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? Like, where you can just tell, like, maybe a bug is on your head. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, naturally, I reached my hand up and touched it, right? And I could feel there was, like, a bug. You know what I mean? So, like, I grabbed it and flicked it into the floor, and I looked down, and it was a spider, right? A, a fairly large. It wasn't, like, a tarantula, but it was a pretty big spider, right? So, I was like, oh, crap. Well, he, he like, darted away. Like, I was trying to stomp him. He, he got away. And I was like, jeez. Then, this spider, literally, the next morning, I go downstairs, I'm, like, making some coffee, and had forgot, pretty much forgot about the spider, you know what I mean? And I just happened to get this weird, I don't know if I just looked up for no reason, actually, I don't know if I got a feeling or not, I don't remember, but I looked up, and he was dangling back down for me. And, uh... Do you want a revenge? I slapped at him, right? I just kind of slapped it out of, like, instinct. But, you know, he was on a little little string of his web, so he kind of bounced back at me. Um, and then I moved out of the way, and I knocked him on the ground. I tried to stomp him again, and um, he was charging at me, dude. He, he went all in this time. He was charging at me. I got him, though. Dang, dude. It was wild. Like, he literally waited for me all night. I mean, can you blame him? Put yourself in his eight shoes. 
I would have left him alone if he'd have just chilled out. You know what I mean? He's and a spider. He doesn't have fucking feelings. I'm not gonna. He's super tasty. Eating all that ghost pepper chicken and <laughs> cookies. No, oh, maybe. Knows. Maybe you wanted a little taste. That reminds me. One time Nathan called me and was like, "Dude, you got to get over here. I think that there is somehow a giant spider in my apartment." Oh, I remember this. And so I was like, "What the heck?" So I came over there and. And he was describing it to me. He was like, it, see, he was like, I didn't get a good look at it because I just saw it out of the corner of my eye, but it was huge. It was humongous. He, he like shoved me with his hands. Like it was like this big. And I was like, oh my God, what the heck? And then, <laughs> so like, we were like, oh, and he was like, it was so big. I guess it kind of maybe it freaked you out because you thought it was a spider. But, uh, because <laughs> of how big of this spider right. would have actually it been. Would've, would be it would have been terrifying. And, <laughs> and so, he was like outside already when I got there yeah. and he told me all this stuff. So I was like, uh, so then we were like, all right, let's go in there and see what, see if we can find it. And so we went in and, and sitting on the, on the, uh, like on the countertop was a squirrel eating Cheetos. It was a squirrel. Some old squirrel <laughs> got in the house. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but when I seen I it. I we went back in and eating Cheetos, dude, it cracked it. Yeah, it was literally eating cheetahs. <laughs> That's a true story. But, like, I saw it, like, in the corner of the room, and it was, like, kind of dim in there. You know, like, you know how when you're a bachelor, you keep your apartment kind of dim, you know, make things nice and sexy for the ladies kind of thing, you know. So, like, I just seen it in the corner, <laughs> and I saw fur, and I swear, in my memory, it was, like perched up in the corner with his legs spread. Obviously, those details aren't real, but that's what I s thought I saw. Like a giant freaking man-eating spider over there in the corner. Turned out just to be a Cheeto-eating squirrel. I was, like, legitimately stressed about it. Like, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna have to start my life over. Like, I can't even go back in to get my stuff, you know? Yeah, dude, a spider that big? That would be a little crazy. I'm not going to war with the spider, you know, that big. Holy cow, this is crazy. Did you see that new banner, Hulu? Oh, I forgot to turn in. We're turning back in at the uh, that little one building where all the people are, right? The yes. Academy. The Academy, yes. Spiders don't even have brains. It's just a nerve system. Well, this was the evolved version, dude. He hunted me down. And he made a decision that the first night he was going to run away, and the second night he was like, no, I'm getting this guy. That was a decision he made. Uh, dangerous material. Arch uh, Lecter has a way with words. Any moment to fully review this, but I think we'd safely say this threat to New Haven is not quite over. Despite the blow you struck, while they may be weakened, I do not doubt they will find zealous new recruits to their cause. Actually, uh, I've seen some studies that say that spiders are a lot smarter than we used to think they were. Really? And if anybody's interested in learning more about that, here's a nice scientific article about it that you can read. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, I gotta jump off here. Oh. I gotta take care of some business. I'll see you guys later. All right, see you later, man. Nice Fun chat. Steve. 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 Thanks for dropping by. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the future. In the future. All right, um, I need to sell my stuff and then I'll get my uh, my reward. Is that it? We're done with the quest line? Yep, we finished up the quest. Did you guys turn it in? It's right here in this building. Thank for you guys.
All right. I guess I'll go with this. All right, we completed it, guys. Good job. It's pretty good. We. we... Oh, I guess I can't wear the spear. It's the stuff is level thirty nine. Oh, it's thirty nine. Okay, I might. I'll save that then. I got a thirty nine shield ready to go too when I make it. Well, thirty seven, and I got thirty eight percent deep. That's pretty good. Yeah, that was a great experience yep. tonight. Got a good chunk of XP. Those uh, healing rings are awesome for you guys. The oh, yeah. scepter is really good too. Is this game good without a sub? Uh, yeah, I mean, to be honest, like, your biggest problem, in my opinion, is going to be you're not going to have as much bank space. I'll show you what I mean. I'll run down to the bank. Only being able to use one character, I mean, honestly, it isn't that big of a deal because this game takes a long time to level up, etc. Um, so I don't think that's that big of a deal. Um, but the bank space is pretty good to have but yeah you can absolutely play this game without it you know what i mean um it's not like you don't have any bank space or it's purposefully made for you not to have enough i mean we played this game for like a year before they even gave us extra bank space right um but see you can see the purple slots here that is the extra that you get for being a sub uh so you would have these and you can upgrade them it gets expensive but you can slowly upgrade to add in more lines to it with in-game money um this game has no cash shop, so I think the sub is worth the money to get those extra bank slots, and you can summon a, a craftable uh, station anywhere. Um, you get, is you know, five character slots um, and some other... That all have banks. That all have those big banks in them, right? So I think the bank spot is the biggest pull, but absolutely you can play the game without without the sub, no problem. But if you are going to get the game, please use my link. If you haven't already bought the game, um, I'll drop it here in chat real quick. Because if you use my link, which is right below the video, it helps support the channel as well. Um, let me find it. Crap. I might have actually deleted that line. Let me get it for you guys. But yeah, the game is really good. I mean, if you like old school MMOs, you're cool with the longer grind. You know what I mean? Chilling with your friends, grouping up. Uh, they have the XP is faster than it was at launch, but it's still pretty. It's still slow. Uh, it takes a long time to level up. Still, um, it's not quite as bad as it used to be. They have added a lot to make the game a little bit easier to um, solo and duo. They've added tons of loops in dungeons, even so. There's dungeon content you can do um, even that by yourself or with one other person. Um, so, I mean, they've done a lot, and they've added a ton of content, they got a lot more on the way. I think the developers, there's only eight of them, it's a very, very, very indie team, and I think they've done a good job. Here's the link, I'm gonna drop it in YouTube and Twitch. All right, well, guys, thanks, everybody, for coming out. Hope you had fun. Um, we'll be back. Uh, I'll be back streaming tomorrow night. Uh, we might, maybe, we might start, we might start Final Fantasy 14 tomorrow night. I'm not 100% on that, especially when I talk my wife into playing with me. Uh, tomorrow's Thursday. Oh, I, well, first of all, tomorrow's Thursday, so we're doing Pantheon. That's 6 a.m., or sorry, 6 p.m. Central to 8 p.m. Eastern or 7 p.m. Eastern to 9 p.m. Eastern. But after that, because I only got two hours of Pantheon, I'll likely do another stream and we might, maybe we'll do some Final Fantasy XIV. Um, we'll see. Um, thanks everybody for coming out. Hope you had a good time. And we will, I'll see you guys next time. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.